Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Good morning, jewellery makers. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? What's just made my Tuesday? I've got Hayley Kruger with me this morning. Oh, both Adam and I were like, it's Hayley. Hayley's here. She's setting up and she will be with you live as soon as she possibly can. Oh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Hayley Kruger, Aquamarine, beautiful garnet, amazing jade eye, awesome kits and demos. What more could we possibly, possibly want? And even the sun is, sh is showing its face this morning, which is a nice little treat. I'm just, you know, just doing a little peek boo That's about all, really. Nothing, nothing too, nothing too huge. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's give you the little rundown of what's happening on this morning show. So, uh, wake up with jewelry maker eight o'clock. We've got some amazing last of stock clearance deals coming your way, thick and fast. Remember, some of those will be uh, quite low in quantity, so make sure that you do check them out uber early. Uh, but I have to show you an amazing aquamarine. It's heart cut that is coming up as your early bird. Oh, my goodness, my goodness me. Look at the quality of that aquamarine. Santa Maria, no less, in a heart cut. Um, we have less than 50 of these available. I mean, wouldn't that, the gemstone that was once, once upon a time, uh, the gemstone of engagement. Um, shall we put them on pre-order? Along with the Ratnakiri, and the red garnet and white topaz. Should we put those cut stones? It's a triple early bird, literally. You've got bam, bam, bam. Um, it's going to be an absolute blowout deal, honestly. The, the, the quality of these stones are truly, truly impeccable. And I can tell you, you are guaranteed to get a five millimeter Santa Maria saturation of color, which you know is regarded as the best in the aquamarine world. Um, again, let me show you the others that you've got coming up. This is the beautiful Ratnakiri Zircon in heart cuts. You can pre-order all of these. Look how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful. Um, again, you are guaranteed to get the pack of four at three millimeters as well. They're going super, super, super duper low. Um, and then last but by no means least, you've actually got a little quad. One of those is flipped over, so I'll try and get that sorted for you. But look, heart cut Ratnakiri Zircons. Um, and then you have your beautiful natural garnets all in heart cuts. I mean, how unbelievable are each and every single one of these? Can you see it? Yeah. Amazing. All coming up within the eight o'clock hour. Um, what else do we have? Well, 
At nine o'clock, you got some really beautiful kits. Um, so I'm feeling, I'm, I feel like I'm a little bit unorganised this morning. You know, sometimes when you just, right, OK, I'm ready. Today, no, I don't feel ready at all. So you'll have to bear with me. Um, some really beautiful kits all about um, wonderful setting with the lovely Hayley Kruger. So if that's a genre that you have wanted to uh, dip your toe into, then you have the perfect lady joining us here in the studio this morning. Uh, so that's at nine o'clock. Then at ten o'clock, I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Dave Trask. Um, and we are launching a brand new gemstone. Yeah, this is Barat Garnet, and I'm going to show you the quality is absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So technically, it's all about this, uh, the, the, the location, but I am going to allow uh, Dave uh, to talk to you and give you the full amazing story on your Barat Garnet. Now, still not done as well, because with Dave... We have some more beautiful, beautiful jadeite um, that I know Carol and Dave launched not so long ago. We have another uh, another few um, examples of your jadeite. And honestly, these strands are just unbelievable. Absolutely unreal quality that you're seeing. Um, coming up at 10 o'clock with Dave. Love that. You've got the palettes of jadeite within both of those sizes. Um, what else then? We have um, your Royal Pearl, last in stock opportunity. Um, it was launched as part of our Platinum Jubilee celebration. Pardon? What was that? It was launched by Dave himself. Yes, absolutely. Um, last of stock. And you'll more than likely actually get this home um, for, uh, for the Jubilee celebration. So it's in, in commemoration, of course, to Her Majesty. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. There you go. Um, in next weekend, it's going to be a really big event. I think, and, and so historical, you know, we're all going to remember where we were, what we were doing um, during the Platinum Jubilee. You've got the most beautiful, perfect, natural, spherical purple pearl. Um, so that's coming up with Dave um, as well. Last in stock opportunities there. Got some beautiful appetite again then um, <coughs> coming your way back then uh, for your wonderful masterclass with Hayley. Um, we are talking about, oh, is it engraving? A little bit of engraving. I did say, Helly, don't worry. I won't speak to you until you're all ready and good to go. But what do I do? I'm speaking to you. Sorry, Helly. Sorry. Helly Kruger, everyone. Hello. 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 <laughs> do you know, I, I saw her literally sneaking through the door and I was like, is that Helly Kruger? <laughs> it is. Yay. And there was cuddles after that, wasn't there? There was lots of cuddles. Yes. Always lots of cuddles. Yes. You've got to have cuddles in the morning. Got Absolutely. To. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Although I have to say, I, 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 I haven't cuddled Ross and Adam yet, or Callan and Dan, and we haven't had cuddles yet, a team, have we? It's been very early, and they've been very busy, haven't they, on other shows? Um, okay, so should we get cracking? Shall we get cracking? We're going to get cracking with your injection to the inspiration, and that is, of course, the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Uh, starting us off this morning is Melanie. Hello to you, Melanie. You've been busy. These are beautiful. You're number 124. Hello, jewellery maker and everyone. With Father's Day coming, I've made stretchy bracelets in masculine colours. All gems are from jewellery maker. I hope you like them. We certainly do, Melanie. Um, number 125 is from Valma. Oh, wow. That's, that's gorgeous. Uh, hi, jewellery maker. This is my first time entering um, a piece of my work. I made this with lovely peridot stones purchased from you, of course. Many thanks from Valma. Well, Valma, we want to see more of your amazing makes. I love how you've reversed the graduation. So you've got the smaller um, and the larger sort of going round the back of the neck. That's really lovely. Number 126 is from Trisha. Wow, Trisha, a bit of wonderful chain mail there. Dear jewellery maker, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A chain mail fan pendant with peach moonstone. I hope you like it. Lots of love. And that's Trisha Bell. Number 127 is from Sue. Good morning to you, Sue. Oh, they're lovely. Absolutely beautiful. 
This is my entry to the Wall of Fame, a pearl wraparound bracelet. I've made quite a few of these for my Etsy shop, and that's from Sue in lovely Derbyshire. Well, thank you so much for all of your entries, and I will keep everything crossed for you um, in the Wall of Fame drawer that happens tomorrow um, with our Carol with our lovely Carol. Um, so one of you might receive £100 credited to your jewelry maker account and another will receive 50. Win-win, win-win. Do you know, no, let's do the maths. Okay, so 150 times 52, we, we won't worry about leap years, times 52 weeks of the year, times 12 years, Not £93,600 we've given away. Isn't that good? Over the course. Um, yeah, our next birthday is going to be about hundred grand, is not it? That's pretty good, isn't it? Just for sending in your wonderful, wonderful pieces. Now, um, OK, are you ready for this? Sorry, I don't know why that even came into my head then, but it did. Um, um, OK, let's bring you some beautiful fluorite. It's going to be on and gone, super speedy. If you see something that you love, jump on it. And of course, come and say hello to me. I'd love to hear from you this morning. First price crash for the wonderful vision, the colourful mineral that is your lovely fluorite. Um, you've got a really beautiful five carat, very smooth um, cabochon here, 18 by 13 millimetres. We're not even stopping here. No, no, no. So, I mean, you have the perfect lady in the studio today, don't you, to talk about cabochons and how you could actually complete and uh, set this into your precious metal. £2.99, fondly referred to as the most colourful mineral on our planet. Love that. Absolutely love that. We're not even closing at 2 99 don't you know? We're going even lower. Then two ninety nine. Are you ready? <laughs> Rossa says, "Oh, go on then. Go on then. You can have this for under two pounds today. These kind of deals, like I said, on and gone. Grab them whilst you get the chance because they will fly out the door uh, straight away immediately. The first person has actually multi bought on this, um, and there's a lot of you there. So lovely to be with you. Hi, Brenda. Hello to you, Karen, Anne Marie, another Karen. Hello to you, uh, Maria in Surrey. New customers. Hello, Nora in Tyne and Ware. Lovely to have your company this morning. I hope you're all well, enjoying the sunshine, and excited for the forthcoming show. Lovely Haley Kruger and of course, wonderful Dave Troth joining me throughout the course um, of this morning. So we're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of inspiration, lots of knowledge, um, all jam-packed into one five-hour show. Um, you know what, says Ross? Let's kick off properly. Well, I'd rather not. Don't kick off. Let's have a rumble. <laughs> That's what my five-year-old says. Mummy, you know something is like a, a film or something like that? Are they having a rumble? So, so cute. I think they might be Willow. They're having a bit of a rumble. Oh, that's naughty, isn't it? A pound! One pound only. Um, goodness me. Well, people have straight away up their quantities. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I can see quantities of sevens in baskets. They're on the verge of selling out, so do be quick. Um, shall we bring you a gemstone that we don't see very often? Rhyolite? Love rhyolite. Uh, it, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's, for me, it really, it looks like it should come from the UK. Do you, do you see where I'm coming from with this? Because rhyolite is quite a lush green gemstone. You know, when you go on holiday and, um, actually I can't remember the last time I got on a plane. It's been a long time, but you know, when you're coming back, when you're actually coming back, I really enjoy that moment where you look outside the window and you appreciate how beautifully green the UK is. Um, I see that vision within Rhyolite as a gemstone. Three millimetres in their rounds, all completely and utterly natural. You get some really beautiful markings and very lovely uh, some Mother Nature-like colours within here. Um, it comes from the USA. Um, 20 carats that you're getting. So I'm thinking looming, spacer beads, baby beads, um, channel setting, rosary linking. Oh, I mean, all of the above, really. I could go on and on and on. And you don't want, you don't want me to do that, do you? 9 99 only. No way near, though, says Ross. Do you want to see another price that we're not paying? Already brand new low, though. Uh, 
Two ninety nine only, and we're not even stopping there. I'm loving this. I'm hearing a conversation between Ross and Dan. You're like, you're having a sandwich at this time. <laughs> hey, Ross, don't judge him. <laughs> he wants a sandwich. He can have a sandwich. He's been up since three. It's like this is more like his lunch. What sandwich? What have you got in your sandwich? A bit of ham and cheese. Right, okay. <laughs> Apparently, Ross walked in on Dan. At seven in the morning, he was eating cake. What, what's the problem? What's the problem? You've all done cake early in the morning, haven't Absolutely. <laughs> what's your beef there, Ross? I would have cake every morning if I had the chance. Yeah. Hey, listen, if you go, if you go to, to the continent, you have cake every morning. You have your pastries, don't you? Yes, that's true, actually. Yeah. You have your pastries. If the stuff. side effects weren't so bad, I'd have cake every morning. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. The thing is, I only have to look at it now. I remember the days when I didn't have to worry about yeah. it. But now look at a cake, smell it, yes. it. But just, just just inhale those calories. That's Absolutely. literally what I do. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? It is sad. <laughs> Being over 40 sucks. <laughs> 2 99 not even stopping there because the clock is ticking away. Um, yeah, we're not judging. Have a bit of cake, have a sarnie. It's no different to a bacon sarnie, isn't it? No. First thing in the morning. I had a bagel this morning. What did you have for breakfast? If you have breakfast. I actually had a sandwich as well. Had a sandwich. <laughs> I had an egg sandwich. I had an egg. Yeah, there we go. There That's a go. breakfast sandwich, I think. Yeah. £1.79. That could be our texting topic. What's your favourite breakfast? If you could have any Ooh. breakfast, what would it be? Oh. Oh, see, Ross, you're so posh, Ross. Eggs Benedict, he says straight away. <laughs> um, if I could have any breakfast, I have to say I do like a full English. Keeps you going then, doesn't it? Mm. Keeps you going till tea time. It does. What about you, Hayley? Oh, there's so many. Yeah, there's so many. Mm. <laughs> eggs up. have to be involved, I think. Yeah, I do like yeah. eggs. What was that, Adam? You have to be in the mood for full English. I'm always in the mood. I'm always in the mood for full English, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do like a stack of pancakes as well. But again, you have to be in the mood for those, don't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. Um, that's a rarity. That's a, a holiday treat. type thing. Totally. Uh, good morning to you, Michaela, Michael, Denise, Maria, Brenda, Helen, Charmaine. Hello to you, Anne-Marie, London. New customers getting involved as well. One pound and 79 pence only. Imagine like a big cuff, you know, right angle weave, a really be big, beautiful cuff of these. I think that would look absolutely amazing. And won't be breaking the bank either, will it, at these wake up to jewellery maker deals? Um, let's move on to... Chrysocola, the big tump, these are gorgeous. And I've certainly shown you, um, I've certainly shown you PowerPoints. Um, <laughs> having a tumble or a rumble? Tumbles, definitely no rumbles. Um, yeah, no, I've, I've certainly shown you PowerPoints with, uh, uh, with Chrysocola and of course, um, showing you that with every gemstone, there's always different degrees of quality. With this beautiful gemstone, expect markings. You should, it's a bit like turquoise. We should actually celebrate those lovely markings, those matrix patterns that occur uh, within the gemstone. Um, it's a fusion of uh, your blues um, and your greens. Really very a very worldly gemstone, I think, very much like your planet Earth. Chrysocola itself is a co uh, copper silicate, uh, and on its own is an unusual material. Uh, not really a mineral, more of a silica gel, uh, which is hard over time. Um, it's often formed with other minerals such as chalcedony, turquoise, malachite and quartz uh, which makes for the interesting colours and patterns that you're seeing within um, but more frequently now than ever, I, well I don't know that's a quite sweeping statement but um, I'm seeing it a lot in jewellery because it has, it's beautiful isn't it Chrysocola? You're right, it is definitely having a moment. Yeah, yeah. having a moment, that's the perfect <laughs> description, I'm having a moment. <laughs> I think it's because it's affordable. Um, it's an affordable blue gem, which actually looks really luxurious. It looks a bit like a sapphire. It looks a little bit like um, uh, some of them, like uh, iolite, turquoise. And turquoise. E even a randidiorite, yes. Yes, it does actually look like deep randidiorite. Well, look, at Liberty, for Chrysocola, £1,865. Wow. Granted, that's in gold. Okay, yeah, lovely Beautiful. quality. Um, look at this one. That's not the best Chrysocola. Is that Chrysocola? Oh, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I'd question it too because it's very, very, very dark. Well, there's a lot of it in that piece, so that's yeah. possibly... Love that one. That's gorgeous. 
£4,870. Oh. Ooh, I know. Maybe Love this should. one, though, from the Wolf and Badger. And I, I do the, the Wolf and Badger. Sorry, from Wolf and Badger. Um, and very achievable, I think, for us yes. jewellery makers. Oh, definitely, yes. Take a bit of inspiration from that piece, can't we? We're at £39.99. pence, Or have a little look at this one. Uh, price on application. There we go. It is beautiful. And it, for me, it always reminds me uh, if we were sort of floating it up in space, looking down on planet Earth, because you get the, the balance, don't you, um, of your blues and your greens. Now, these are big stones. It's only been on your screens once previously. We only ever had 31. We've got nine. They absolutely... Oh, oh. Okay, there's six of them left within the vault. They're big stones. Actually, we're probably one of the biggest of our chrysocolas that we have currently within, um, within our vault. Oh, wow. Did we, is that what I launched it at? $14.99. Gosh, that's amazing, isn't it? Um, it, I don't think this is going to see another show. I think it's going to be an on-screen sellout. Beautiful. I mean, you can take what, individual stones and, I don't know, from that John Hardy piece that we just saw on the jewellery editor, um, you know, bezel setting, you know, lots of components that we can offer you here at Jewellery Maker. The final four, London snapped up too. Well done, Maria Brenda. Hello, Irene. Hello to you, Anne-Marie. Uh, morning, Maria. Full English breakfast for me too, but without hash browns. Oh. I I tell you what, Maria, I'll have yours then. Can I have yours? Yes. Yeah, love a hash brown. And you've got to dip it in your egg. Oh, yes. One thing I will miss out, though, I'm not a big fan of tin tomatoes. Oh, not, really? Not on a breakfast. I like that to make the hash brown a bit soggy. Oh, you like a <laughs> soggy hash brown. A soggy bottom. Yes. They do, don't they? One side of them yes. goes a bit soggy. What, what I don't like is not good sausages. No, I agree. The ones that are just full of bread. Yes, Don't and like other stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather can leave those. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. And black pudding, yay or nay? I'm, I've never tried white pudding. Um, let's do some Chrysocola round, shall we? Love an English breakfast. I prefer the sausage to the bacon. Controversial. <laughs> Controversial. Um, anyway, back to the gemstone, shall we? Not often we get Chrysocola in your rounds, particularly in your faceted form. We're talking about food, and I'm going to make you all hungry, aren't I, if we carry on with this conversation. I mean, this is... Oh, yeah, Callan's literally nodding at me right now. Um, sorry, Callan. Um, this, you know, we had... Uh, was it Melanie earlier on that was talking about those really beautiful... Um, those really beautiful stretchy bracelets um, that she made on the Wall of Fame. This would be perfect. There's a slight graduation to these as well. You could knot them in between. I'm feeling like with a pop of colour, maybe something like a coral colour in between these knotted. Yes, that's pop that's holiday vibes. I'm yes. Can you tell I'm craving a holiday? Yes. With You've been away, haven't you? Not abroad. Not to a uh, seaside destination. Are you going? Um, no. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, I'm going to Florence, which is very much in the middle of a country. Yes. Is it? Thank it's okay, beautiful, I need to though. get some tips from you, Ross. Oh, so. Ross is raving about Florence right now. Oh, wow. Okay, good. But that's holiday. Oh, wow. That's a holiday. That's an amazing holiday. Yes. And uh, to North Wales, the Peak District, they, you know. Love it. Yeah, that Love kind it. of thing. Good old Wales. But it's not, it's not quite tropical sands and... No, well, me neither. <laughs> Are you neither. not? I was... Uh, yeah, no, me neither. But we can take you there, can't we, with yes. the wonderful gemstones. Yes. Oh, premium location of source, I'm noticing on this one as well, from, your, uh, from the Congo. Uh, £39.99 only with your gorgeous graduation, a really wonderful um, saturation of your turquoise blue, very desirable in the Chrysocola world to have that intensity of colour. Now, we launched this. Me, the, sold it, and over 100 sold at £14.99, rightfully so. That's an incredible deal for Chrysocola. I've always said it. It's, for me, it's a boutique gemstone. Should we take it under 10 today? It's a boutique gemstone because we don't see it on the high street because no. of its rarity. And when we do see it, it's expensive. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm about to beat my own price. Ah, how many do we have, though? 70 of these opportunities. The colour quality um, of this is absolutely unbelievable. And then the fact that you've got them in your faceted rounds, it'd always be a shame, I don't know if you agree, Hayley, to actually break this up. I would actually wear it knotted on the front of the neckline. 
Yeah, but you, you, to be honest, there's enough there to be able to wear it. If you take half of that, it looks like a full front, sort of, half, you know, like a proper necklace. Yeah. But a bit of chain on the side. And then you've got the rest to play, yeah, earrings, exactly, ring, whatever. So That would be lovely. So you, can but you could absolutely do both. Make a suite. Yes. Make a suite out of this yes. one strand that's not even going to cost our lovely viewers £14.99 this morning. Um, here we go. We're beating our own price. I launched this with you um, not that long ago. I remember it, actually. And they flew out the door. Hundreds of them sold at £14.99. We've taken a third off that price tag. That's pretty amazing. 70 of you. That's why we want to reward you for getting up nice and early um, and joining the show in the 8 o'clock hour, of course. And that's exactly, precisely how we do it. Do make sure you check out, though. 70 might sound like a big quantity. I can assure you it definitely isn't. Um, again, with something like pearls, I think would be quite lovely. Then, then we really are taking taking you to sand between the toes destinations, oh, aren't we? Yes, yes. That kind of vibe. Yes. With this piece of jewellery. Pop a bit of coral colour in there. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, I'm there already. I know. <laughs> what, what cocktail would you have, though, Hayley? Uh, many. <laughs> yeah. I'm done with that too. All of them. All of the above. <laughs> uh, hello to you, Alison. Hello to you, Irene, Maria, Brenda, Ayrshire, Patricia, Pauline, Regine. Hello to you, new customers getting involved as well. Um, £10. How often do we see Chrysocola under £10? Right, right, right. I feel like I need to wakey, wakey you all up. Because we've just taken a third off that price tag... And it was already unbelievable. Um, would we all remember, not that long ago, I'm not talking about you know, many years ago, when, um, when Chrysocola would have been 30, 40 pounds. And we're talking big carat weights of individual rounds for under 10 pounds. Now, literally, only have to think about maybe a few years ago, um, a strand like this would have been at 30, 40 pounds upwards. Um, well done. Do check out those baskets. Don't forget, you have the most amazing calibrated stones coming up within this hour, all as your early birds, including Heart Cut Santa Maria Aquamarine, all available on pre-order. You've got Ratnakiri Zircon heart cuts. And then in this one here, you've also got a mixture of your Zircon and some natural um, natural garments. Um, would Carnelian go with Chrysocola? Yes. Great idea. Yes. I think that sounds it's lovely. It's a great idea because coral obviously is no longer a good idea. So, no. So Carnelian gives you that colour, but without those negative connotations. Which yeah, totally agree. Yeah. Totally, totally agree. Really good suggestion. You can get that really lovely orange yes. you, coming through. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I think that would be really beautiful as a combination. It's, just, it's, it's Orange and that turquoise, I think, really works, yeah, doesn't it? it does. It's a little bit like, like the spiny oyster turquoise that we've seen. Yeah. Really lovely yes. to actually have those two uh, colours together. Great suggestion, Maria. Loving that. Um, OK, shall we do some aquamarine? Um, I'm thinking back, some years ago, you know when Facebook does those memories, those, yeah. those memories that pop up, and I must have seen, I uh, found a piece of jewellery online somewhere, and um, I remember saying, this is probably one of the most beautiful designs I've ever seen, I absolutely loved it, and okay, it would have been probably quite an investment, but it had your uh, Baroque, or, or your Fireball Pearls, um, so if you imagine buying a strand like that, and then buying literally, I don't know, there was about five or six of these strands, and they were all just mixed up together. Oh. It looked so beautiful, yeah. so, so beautiful. Look at the quality of this color in aquamarine. We all know it, of course, as that azure, beautiful blue. If you love aquamarine, then you're absolutely in the right place this morning. You're getting 100 carats on this strand. But again, think about uh, your Katie Parker design where she created that sort of sea yeah. foam look yeah. um, with crocheting. But um, I could probably find that photo again. Do the memories disappear once you've looked at them? I don't, I don't know. know, actually. They but it popped up yesterday, ironically. Oh, wow. Um, this is the lowest ever price that we've ever taken your aquamarine. We've got 50 of them. Oh, I knew it. I knew this was good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Ross just said, we've got 50, but yeah, we're going to go again. Um, yeah, take, uh, take inspiration from that piece. Honestly, it was so beautiful, so beautiful. And I think I actually showed it on the show um, for that reason. I said, look at this design. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and it was just literally loads of aquamarine with just a few of your fireball pearls just Ooh. sort of dotted in between. It looked wow. so gorgeous. 2 99 Cornwall. Hello to you, Michael, Patricia, London. Barbara, Denise, Pauline. Hello to you, uh, Essex. Hello to you, Brenda, Anne-Maria, Nora, Irene, Ayrshire. You're all there. And 
Um, there is a little bit of a queue, minimal queue on the phone lines. As you can imagine, um, everything is heating up here in the jewelry maker studio. Well, you know, we're getting warmed up, aren't we? We are. Yes. We are. And it's with, <laughs> with deals like this, of course, because we've got Hayley, Ooh. a lovely Hayley in the studio who is just the most unbelievable talent. And like I said, if you have any questions um, about all things gemstone setting and precious metal, then she's your girl. Um, okay, stay where you are. It's on the verge of selling out. Shall we go to a very mysterious gemstone? You know, if it was a person, if it was a person, it would be very moody. <laughs> It would be one of those moody people. I always look at gems and, th and try and imagine a personality yes, to them. Yes, that's a good idea. Actually. Yeah, so like I've always said, uh, Labradorite is like a Heathcliff. Oh, I a like A Wuthering that. Heights Heathcliff. Yes, I like that. Moody, but actually quite romantic. Yes. If you look, if you look uh, below the surface. This is a gemstone I think would literally just be always moody and broody. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lava Kai, again, a phenomenal gemstone. You get these beautiful flashes of silver. Um, <clears throat> a twist on your monochrome, really. Last time this was on your screens was the 15th of March. When? Last year or this year? This year. Okay. And it closed at 9.99. Okay. I mean, they're 10 millimeter lava kite rounds, faceted rounds, no less. So I'm thinking, yeah, your, your Marlin necklaces, Father's Day's round the corner, of course. Be great for gents makes, wouldn't it? Should we do a brand new low? Never been anywhere near what Ross is about to do. He says that a lot. Oh, we're holding our breath. Wow. 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 399. I mean, you could buy one bead for that price and some... Yeah. £3.99. Yeah. And they're big... Look at the carrot weight. 270 carats of magical lava kite. This moody and broody gemstone, which I just love. With it with like a big, chunky black tassel. Oh, yes. Now, I'm, I'm imagining the person... I think this person's into metal. Yeah. The rock chick. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit yeah. of a, a rock chick vibe. Yes. What's her name, that Car uh, Courtney Kardashian? Yeah, have she just seen... I'm not into the Kardashians, but I've just, it's all over the press at the moment. Yes, you know, getting it's married. all over the show. Yeah, uh, Courtney Kardashian. She's, she got, got married. She's got married, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, yeah. Um, not and not she very wore, much. Yeah, Out of Blink-182, yeah. And she wore this proper rock chick dress, didn't yeah. she? So, yeah. yeah, a little bit gothic. A little bit gothic. I like it. I like it. I like that inspiration. We could run with that. Again, lots of you there. That's the lowest price by a country mile. So check out your baskets. I don't know if we've got huge amounts of these available. Oh, 49. Um, but at the same time, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not into rock chick, then I could. you could absolutely make this more feminine and Definitely. more pretty. Um, literally put some pink in there. If you or... put gold findings with that or gold chain, yeah. then you become, it becomes sophisticated, doesn't it? Yeah, it's one of those you can really twist. Yes. You can really twist it around. You could put it, oh, here we go. Let's, let's have a little look with the aquamarine. It would look amazing with your Chrysocola. It would be amazing with, hang on, some Neon Appetite. All coming up in today's show. Okay, next up, the last 25 opportunities on one of the most incredible Tanzanite parcels that I think we've bought recently. These are Briolette drops. Beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, I, I, yeah, I concur with you, Ross. I, I totally agree. It's, it, it, the quality of our Tanzanite of late just seems to be on a different, different scale. Um, plus, I'm not quite sure how we've negotiated such an absolutely amazing price. Um, you're looking at 35 carats of genuine Tanzanite in a briolette drop. These are not small. You know, actually, let's do a quick count of these because 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So you're talking about what? Almost two carats each? <coughs> yeah, almost two carats per stone on average, of course. 
you know people know tanzanite i mean Haley, you're uh, you're a very uh, successful businesswoman as well um tanzanite must be a gemstone that people mention a lot yes yeah, so it's definitely up there people now know it took a while but people now know it's up there with the the big four it's now the big yeah. five and tanzanite's yeah. in there I can imagine it's one of those gemstones that you get asked for a lot. I do. And actually, um, sometimes if somebody hasn't asked for it, if I suggest it, it's, yeah. it's a winner. Yeah. So, yeah. It's such a beautiful blue, isn't it? And it's taken the, uh, taken the world by storm, of course, since its discovery in the late 1960s. Um, we used to do whole days across the Gemporia partnership with Tanzanite. Um, we can't even do an hour now. We've been saying it. And, and it's funny because at that time when we were doing Tanzanite days, we we're going, oh, but you're saying that it's running out. And, 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 and yet you're still doing Tanzanite days. I get it. We do make our jobs difficult for ourselves sometimes. Um, but now it, it is very apparent, isn't it? We don't have vast yeah. quantities. Now, £8.74 on split pay which shows that we are already too low. We shouldn't be using split pay on anything less than 50 pounds. We have the final how many? 25 opportunities. We're gonna do a big close out deal. I'm visualizing these with some lovely um, seed pearls. Yes, yes. Oh. And maybe some like, a, like Cascade, waterfall stuff. Yes. They'd be lovely, wouldn't yes, they? Yes, it would be. What's a good idea, Ross? What about alongside your new launch? What about alongside the new garnet that we are launching today at 10 o'clock? Those two together would be absolutely amazing. The final 19, you won't believe the deal Ross has up, uh, planned up his sleeve. Um, 35 uh, carats of this amazing, amazing quality. Well, we're already a pound a carat for Tanzanite. The quality of our tanzanite, it's not pale, it's not white, it's not wishy-washy. You've got that really beautiful injection of your vanadium. That's what, obviously what's responsible for bringing you at that intensity of colour. I'm holding my breath. So, oh, yeah, that's low. That's so low. That's so, so low. Really low, Ross. 17 solitaires. It's just over a pound per stone. And the split pay is like 4 .99. What on earth? Ross, we can get in trouble for that, you know. Yeah, well, meh. We're going to do it anyway, aren't we? The final few of these, there's a lot of you there. Gloucestershire, Nina, Karen, Pauline's multi -bought, Maria and Brenda, Jackie, Berkshire, another Maria. Hello to you, Wendy, Grace, Gillian, Miriam. Hello to you, Susan, Patricia. Grace, you've got yours. Well done, multi-buying on this. That's the thing, you know, we, I don't, I'm reading out names, but don't assume that people will just get the one at that kind of price tag. You know, you're not far off getting two for the price of yes. one. Absolutely. You know, so why on earth wouldn't you indulge whilst we get the chance um, to secure your tanzanite? Maria's just snapped up three of these. Well done to you. I've got Susan with it in her basket, Suzanne with it in her basket, Berkshire with it in her basket, Wendy with it in her basket, Gillian, Miriam, Susan and Patricia with it in your basket. And I've still got people on the phone line. So it will be an on-screen sellout. It will be because you recognise how big a deal that was. I mean, even, even if we were to keep it at 34.99, I think there'd have been sellouts. But Ross has worked his magic, hasn't he? Worked his magic. He says not the first time this week either. Well, you do, you do, Ross. You work your magic on on all of these amazing deals. What a tinker! <laughs> I used to love, I used to love that. It's such a nice expression, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Oh, you're a tinker. It's kind of naughty but cute. Naughty but cute, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I call Tiggy a tinker. Tiggy tinker, because she is. She is a bit naughty, but also very cute with it. Uh, down to the final two. Okay. Oh, sorry, you did say that, didn't you? Yeah, that's all right then. Um, should we do some sapphire? My goodness me, much like the Tanzanite, there is only a limited quantity, 17. I don't think you need to do anything to this. Just restrand it on something that's um, obviously more, uh, more permanent <clears throat> than the beading thread that it comes on. Look at that. Look, look how beautiful that is, Hayley. It is stunning. Natural M Madagascan sapphire. Wow. We all know that sapphire, we should make the assumption almost that it's undergone some kind of treatment, be that heat, diffusion filling these haven't they had that quality of color without that help we have 17 of these left 17 opportunities 
again, I'm visualizing it alongside, I don't know, jadeite? Yes, jadeite or um, the aquamarine that you had earlier. The nuggets? Yes. You'd mix those together? Yes, with the blues. And then, like you said, bringing in Lovely. pearls would look amazing. Oh, it would look gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous, natural blue Madagascan sapphire, of course, for all of you September babies. Um, you have a very regal gemstone. Still to this day, blue is uh, the most commercially sought after. Oh, my goodness me, what is that? What is that? What is it? I'm sorry. I know that's completely unprofessional of me to stop mid-sentence. But it's coming up before you deal with the, your, your early birds. Imagine that off your sapphire. Oh, I know. Have tiny. you just clocked it? Can you see why I? Can you see why I was? I can see it from from here. It's huge. The reason we didn't put it on pre-order is because there's eight. Oh. It's brand new, coming up in one auction's time, possibly two. That's the most amazing sky blue topaz coming up coming up sorry i was literally gobsmacked when i saw that then 17 of these available should we do another closeout deal beautiful quality um very regal beautiful blues the tans night as predicted has completely sold out i don't think this is going to be any different either um should we should, should we should we see if we can make this follow suit 35 carats of genuine sapphire I love Madagascan sapphire because it almost has glow from the inside. I think yeah. it radiates from the inside yes. out. And, and, and I, I mean, all sapphires have sparkle, but that, considering that it's slightly opaque, it's still got a massive amount of sparkle. Yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah. You know, when, when it comes to, when it comes to so, well, any gemstone really, of course, <clears throat> the quality comes from a number of different factors. You know, with, op uh, with, with, with emeralds, for example, I did a showcase over on Lifestyle the other day talking about uh, Panchia emeralds and it's about all those four C's of course the quality of color um, inclusion should be expected particularly when it comes to your sapphire and your emeralds and your rubies 19.99 for natural color worthwhile maybe getting your certificate of authenticity to celebrate the fact that it's natural and not and, and yeah. not um, enhanced and I haven't got a problem with gemstones being uh, being enhanced at all you know as long as you know that when you're actually buying them there's nothing wrong with it why wouldn't you want to make something more beautiful um, if you have the ability to this didn't need that assistance though down to the final seven caroline pauline london gabrielle dawn brenda maria denise hello to you south yorkshire new customer susan jill i can see you on the phone lines i only had 17 oh that's just dawned on me again <clears throat> it's just dawned on me i can see lots of you there make us stay where you are on those phone lines if you've pressed your option one I can keep everything crossed for you. Um, Jill, good luck to you. Maria, good luck to you. London, good luck to you. There are literally four of these left um, within the vault. First come, first serve. Now, just before we dive into that unbelievable sky blue topaz. Oh, my goodness. Eight of you will be successful on this. That looks like a J-Lo engagement ring. Doesn't it? <laughs> Um, I read Something an article else. about her pink, her pink's, uh, pink diamond. I think it was 2.5 million. Gosh. <laughs> That's wealth, isn't it? It's too much, isn't it? Too much. Yeah, I agree. I'll go for the topaz then. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I, I didn't wear it if it was worth that yes, much money. Yes, exactly. You... Um, this is coming up in one auction's time. Unbelievable. Like heart of the ocean, isn't it? I can't believe that's, uh, that's on our screens. Now, I'm about to show you the most absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful amethyst there are only 22 of these available it's jaw-dropping the color is just oh breathtaking when it comes to this gemstone it is all about that rich chocolate box purple of course you know the brand that i'm discussing um that's the pinnacle of quality look does it get any better than that that's beautiful i know I don't think amethyst gets much better than what's on our screens I don't, right now. I might even go as far as to say that might be the best amethyst I've seen. Yes, I, I, I don't disagree. 
Zambian. Um, yeah. I heard I heard rumours that Zambian amethyst is no longer being mined oh. um, because, well, basically it's no longer financially viable. So little of it, little of it was actually coming out of the ground where they had huge investments from big companies like Gemfields. But yeah, I heard a rumour <clears throat> um, that it wasn't being mined anymore, which is a real shame because look at the quality that we once were able to get from uh, from that location. I used to love doing Zambian Amethyst showcases on um, when I worked on our sister channel as well because you're guaranteed that really, it's a pedigree of purple, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's, it's beautiful. It's I agree with you, Hayley. I think this is one of the best rounds we've ever had. Yeah. Should we take this under £20? For 105 carats of big quality Zambian Amethyst. 19 pounds and 99 pence only they're gorgeous aren't they yeah they are and and again i think that could be super simple just literally restrand this maybe pop oh what would you put in, in between oh um because i'm just thinking pearls i was thinking the same i can't I think, get pearls I something else but pearls <laughs> yeah I, I know pearls 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 that's all i've got in my maybe, head right maybe now maybe um um something green like yeah a, peridot yes that would be nice yes that would be lovely or um the chrysocolla yes that would be lovely or, too um Chrysoprase. Yeah, oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. I love Chrysoprase. Yes, yeah, so do I. Um, an underestimated gemstone here at Jewelry Maker, but it can be astonishingly expensive yes, elsewhere. Yes, it can. Yes. Last auction before we step into your calibrated stones. I, do you know what? I'm going to put this one out there. If you, if you love this, when you get this home, you will not be disappointed. I mean, look how amazing it is on our screens. And you're actually technically looking at it at its worst. Um, yeah, when you get this home, you see it in person, the colour will blow you away. It's absolutely beautiful, as if that clock is ticking away. They are big stones. Look at the calibrations going right the way up to, what, 10 by 7 millimetres. Um, we're doing a closeout deal. London Sport 2, Lanarkshire, Gabrielle, Maria, Brenda, Mary, Nina, Anne Maria, Eva, hello to you, Pauline, Norfolk, you've got two, Berkshire, you've got two. I don't blame you, I would as well. The colour is insane, absolutely insane. And also, um, also, I know that uh, our lovely Haley has got some beautiful kits coming up in the next hour that would look lovely with this. They would actually. That would. That's a, that's a really good idea. In these kits, you get some slider bracelets woven, those. but you actually get so many that you'll have spares. So actually, one of those gems or three of those gems in between. Gorgeous. Perfect. Really gorgeous. Yeah, yeah just literally to sit on the front of the wrist line. Um, Twelve of these remain. Fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. The quality is just, it's going to blow you away. It is, that colour is incredible. It's sold out, well done. Um, okay, are you ready? We're going we're gonna to get all romantic because one of the most, sort of, it's no secret, I think we all know this, that one of the most complex and expensive cuts to fashion into any gemstone, be that a diamond, be that a ruby, be that an aquamarine, be that a zircon, be that a topaz, is a heart and i'm not talking about a, you know a heart which is more like a pear i'm talking about a definite heart where you actually have that precise pronounced cleft now this is beautiful sky blue topaz in probably the biggest stone i have ever seen individually outside of maybe a lorique collection or something like that launching your heart cut stone Little uh, little early bird uh, section of this morning show. Um, we're going to go straight into your sky blue topaz. Now, eight of you will be successful on this opportunity. When it comes to topaz, it is all about brilliance. It hasn't been on pre-order um, purely because of the quantity. You haven't promoted it for that reason. Um, there are eight people that will be able to get hold of this. It's enormous, absolutely enormous. It's brand new, never been on our screens previously before. You're looking at an amazing 13 carats within a sky blue topaz. Um, Wayne literally brought these back direct from India. He found them within the vault. Um, he was like, I know there's only eight, but I'm going to take those. Thank you very much. Now, um, he yeah, carried them on, on the actual plane. It's amazing that these gemstone buyers do that, you know, because I bumped into Alex Mineral Man when I was uh, coming back from Tucson. 
And, uh, and he was the same. He had loads of gemstones in his hand luggage. Anyway, I'm just going to show you something. Wayne, these are insane. Did you literally carry these in your hand luggage? Do, I don't, like, did you let it out of your sight? No, he says, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> he was clinging onto his bag for dear life. Even he, he literally, uh, when he was sleeping on the way back, he was literally killed up in the fetal position around, <laughs> these, be <laughs> around these beautiful topaz. Look at the size. They are absolutely impeccable. Of course, topaz is naturally brilliant forming. Um, you get beautiful amounts of brilliance. Of course, eye clean clarity in the beauty that is a sky blue topaz. Um, so many benefits to topaz as a gemstone. It's actually uh, in the top three most popular blue gemstones. Um, yeah, I mean, I always thought, right, sapphire, tanzanite, possibly yeah. aquamarine or... Or lapis, maybe, but no, this is uh, this situates at number two. Maybe because it's affordable. Yeah, exactly. It's more affordable and it's durable. Yes. It's eight on the most yes. scale, so we're looking at quite a durable stone. Oh gosh, there's loads of you want this. Wayne, have you got any more of these? This is literally the last eight in the world. Look at the quality. Look at the quality of the faceting. Look at the pronunciation of the cleft. Look how the light literally dances wow. internally. And then you have that wonderful, perfect sky blue topaz color. You can get this home today. Oh, not at 129 pounds and 99 pence. This is huge. It's not a shrinking violet. This is, the, this is a stone that will get noticed. It comes in the box. Again, something that you can be a custodian of if you want, even if you don't turn it into jewellery. $69.99. Is, is that really what it is? Really? Not on split pay, $69.99. You can buy the whole thing for £69.99. That's bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. So I'm going to ask a few obvious questions, knowing that your gemstone buyer is sat in the gallery right now. Wayne, what's the likelihood of being able to get hold of any other sort of heart cut stones? He took most of them, he says. <laughs> oh, that's literally these early birds. They're all in this hour. Okay. <clears throat> they literally came back with him on the plane. Um, okay, Wayne, what's the likelihood of being able to get another 13 carat uh, solitaire stone? Nil pois, nil pois, they've sold out, well done. Um, I'm also going to just tell you a very quick story on the back of that opportunity. 37 of you missed out, I'm so sorry. The most expensive gemstone I've ever physically homed, um, homed, held, um, was, was a heart cut. And it was around about that size. It was a diamond that I was actually, because it was part of my job back in the days, I was only in my early 20s, and I used to literally drive around in my little, sat little, little Citroen Saxo. And a little citron sack, so yeah. And uh, my then employer said, you need to deliver this heart cut diamond. It was a finished and complete in a piece of jewellery. And take it, I can't remember the name of the jewellers, to such a jeweller because he is about to board a plane to propose to his wife. Oh, wow. Right. No pressure. I get stuck in every single traffic jam that could possibly happen. <laughs> and I end up literally ditching my car, hopping on a taxi and running through London with... A diamond of that size. Wow. Oh my gosh, never again. I was like, never again. I don't have that responsibility. It's just too much. But unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Well done, everybody. That's amazing. Now, we have Santa Maria Aquamarine in your heart cuts coming up. We had 47. 20% of the stock's gone on pre order. They will all go once you see the amazing price tag. Heart cut. Five mil, which is a big stone. It's your early bird. Aquamarine. Um, I think most of us immediately recognise this gemstone and know exactly what it's like. It's that beautiful azure blue, the summer's day skies. Um, but there is, as you've got your grades within your tanzanite, of course, there is, I wouldn't say grading system, but uh, almost a, a, a headline, a title um, for the best quality Santa, uh, the best quality aquamarine, and that is Santa Maria. Now, once upon a time, that was a location. 
um, it's a location in Brazil. These days we use that terminology in homage, if you like, to the location because it's now dis the perfect description of color saturation. Well, actually, do you know what? I'm going to open this one up as well because they're too, they're too spectacular to be looking at through a Perspex box. Um, these are calibrated to perfection. You know, the actual quality and cut of these is just on a different scale. So for those of you that maybe are thinking, I'm actually thinking ahead now to maybe when the girls turn 16 or 18 and you can start giving them things like um, pendants or gifts like that. I'm just going to take my eternity ring off for a second and only because I want to hold this so we can actually visualize it as a finished piece. Look at the quality of this blue. That's so gorgeous. Santa Maria aquamarines usually are exclusive to gold. Um, Santa Maria normally is in 14 or 18 karat gold, would you agree, Hayley? Yes, absolutely. Smothered in diamonds yes. and cost a bit. Cost a bit because of that beautiful colour. In, in, yeah, you can get you can get aquamarine, which is slightly paler, still often is blessed with lovely, uh, it's almost glacial-like uh, clarity. However, when you've got the combination of the two, I'm going to show you a PowerPoint that I, I, I've presented to you in the past. Um, this is from Pragnell, um, very reputable jewellers that talk specifically about Santa Maria. Many highly valuable and sought after examples have been found at Santa Maria. Um, in the Itabira mine in Brazil. Uh, legend has it that in the early 1900s, Brazilian miners discovered a 20 kilogram aquamarine, so, sorry, 200, 200 kilogram aquamarine, so clear that you could read newsprint through it. Wow. Today, the Santa Maria mine has been exhausted. However, on very rare occasions, gems mined in Africa have shared the same exceptional color and clarity exhibited in the original gems um, and are named Santa Maria in their honor. This is, this is from the original mine. So Wayne saw this in the vault. We, have, uh, we, we purchased from Santa Maria, the, the original Santa Maria mine, way, way, way back when. Um, this was situated within our, uh, our Jaipur vault, too special to be under lock and key. Wayne was like, I'm bringing it back to, uh, to show our viewers. So you are getting it from that depleted location of source, perfectly calibrated, perfectly eye clean, and perfect in its color saturation. To be able to say that you are a custodian of Santa Maria Aquamarine really is quite exceptional. I mean, take a little look at some of the designs um, that you might see elsewhere. They are you know, very high-end luxury jewelers. Look at this one, floating aquamarine necklace, uh, designed and created by our master jewelers. This floating aquamarine necklace is, a, uh, is as original as the stone set in it. The aquamarine was found in the famed Santa Maria mine and is cut in a fancy, uh, fantasy onion shape. Um, this beautiful gem totals 17 carats in weight and is accompanied by 0.56 carats of fine white diamonds. So I think we all know that if you have, if you get the opportunity to say Santa Maria before Aquamarine, that you are getting some of the best in the world. Take a little look at this, a 20 carat Santa Maria Aquamarine diamond uh, ring, $9,000. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Can I just say that's got less color than yours? Less color than yours. It's okay. Yours is smaller. But really, if, you, if you're getting Santa Maria, you want the blue, don't you? Th that's the whole point of it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? We had 47 of these literally brought back this week on the plane by your gemstone buyer himself. And you know what, Wayne? They're not going to hang around. They're going to sell out today because if there are any left, I'm getting some of these. <laughs> For sure. Big for the girls. Yeah. I also know what they're going to. Do you? Um, let's just say it's surprising. Unbelievable, says Ross. He says it's the lowest ever price point for Santa Maria I've ever brought to air. <clears throat> £129.99 pence. would be incredible, wouldn't it? We aren't, we're not stopping there. There's only 47, or rather there were only 47 opportunities. We are taking it even lower. Well done, collectors that have already secured theirs. 
under 50 pounds. Under 50 pounds. And we're talk looking at genuine Santa Maria from that famed location. Do you notice every single article that I read to you just then, a few words out of it um, online, all talk about the celebration that Santa Maria Aquamarine is. Aquamarines are one of uh, the most universally admired gemstones, flattening to, uh, flattering sorry, uh, to all skin tones. Uh, the greenish blue hue is reminis reminiscent of azure waters. It was once believed to calm waters and keep sailors safe at sea. This enti enticing gemstone is famed for its high transparency, its vitreous luster. Um, the French art critic Charles Blanc was quoted as saying that aquamarine has the glassy tint the, uh, of the waves of the sea. 30 points of genuine, fine quality Santa Maria. 29 pounds and 99 pence only. Can I, don't drop it out for <laughs> sake. Like, you know, and sometimes my, I love my job, but sometimes it's quite a lot of pressure. Look at this. Oh, that is stunning. Can you imagine them in earrings? Can you, Hayley, can you imagine that? And I, I feel like I need to be naughty and get my phone out. <laughs> I feel like bye, you bye, should bye. as well. Don't worry. I've Isn't got, that stunning? They're gorgeous, aren't they? I'd even go as far as Hayley, because of the quality of that marine, you could put diamonds around yeah, it. Yeah, yes, 100% I would. I'd, I'd like literally a halo of diamonds all the way around. That means yes. a pair of earrings will cost you just 60 pounds. 60 pounds for Santa Maria. Would you buy a quad A tanzanite at 60 pounds or 29.99? No. Would you buy um, a pigeon blend ruby for, for 29.99? Absolutely not. Would you, color, would you buy a decolorless diamond? That's basically what we're looking at in the realms of your, of your aquamarine. The incredible thing about today, about the fact that 30 points, and the fact that this is a five millimeter, uh, millimeter flawless, perfectly saturated Santa Maria from the original depleted mine, not from Africa, <gasps> from the original mine, is the fact that because Wayne physically carried these over for you, cutting out all the delivery costs, we're taking it lower. You be naughty if you want to. <laughs> I've got no problem with you being naughty. I was talking. I was talking to Haley. <laughs> We're going even lower. If you don't, I'm all over this. I'm absolutely all over this because I don't own Santa Maria Aquamarine. I own Aquamarine. Yes. No way near the grey that you're looking at right now. Twenty nine ninety nine is already incredible. I can see maybe visualize possibly a pair of a, a few pairs of earrings like Lou, like Veronica, uh, like London, who have all chosen to multi buy. Angela, Christine, Wendy. Hello to you, Brenda, Pauline, Nicolette. Hello to you, Sorry. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, Marie, Eleanor, Anne. Another Eleanor as well. Uh, Gloucestershire, Ayrshire, Karen. Hello to you, new customer Susan, Jackie. Nobody is going to be paying as little as $29.99 for a genuine Santa Maria Aquamarine from the original closed mine, it's deplete. Watch how quick, quickly these sell out. Oh my word. And please know that we will probably never ever bring you Santa Maria Aquamarine again at $19.99. I can't do an hour of Santa Maria Aquamarine, the mine is closed. The mine is closed. They use that description for other locations now in, in sort of recognition. Um, to the quality of the colour, but you're not getting it from those other locations. You are getting it from that depleted mine. Half the stock has gone. Lou, you've just up your quantities. Well done. Pauline's got three. Maria's got two. We've got jewellers getting. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't the jewellers get involved? That's precisely what I would be doing. I'd be getting this. It would go in 18 karat gold with some diamonds around it. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Job done. I'd be going. Ah, oh, Haley Kruger. I've got some really lovely Santa Maria <laughs> Aquamarines. Any chance that, that's what I'd be doing? Because yeah. I'm not. I'm not a jewelry maker. I'm not a jewelry. Uh, I can design, but uh, as input pen to paper. At the end of the day, it's about sourcing the gemstone that's the priority Absolutely, right now. Absolutely, yeah. Twenty pounds, Haley. For a heart cut as well. Yeah, I put. I spent more than that 
putting petrol in my car this morning. Oh, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a good point, it's a good point. What have you raised that for, Al? Uh, Veronica, you've got three. Are you thinking about a suite or are you thinking about maybe for, um, uh, within, your, uh, within your legacy, within your, uh, your, your, your family's uh, collections? 19.99, the uh, maker's just got seven. Well done to you. It's absolutely... Let me just put it behind the box as well, because it does come box just like so. The quality, the quality, look at that. Look, with, without, without my hand behind it, you can really appreciate the quality and the clarity that you're seeing within and how precise that cutting is. Um, over 46 of you still have this in your basket. I have eight left. Eight left. Um, hello to you, Jackie. Thank you. Got to my birthstone. So a Prezi for me. Happy days. Good Absolutely. You, yeah. Are they going to be earrings, Jackie? Yeah. I would, two is uh, what I think you suggested it, and that's what sticks. They look lovely it in the ear, don't they? Beautiful. Yeah. Aquamarine does look, look amazing, sort of, you know, somewhere where it, it can see the light. Yes. And imagine that as your something blue. Ah. Ah. Oh, and happy birthday for. for, for, for oh, it's March. It's a, it's a way off yet, isn't it, Jackie? But. It's one of those opportunities you can't afford to miss. Absolutely. You cannot afford to miss the quality of that stone. Look at, take a little look. So Pragnell's is, is quite a, an iconic name. It's a jewellery brand. It's, but take a little look at the crystals at the top. So that's aquamarine in, 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 in its crystal formation. Can you see that blue? Can you see that beautiful? It's not aquamarine, sorry. It's Santa Maria aquamarine. Um, so absorb that colour. Almost take like a memory photograph if you can. Now look at the quality that you're getting unbelievable absolutely unbelievable well done well done well done i'm gutted but really happy yeah. for you i wanted some of those wish list there is always yes. a wish list okay so not only did wayne have this and this he also came back with this Oh, aren't they beautiful? They are. They could be representative of members of your family, a heart cut. Remember, it's arguably the most challenging cut to, absolutely, uh, to actually execute into a gemstone and, and have it so that it doesn't disturb the brilliance or fracture the stone. <clears throat> You're looking at, sorry? 1.1 carats, so you're looking at 27 and a half points on each of those stones. Four millimeters in their size. Um, these are Cambodian zircons. Now, uh, Ratnakiri is uh, very much classed as like your Columbia to an emerald. It's regarded as the best in the world. Uh, very primitively mined. They still get up to that mine location uh, either on horseback or donkey. Um, and it is, <coughs> excuse me, actually um, unearthed by literally pickaxe. Now, um, very little comes from the ground. Um, however, the efforts are continued because of the quality of the zircon, uh, zircon that actually um, is witnessed. And you're about to see it even more just here, right? One second, because, you know, when you open these boxes, sometimes I get a little bit of the tape on the side and then it starts messing with the gemstone. But bear with me because it's going to be so, so, so worth it. Four amazing Ratnakiri zircon. So... 47 of these are available and again we are going to bring it to you at the most amazing price point you've got over a carat here of how do you cut a stone to a heart it's i mean have you ever had a go at faceting stones i haven't it's on my to-do list um, but the thing is if you get that wrong you've wasted mm. that shape because you're already cutting away a, around a brilliant. Yeah. So you're, you're taking a risk by losing that. And then if you get that cleft wrong, you've actually really messed up. So yeah. it's a risky job for a cutter. It splits literally just down the centre. Yeah. Um, but also consider the fact that zircon is a, a doubly refractive stone. So you have to make sure that you're complementing uh, um, the actual double refraction ability within the gemstone so the challenge of cutting a zircon into a heart cut is mind-boggling yeah. really yeah. um you'll get you're guaranteed to get more fire you're guaranteed to get more dispersion um within a zircon particularly ratnakiri zircon um, than you would see in any other diamond you've got the really beautiful pure 
colourless white and you're getting a, a staggering one carat opportunity. All four of these exquisitely faceted into, um, uh, sort of into your perfect hearts. Now again we could I, we could show where we should be, and I think you all know where we should be. I mean, these in pairs of earrings, maybe in your in your gold, um, you would probably be looking about triple figures and then some. Yeah. And then some. But we only have a limited quantity, so we're not going to dilly dally. You've seen the last the last quantities. These heart cuts completely sell out. That's ten pounds per stone straight away, straight away, and we're not stopping there. Not so, these would be lovely alongside your Santa Maria, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? they They'd would be, be absolutely amazing. In. You imagine um, a ring where you've got one of the Santa Maria and one of these, and it's a sort of overlapping hearts oh. that are just off centre from each other. That would be beautiful, amazing. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah like, a, like a Gemini design. Yes. There we go. Like a Megan Fox engagement ring. Has she got one of those, has she? Hers has got an emerald and diamond, but it, you could do the same sort of thing. Wow. It's a Stephen Webster. A Stephen Webster design. Mm. Have a little look at that. Right, we're at, we're at £10 per stone. But the next price that you're about to see is still... Wow, isn't that beautiful? Not where we are stopping. Look at those. Oh, they are beautiful, aren't they? they? Are. There's but something about this. There's a, there's a deeper depth to them that's not just like a um a cubic zirconia or uh, any other kind of colorless gem there's there's something more magical about the zircon isn't there yeah they're they're, they're, they're much purer aren't they yes. the actual color itself is far 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 purer than i think you would actually see in yeah. your petalites your diamonds your, and like you said in uh, you know all of your other colorless stones a, a real brightness to it we're at 20 pounds 20 pounds and we're not even stopping there again it's about accessing the stone um even if you don't yet know what you're going to do with it um premium cutting when it comes to when it when it comes to a, to a heart cut i will always regard them all as premium because the level and the complexity to be able to fashion that at uh, that cleft at the top you could literally use your round brilliant cut mounts as well with these Haley, couldn't you yes literally customize it a little bit Absolutely. um to cradle uh, to cradle your four mil hearts you're getting a uh, literally two pairs Oh, imagine, imagine uh, that as the top, the stud part of your earring and a baroque pearl underneath. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yes. Do you want to know what this is going to? Literally physically carried back from India by our gemstone buyer. Oh, my word. And how many of these do we have? <gasps> oh, oh Hayley. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. That's three pounds and twenty-five pence per stone, per solitaire. Rubbed over setting would be absolutely beautiful as yeah. well. Yeah, you could do all, you could do any setting you want with these. You could do a claw, rub over. Um, you could bead around it. You could actually the um, the decorative bezel would look beautiful as well. Yeah. Not going quick enough, says Ross. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's making me anxious. <laughs> making you twitchy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Apparently not going fast enough. Listen, we've got less than 50 of these and people have snapped up multiples. I don't blame you. I'd be using this with the Ratnakiri. I'm um, all maybe alongside that beautiful topaz. Um, if you've got two of the Ratnakiri, just a couple of those. I don't know. Literally, you could have uh, one Santa Maria and then you can have one of your Ratnakiri underneath or vice versa, whichever you wish. It's going lower, which is frankly just silly. Silly, silly, silly. I can't believe that we're even contemplating doing it, but we are. Brenda, Maria, London, another London, Jackie, Dorset, Pam, Tracy, Lou, a lot of multi-buyers. Beverly, Yvonne, you've done it too. Sorry. Um, okay. It's like we've all, we've all woken up to how unbelievable this deal is and the phone lines have just all of a sudden absolutely lit up. Make sure you check out. We will go lower though. We, of course we will. You've still got as well... Um, your beautiful garnets and uh, Ratnakiri Zircon hearts still to come. But how low can we take these? I'd, wouldn't it be lovely to mix them all together, all of these heart cuts? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. You could do an amazing statement necklace, couldn't you? Oh. Wow. 9 Hayley. <laughs> That's right. Oh. £2.50 per stone. It is ridiculous, Ross, yes. 
Ross is like, that is ridiculous, isn't it? Yes. It is that. You've got to remember, though, that, that with Wayne actually physically carrying these back, um, we have cut off, well, the insurance, the delivery, all of those things. Yeah. But they're still only £2.50. <laughs> wow. OK. Now, all I'm going to say is, just dial. Just dial now. I, I, you won't ever see a deal like the one that you're about to see. We've got a hundred of these available and we're going to melt the phone lines. And if ever you've wanted or longed to actually have um, uh, have a heart cut, then this is, the this is your chance. Because we've taken two beautiful, natural, genuine gemstones. The first price crash that you're about to see is actually not your final price. In fact, in fact, they'll be a big price crash thereafter. Now, you're, again, you're getting a selection of four. Such a romantic collection, this one. Um, I hope you can see it, okay, through the actual uh, Perspex box. So you actually have two of your beautiful garnets. Oh, that one's flipped over. I'll open it up now in a second. One minute. Um, you've got two of your beautiful, pure white topaz and then two of uh, your gorgeous garnets. Um, this, what you're about to see, Ross is showing you, is not what you're about to pay. Now, we've got 100 of these. Um, I'm hoping that we kind of open um, people's opportunities of actually owning heart-cut stones, because let's be honest, they are expensive. That, that, that diamond, honestly, I think I had nightmares about it for literally years afterwards, having to run around the city of London with, uh, with a heart-cut diamond that was tens of thousands of pounds of course um look these would be perfect oh oh i've got an idea it's just dawned on me Haley. go on these set into a baroque pearl yes you can say no adam's just no saying. no i think that's amazing uh, that I, I, look lovely yeah do you want to see another price that you're not going to pay yes adam natural heart cuts Literally dremel a hole into a big baroque pearl and just nestle a heart cut garnet or... Yeah, you could use your bird to, yeah. to form the shape of the heart, yeah. Ross, what did, you, did you say not paying 6 99 Look at the quality of these. Should we take it under £5? How is this even viable? I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Natural topaz, natural red garnet. Oh, the, do you know, at this price point, I've just had an idea, another idea. You know, like Chopard Happy Hearts, Happy Diamonds, where they literally dance around in a pendant oh, yes. or in a watch or something yes, like yes, that. Yes. Julia Roberts is the face That's of it. That's a good idea. You could actually have these tessellating yes, around in a really lovely pendant or something. Move, yeah, floating about. Four ninety nine for all four of these. That's one pound twenty five. And what? What? Ross, what are you doing? Ross. <laughs> Do you know Alison was saying the other day she lost a diamond out of her her I think it was her engagement ring. Oh no. And she had to replace a diamond. And I can't remember the exact price that she said, but it was it was a lot. It was three figures. Yeah, diamonds are expensive at the moment. Yes. More, well, they always are, but they're even more so now. Four ninety nine, and we're going even lower. Nobody is paying that price tag this morning. Nobody. Oh, my goodness me, we had 100 and the phone lines have lit up. I don't blame you. I would love to see. Google, the, uh, Google I don't know if we can bring a picture up, can we, Ross? Um, uh, shop out, happy diamonds, whether it be in the watch, whether it be in the pendant, whether it be in the earrings, whichever it is. One that's really loaded with diamonds. I know, that's, that for me is like a, that's an aspirational piece of jewellery. Yeah. If I had pots of cash, <laughs> if I was to win the lottery, that would probably be the first piece of jewellery that I would buy. Um, because it's got all these lovely diamonds that literally just tessellate they're not set they literally just dance around um, within the piece of jewelry take that as a bit of inspiration in your creations what? three pounds and 49 pence only so those are less than a pound each less than a pound that's, less than a pound silly stuff yeah but that's only got one diamond in there that's the go. one yeah 
Here we go. Happy diamonds. Yeah, you can get watches where it's got literally tons of yes, them. Yes, and but... there's lovely pendants, as you said, that are it just, it's like little, yeah, it's like ice cubes within them. Yeah. Amazing. Geometric design tables, the ice cube collection. Oh, there we go. You can see it on the net. This is the next one. Um, but no, Happy Diamonds, Julia Roberts is the face of, and yeah, she used, it's basically loose stones, calibrated stones. They're not even in any mounts. They're literally, they're all across the, the, the watch They're in um, a quartz crystal, I think, yeah. aren't they? A case. They look amazing. Yeah, and because they, there's no metal around them, they really sparkle. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. They're really gorgeous. Um, but you could do a version of that for sure, for sure. Uh, Karen, Nicolette, sorry, you've just got three. London's got four. Brian's got two, Lisa's got two, hello to Marta, Gabrielle, Multibine, Judith Meyer in Paris, Lisa, Deb's also getting two, well done, Patricia's got two, Karen, hello to you, Reading, nice to be with you, Stephanie, Brian, Lanarkshire, another uh, Lincolnshire, uh, Sussex, you want five of these, I would check out your baskets because whilst we had a hundred of them, um, most of you are choosing to get the multiples of, um, I'll leave it with you, keep on dialing through, the this auction is very, very, very much still underway, Good luck to everybody, but I'm about to make my way over to the gorgeous, the uber-talented <laughs> um, Hayley Kruger. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
Welcome back, everybody. Look who it is. Ah, oh, it's lovely, Haley. Oh, it's good to be here with you. Oh, ditto. We were just talking about the fact that, when, you know, the cuddles that we were yes, talking yes. that, that I literally wrapped you up this yes, morning. Yes, it was lovely. Booby cuddles. Booby cuddles, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. Yeah, there's a height there's, difference, there's so I get to <laughs> an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> or not, depending on which way yeah, you look exactly. at it. Oh, no, it's so wonderful to have you in the oh, studio. It's lovely to be here. And do you know what? I feel like these kits are, are, are a little bit of both of us, actually. Yes, I agree, actually. A bit of our vibe and yes, our style. Yes, yes. They're so cool like, and like so on trend. Classic, chic, on trend, if we do say so ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so on trend. Yes, yes. And very summery, but also you can wear them in winter. Uh, there's so much in there. You can, like I said earlier, you, there's so much of the actual um, bracelet bit yep. that you could use them with other things like well, strands that you bought. Yeah, or, precisely. Yeah. Do you know? Uh, and, and I know, I know, I've said this a lot recently since these have actually been on our screens. They always do sell out. Um, they're so popular. But for three years, I've been pitching for Jewelry Maker to sell these because they're all over the web at the moment. Like Ashley Clark do them. Monica Venedi, you're talking about, for say one of Haley's bracelets, you're talking about £130 from uh, from Monica yeah, Venedi. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I know that so many of our lovely viewers can do macrame. Yes. We know you can. Yes. However, so what the, the feedback that we've been having off lots of our customers was... Uh, it's not worth me doing for the price of the kits. And Ross is putting them all on pre-order. Oh, so I have see. a little look on the website. Ignore what it's saying on the web. They're not going to be £245. Say, not after Santa Maria Aquamarine. No, <laughs> no, they are not going to be that price tag. And they are going, well, I'll give you a hint, significantly lower. Significantly <laughs> lower. Um, now, I'm going to start with a silver colour. 60 second clock ticking away. How many do I have of these then, Roscoe? 100. This is the one with the biggest quantity. So uh, these are amazing. These are, ooh, oh, <laughs> oh. oh <laughs> almost, almost. Um, so these are different. I have, thank you, Fallon. I've not seen them before. Yeah, they are, they are different. Are they new settings? They, yeah, they are. They've described them as donut type settings, but actually what they are are slider settings. And we're going to be using them with uh, bracelet sliders. Mm -hmm. but you could actually thread a fine chain through. There's two top oh. holes, and you could set your stone and have a really elegant slider pendant on it. Amazing. So they'd almost look like they're floating. Yeah. Oh, that sounds yeah. beautiful. Of course, so you're getting three of those, and then as you can see just behind, um, you have your really beautiful uh, stones. Oh, two of those are flipped over. I don't know what it is, our stones at the moment. They're always pointing <laughs> the wrong direction. Um, anyway, so you have within here a Sakota emerald, uh, a natural red garnet, and is that a zircon? Ratnakiri zircon within there as well. The auction is well and truly open. Plus, then you're getting your five gorgeous colours um, of your slider bracelets. And just so you know, these beautiful little little pops of lustre here, they are sterling silver yeah. as well. Um, they, they, they're gorgeous. They're, they're absolutely fine. beautiful. Yeah. Quick makes? Super quick makes. I mean, I'm going to show you something that takes a little bit of playing around with, but you could, if you just put a single bead on there. Yeah. I mean, and it's a wire wrap. Done. Job done. Job done. That simple. Yeah. Oh, pop it in and away you go. Yeah. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Amazing. Um, what's that? Oh, um, <laughs> so you, the fact that you actually have... None of your business. <laughs> Um, 80 points <laughs> across your four millimetre stones. Um, sterling <laughs> silver donut settings um, that will create this really beautiful, as you can see, almost like a cuddle to a stone. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Are you ready for this price tag? Bearing in mind that you can make, at, well, you can make five bracelets. And obviously, like Hayley was saying, pop a few of your little uh, your gemstones maybe from uh, your stash already. £34.99. Just for kicks, after you've made your, your confirmations, have a look at the price of, uh, of corded bracelets elsewhere. Yes. They're expensive. They are. Especially if they've got genuine gemstones well, it, within. It's like you were saying, the customers know because the amount of time that goes into creating that mm -hmm. weave, doable, but time consuming. Yeah. And that costs money. Of course. So. It does. Five times over. Yeah. We're not even stopping there, Hayley. In fact, we've got a big price crash coming your way. That's so pretty. 
So pretty. All of my friends would love these designs. Yeah, they're super easy. You can yeah. stack them up with other bracelets. You could yes. give it to anyone, yeah. any age as well. You know, um, it tends to, I, I wear these a lot when, well, to be honest, I was gonna say on holiday, but I don't wear a lot on my days off, this kind of jewelry and literally layer it up with yeah. stretchy bracelets as well. Yeah. We're going lower, did you say, Ross? We have a hundred of this kit. It's the biggest quantity that we actually have across the kits. You get all of those lovely colors. Um, let me just quickly show you within your slider bracelet, again, not only do you have the sterling silver, but if I actually uh, wrap it over, can you see you've actually got those two loops just there? <laughs> That's loops, not soups. Um, <laughs> yeah, you've got the two little loops there that you actually attach your, your, your donut settings to or, what, or whatever you wish, really. £24.99. pence. I mean, that's working out at, what, £5 per macrame braid with sterling silver and then your donut settings and your gemstones for free. Yeah. That's pretty it's amazing. Good, isn't it? Yeah. How much would you sell something like this for? Oh, um, depending on the gemstone, it yeah. is tricky. Twenty-five pounds. Gosh. But I'd probably even go high. I mean, that's the low end. I'd probably go to, depending on the gemstone and the metal, twenty-five to fifty quid. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because you've got emerald in there. You've got yes. beautiful garnet yeah. within there as well. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. But like you said earlier on, it's not a huge time investment actually yeah. making these. Yeah. Um, I, I reckon if you do things like your artisanal markets, they'll be so popular. Yeah. So popular. Um, now. We have a hundred of these. Ross has said this is unplanned. What's, oh, what is? What's he up to? I don't know. What is he up to? So many satin baskets, but not enough confirmations. There's a hundred of this kit. Okay. 20 have gone. 45 of you with it in your baskets. Okay. So he says, show your sheet, Elle. Righto. I fold this over so I don't <laughs> give anything away. But look, this is the auction that we're actually on right now. There's 118. Kits, there we go. There's the code that you can see on your screen. Jammy donuts, there we go. Fiverr bracelets, sterling silver, gemstones, 118 at 24.99. That's what we're meant to be at. Shouldn't be going any lower, but because we can see the interest, but no confirmations as of, as of yet. Um, that's one of the biggest roles that our, our, our producers will do. They, they, they're great at gauging things. Yeah. They go, okay, look, we've just got to manage time as well. So we're good. you're going to take it under 20? Okay. Okay. There is 100 of them available. And maybe you just need that extra, um, extra little percentage off that price point. Unbelievable, though, because don't forget these are sterling silver. Yes. Yeah. You know, they're not just cord. These are sterling yeah. silver and components. And they're beautifully polished and finished. Um, and, and can anyone do this? Yeah. So I don't I mean, need to be a gemstone setter? You might need to know a little bit of gemstone setting, okay. but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's kind of a combination of tube setting and cabochon setting in okay. certain ways, but we'll talk about that. We can talk about that. Yeah. So get your kit, sit back and enjoy. Uh, Hayley will be demonstrating in a few moments' time. Um, listen, under £20. You've got, the, the gemstone shouldn't be £20. The sterling silver, the amount that you're getting, not just in the donuts, but also the fact that you get it also within um, all of your beautiful little beads at the bottom of your, of your bracelets. £19.90. I'm getting some of these. <laughs> I'm getting some of these because that's £4 per bracelet. Yeah. £4. And I'm not even including all the precious metal there, all the gemstones there. Now, again, we've got more. We've got we've got the gold, and we also have the rose gold kits. They are available on pre-order. Lots of you there. A lot of you have got involved now. Lots of you multi-buying. I'll keep you up to date on the quantities of those. But yeah, shop ahead on the other kits too. Um, and any questions that you have for lovely Haley, then do message us because we are live in the studio. But over to you. All right. So what I've done is I've put um, one of the little um, settings into a ball vise. So some of you would have bought the ball vise from previous shows. Mm -hmm. I've got a dinky one here because I just, the other one's a bit high for my short on this high desk. So, yeah. so but those ones are really good and there's some fittings in there that work well. So I put it in there, but you can actually put it on some blue tack on um, your bench peg or on a steel block. That does work because I tried it out. But if you can hold it more firmly, that's fine. The reason why I'm going to do, why well, I put it in there is because I'm going to burr down. Now, if I bring in here, I've got in my um, Dremel and my multi-chuck um, a round 
ball mm -hmm. um, shaped burr or you can use your stone setting burr which is uh, mirrors the shape of the stone okay. and the reason why that is is because the stones we have are roughly four mil wide but as we have learned over time every stone is hand cut so each one will be slightly different it might be 4.2 mil it might be a little bit more and actually with these kits you've been given a little bit more carat weight than they say you have okay so you've got more for your money there so what I'm going to do is, if I just take the gemstone that I've got now, this is one from uh, one of the other kits coming up. And if I pop that onto the setting, you'll see, now you'll have to check because the front and the back, they've both got drill hole, uh, holes, but the hole that we're looking at the biggest one, so it's, that's the front. And you'll see where if the stone is perfectly calibrated, it will fit into the seat that's already in there but I need to make it a bit bigger. So um, I'm taking the stone away and I've actually got a bit of green suede here and that's actually protecting the piece. Um, I didn't think it through because the gemstone that um, I have is the green gemstone as well, but I'm going to put a bit of um, lubricant onto the burr and that's just so that it works more efficiently. And I'll put my motor on. Okay, and now it might swivel because I'm not sure if it's as tight as I need it to be. Okay, whoop. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> right, so let me just, luckily that didn't go flying off the table. Oh, it caught there it is. In the, uh, the optimizer. Live TV. Live TV, exactly. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'll put it into the blue tack on the bench peg and you'll see how that can also be effective. Test that up against there. And I need to carry on a little bit more, but I don't want to overdo it. So just keep on going. Now it does get warm obviously from the friction and that's what the um, the lubricant helps with but keep in mind that you should rest in between um, stages if it's getting too warm hold it down and if it hurts your fingers and it's warm there we go that actually was even more effective on the blue tack than in the ball vice right test again A little bit more so this is how it is with stone setting ah now I actually think it did click in if you're unsure yeah. and it's, it goes a part of the way in what you can do is lift it up to your eye line and you want to look really closely to see that there's a little bit of metal all the way around but I think what I'm going to do is I'll push it out and do it a fraction more again mm -hmm. okay so we're almost there Trusty blue tack. Trusty blue tack. I mean, if you um, held this there too long, it would, uh, because of the heat, it will actually soften that up and it will be less effective. So rather go slowly and surely. But yeah, trusty blue tack does the job. Amazing. And you can actually, I don't know if you saw what I did there. I moved it around yeah. um, because some of the gemstones will be even bigger than the width of the burr. So this is a four mil burr. And um, so by moving it around, and if the stone is 4.05, 4 yeah. you're actually um, taking it to what you need it to be. So I'm literally glued, this is amazing. <laughs> We're nearly there, but I, I'm afraid it's probably a fraction more. That's all right, this is all. I tell you what. Well, I tell you what we'll do is we'll bring the different. Kits yes, in, good we? idea. Good idea. Um, so let's do the gold colorway. Um, you get slightly different stones with this as well. So um, I'm just going to show you this now. You've got uh, amethyst, 
The gemstone that you're working with right now is Nerissa kyanite. Very Gorgeous, rare. Very, very rare. Do you mind if I put stone. the tool on? Is you that... carry on, lovely. Yeah, no, it's not a problem at all. I'm just going to show uh, you the, the, the colour waves that you're actually getting. And then you have those amazing macrames. They come in a purple, silver, black, um, pink, and then your electric blue as well. So this is the gold-plated sterling silver um, in your... Um, in your uh, sort of donut settings. Now we'll show you the should be price. I think you all know where the should be price should be. We went lower on the first kit. We did. Are we doing the same? Okay. Okay, five pound lower because we went five pound lower on the previous kit, so we're doing <laughs> the same with this kit as well. So fair's fair. Um, yeah, you've actually got. I mean, Arissa Kainite in itself should not be Rose de Maroc. It's not just Rose de France. It's Rose de Maroc again. That mine is rumored to no longer be unearthing um, any amethyst from there. Twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence. So technically speaking, this should be, um, you know. Uh, well, significantly more of an investment, I would actually say, because you've got the gold-plated precious metal and the fact that you actually have Rose de Maroc uh, and your Orissa Kainite within. Um, I mean, yeah, let's do it, Ross. Ross is like, El, shall we match the price? We shouldn't, though, but... We shouldn't, but... But we're gonna... It doesn't feel right if you don't, does it? It just doesn't sit quite... No. <clears throat> Apparently, Kip Team and buying might have a word with us after this one. Ah, oh, well. We're off for two days after this, Ross. Meh. <laughs> be like that. We'll just go for the gallery. Yeah. I'll literally be like, Hayley, come on. <laughs> Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. We would not just leave you, Hayley. No, absolutely. <laughs> Quick, Hayley, go, 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 go. Because there's going to be conversations about taking this £10 lower uh, than we should have done. It's beautiful, though. It is. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. you know what to do? Um, this is more limited, though. Is that right? Way more limited. Um, yeah. Now, if, I'm, if I don't have a Dremel, is there an alternative, Hayley? You can do it by hand. It will, yeah. of course, take a bit longer. Mm -hmm. So, um, ideally, what you do need is a burr. Um, and if you have a pin vise to put your burr in, then you can okay. you, you can use that. Um, you could also use um, the tips of needle files mm -hmm. and, and try and file away. It will take longer. It might be a little bit messier. But um, I would certainly encourage, if over time you haven't got a motorised uh, pendant type tool, mm -hmm. Think it's about a good investment. It. It's a good investment for all sorts of reasons. Yeah, I have a Dremel, and do you know it barely sees the light of day because I'm actually a bit scared of it. So this you is why know, I love, so I love many being people with you. Say that. And so do you know I, I bought it not actually for jewelry making. I bought it to sand my banisters. <laughs> and then took a big chunk out of my banisters. So as I wrecked by that way, I need a little bit more tuition. It just a it takes a little bit of practice, but also practice on on scraps first. Yeah. Before you not your actual not your actual banister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think was, there was that it was an advert or something where uh, was, where there's a, um, a girl trying to drill a hole in a wall and she literally goes <laughs> that's me that's totally me. Um, but what I'm going to do because of course time is always against us so I could go a little bit deeper with this uh, uh, with the burring but I want to show you now. Some of you might have seen several of the um, demonstrations where we use the, um, a burnishing tool to, to flatten down the metal, mm -hmm. okay? So that's called a rub over setting and that can be used with a cabochon. In cabochon setting, it can be used in this type of setting and with tube settings, um, collet settings, etc. But on a couple of the samples there, um, I first of all tried to do, on the, the pink and the black samples, um, these little ones, you might think, oh gosh, they're quite physical, physically challenging to push over. So you can actually use a tool to create a small amount of texture, but actually also hammer the metal closer to the stone. So you can use, now what I've got here is a hammer with a bit of a, um, a, sh a short line of an edge. Okay, so that, mm -hmm. and you can use that. Now you really have to be very careful that you're not going to hit your stone. So get your eye line down to where you're working. And I'm using my hammer and the edge of that, and I'm gonna tap down. And because the stone isn't as deep as I'd like it, 
I am risking damaging the stone, but you really want to just make sure that you're not doing that. If you don't have that kind of a hammer, see if you've got something else in your collection. So this is a burr, a rubber burr that ran out. So on the inside, I've actually just filed down, filed down to a point, but you can use the back part of that as well. So you can use that as a little tool to help you to hammer. And this is the traditional way of actually pushing metal closer to the stone when it's too thick and challenging to do so. So if I use that side, you've got, you're gonna get a smoother edge. Mm -hmm. If I use the other side, you're going to get a little bit of texture. And I don't know, um, there's actually a trend out, the, out there at the moment with textured bezels um, around stones. And it gives a bit of a, a Mayan... Yeah, like more, a sun, a sun. Yeah, bird. almost. And it's a little bit more ancient looking. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so you can actually... And what that's doing is it's taking the metal a little bit closer to the stone, but it's also giving you a bit of detail. So if you... Um, the finished pieces... Um, in the pink and the black one, you'll see it doesn't look scrappy. It just looks uh, very simple. I love it. It almost looks like it's encrusted. Yes, you, and you can add more. So I've done it quite subtly. You can really go to town um, and, you, and you can actually add even more detail. It looks a bit faceted. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah. I love these kits. What about, what, what about um, good old fashioned glue? Can we use glue? Now, so... <laughs> have, I, have I said to, oh, well, you went there, didn't you? No, you know what? It's a question that everybody asks, and it's valid. So my suggestion is if you've got an, an opaque stone, you can get away with it. Yeah. But if you've got a faceted stone, you probably can't get away with it. Okay. And, and but, <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> but, Naughty. but you can if you use the right glue. First of all, never, ever, ever use super glue. No. It's, it's an enemy of any gemstone. It just crusts up and it goes, makes the stone go all frosty. But if you can find a glue, glue from behind rather than from the front. But okay. Really, I should be saying, uh-uh. Naughty L for even suggesting it. No, it's everybody asks. <laughs> <laughs> should we go straight down to it with your beautiful rose? Um, the rose gold uh, coloured. Um, again, a, a twist, a variation on your stones. You've got your rose de Maroc. That's that wonderful, quite soft uh, uh, yes. lavender colour. Uh, you have a Ratnakiri uh, zircon within and also a beautiful peridot. Listen, we're not going to dilly-dally along the way. We're going to match that price point for you. I mean... I love these, and they are so commercial. They are so commercial. Do you need me to show you how to attach that to the, the slider bracelet? Yes. If you've got because the time. you said about it being like a floating. Yes, exactly. So um, I'm using sterling silver wire, mm -hmm. 0.8, but you can use one mil as well. Now the stone might pop out because I didn't spend enough time doing it, but um, create a little loop on your wire. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you've got your wire there. What I'm going to do, so I've got my setting and I've got the ends of my bracelet. Now you might need, just to prise those open a little bit more, just to make them a bit neater um, and uh, to allow the wire to go through. Some of them are a bit snug. But once they're nice and open, then get your wire, place, um, you, I'm creating a loop on one side and then threading it through, but I want to wrap that loop. So. Do your initial uh, round circle around your round nose pliers. Open that up and slide that onto one side of the bracelet. Okay, there. Then you can actually wrap that. Nice and neat, but you don't want to do too much of a wrap because you don't want it to detract from the actual beautiful setting. So I'd say two little wraps, cut off your excess. And then you can slide that through your side drill hole. So that's where you can see as a pendant, even on a delicate that's chain, lovely. that would look amazing, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like so, the idea of it on a chain. Yeah, take it down and then you just repeat it. Do your wrap loop on the other side onto that loop and super easy to do. So um, round those pliers, leave a little gap for your wrap. Don't worry about which direction you're going because you can twist it um, by, to correct it by twisting it once you've done it. Cool, and before you, before you actually wrap that, don't forget to slide, yeah, slide the other side on. 
There we go. And then finish off your wrapping and job's, nice. job's done. Yeah. Those, those are just such great gifts. Amazing gifts. And again, it's the kind of thing that you can have in your stash, in yeah. your drawer. If, if you've got make them up, quick, make them up um, as somebody arrives yeah. for a party or whatever and think, okay, well, they, they need something super quick and easy. Love Customize that. it. Yeah. yeah. Or you could put birthstones in yeah. there as well. I mean, you've had a few of the birthstones. Emerald, yes. garnet, zircon, yeah. uh, peridot. Amethyst, all of which are birthstones. Should we do another version of another birthstone? Ooh. Have you seen these? No. Now, they have been on your screens once previously. Um, we launched it and over 300 sold on the launch in less than five minutes. Wow. Now, these are, there's 50 left. That's it. Now, these are beautiful, genuine leather. Oh. Um, you have a sterling silver detail just here. Yeah. It, it, it's another version of a slider bracelet. Yes. Look at how gorgeous these are. Now, you don't just get one. You're getting three colours. Oh, you so you've one. got like a gold. Um, it's, it's, I think that's described as like an off-white or a cream, but it's actually quite pearlescent. Um, and then you have your black. So you've got those three colours. And then you have these beautiful pearls. So we launched this kit. They absolutely flew. We had about 300 of them sell out on that on the occasion. I mean, even if you just took two pearls and put them in each bracelet. Yeah. Super simple. So for those of you that are thinking, oh, I don't know how to do gemstone setting. I don't know how, I don't have a Dremel as of yet. They launched on the 10th of this month. They haven't been seen since, since that occasion. We have the final... 50 of these opportunities, again, so on trend. Yeah. So, so on trend. The fact is that it, it, it's little details like this that I That's love. That's absolutely Ailey. stunning. That makes it look really um, professional, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. And you've got that Solomon's bar, the sliding knot itself. Um, and yeah, you just basically attach to create your beautiful bracelet. Um, literally just pull it out just there, make your bracelet and it becomes then fully adjustable. I think that's one of the reasons why um, slider bracelets are so on trend at the yeah. moment is because easy wear. Easy wear. They're not as, they're not as pretentious as some jewellery. No, no. And it doesn't cost a lot, but it looks really special. Yeah. So it's uh, maximum effect for minimum investment. Love that. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's £10 for sterling silver, leather and cultured pearls. But we didn't close there. I'm trying to remember, desperately trying to remember. Pardon? We didn't close. We didn't. Didn't we? What did we close at then? Wow. Did you just hear that? I did hear that. I mean, <laughs> he's a naughty boy, yes. See, is when I go to sleep, I tend to forget things. We didn't even close here. Even, even if we did, that's five pound per leather and sterling silver slider bracelet. Do you know, do you remember, do you remember lovely Claire Perry that used to work here? Yes. I bought Claire on her 30th birthday, went into Pandora. Yeah. And uh, she's a good friend of mine and I bought, I bought a th special birthday. Well, yes. I got to treat her a little yeah. bit. I bought her a nice Pandora leather bracelet with one charm. It was, it was nowhere near what's on our screens right now. Um, well, you can probably guess. But it's no different. The leather's no different. No, no. The sterling silver's no different. Yeah. Right, the design's different. But we can make them right now for five pounds each. We didn't sell this kind of thing then. We have the remaining 50 of these opportunities. There we go. So you've got the black, the cream, and the gold, but they've got this like pearlescence to them. If you'll you, you see where I'm coming from when you get them home. There are how many left? 33 of wow. these left. That's working out at four pounds. That's why over 300 of these sold out yes. in less than five minutes. And don't forget you get the pearls as well. Um, hello to you, Joe. Hi, Elle. I made these with some stash elements and sold each for 15 pound 50. <laughs> amazing. That is amazing. And uh, uh, do you know what I loved about this, Joe? Sold each one. Yes. They are sold. They're yeah. already gone. Yeah. And they were only bought, what, a tenth of this month? Wicked, Joe. 
absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for messaging in. Yeah. Um, I can see you there again as well, darling. Hayley, message for you, lovely. Uh, from Surrey saying, thanks so much, Hayley, for the tip about hammering. I can't do a kneeling, etc. So this really is really ah, handy for me. Yes, yes. Give it a go and um, use whatever you can find, but just watch your stone. Yeah, yeah just be gent gently does it. Another message as well. Uh, hello, ladies. Such a pleasure having Hayley on the show, isn't oh, it? Isn't it, Ted? Um, always learn so much about silver work. Well, she's just, you've got so much talent, haven't you? It's, it's experience, rather. <laughs> How long have you been doing uh, um, silver work? Um, well, I, I finished university in 2003. So that's where I started doing it. So yeah. there's lots in between that, between then and now. So yeah. however many years Experience. That is. Um, experience, but well, you know that's that's we, you and I then have worked in the industry for about the same length of time. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah. I was what two, uh, 23 years, I've been working, and I can't, I can't do that. I yeah, can't but you do have that. knowledge that I don't. Have, it it so. I I did I did the sort of the the, the easy stuff really, but yeah, no. eleven ninety nine. <laughs> it is the easy stuff though, isn't it? Apart it's the from brainy running, stuff. Uh, no, definitely <laughs> not. Uh, apart from running around London with a whopper diamond. Um, that was not intelligent, <laughs> was it? Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. Hayley, am I looking at this right? Do we attach here or do we attach here? You attach there and those loops are for easy movement. movement. So you can, you can pull your and adjust uh -huh. your braces. Yeah. Uh -huh. So a bit like what I did now to attach this, you've got the same little tiny loops Amazing. We'll do the same there. Final 14, 300 of these sold out in less than five minutes. Um, we have the last remaining 50. So well done. Lots of multi buyers on this. Um, yeah, don't forget, you get six beautiful through drilled pearls. So even if you just put two in each. Um, there we go. Joe in Hampshire, who's, who's I've noticed, Joe, you've come back through for these as well. Um, good on you. Good. And do you know what I loved as well? The fact that you said they are sold. Yeah. Sold already. Yeah. They probably walked off. Yeah, especially if you're doing summer markets and yeah. um, it, people are out and about and curious now, aren't they? They want to mooch about in yes. market stalls and shops. So good and fifteen pounds fifty is still like, it's a great price yeah, point. Yeah, really good price. Yeah, really yeah. good. Should we do some spaces? I love these. Now you get five different designs. We launched them only last week, and they've been incredibly popular. Um, these are oh, these. Are <laughs> Naughty pearls. Um, these are diamond cut as well. So taking, uh, you know, we've just seen uh, Haley uh, admiring the detail um, of what you can achieve with your precious metal. Um, but you can also facet effectively, uh, um, not just gemstones, but precious metal, metal as well. Yeah. Because when you look at these designs, you'll fully appreciate that now. Um, these la launched last week, they've been very popular. So take a little look at this. You've got some really lovely almost stardust beads with, um, with a little crescent. Then you've got, I love these, they're my favorite. Look how amazing they are. Like an optical yeah, illusion like behind. Yeah, they catch the light. They're almost like some sort of interesting creature. Yes. And I was saying, you know, remember you used to draw pictures on the edge of your book and flip oh, the yes. pages and make it yeah. move. They look a little bit like that. Then you've got these, which are, yeah, you made it move. Move. Um, not move, move. Um, then you have these, which are like little C-3PO's. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Still not done, though, because you've got another, oops, another design just here. Don't get mixed up, Elle. There we are. Five different designs, all of which are diamond cut. So that's a total of 50. Uh, rose gold plated, 925, uh, four millimeter spaces. I guess these. Bless you. <laughs> what you can <coughs> do actually oh. is if you set one of the, the stone settings that we just had in the rose gold or silver, and you, you do add the hammer texture to the edge. Yeah. And then you have a texture st uh, bead either side. Either side. Well, it looks gorgeous, wouldn't it? And they'd work with the leather ones as well. Yes, they, they would actually. So if you wanted to yeah. just put sort of pearl spacer, pearl spacer. Yeah. Um, okay, let's bring you, let's, ooh, ooh, let's bring you the silver colour now. So again, five different designs, exactly the same patterns that I was just showing you there. Um, so a total of beautiful, beautiful um, precious metal. I love them. I mean, look at the look at the quality of those. Those are stunning. They're lovely, aren't they? And it's not, it's so much more than a spacer. If I can eradicate that to uh, that, 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 you know, that word um, from our graphics right now, I would absolutely do that because I think they're decorative components. Um, again, you get exactly the same 
styles of beads that I showed you in the rose gold. They launched only last week and again, absolutely flew out. I believe it was part of our birthday celebration. Um, we have the last remaining quantity of these available. £29.99 for seven and a half grams of sterling silver. Or is it? Nobody's paying £29.99. Should we do 50p per bead? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Are you got to roll with it, Ben? <laughs> We're doing it, Ben. <laughs> Don't be scared. £24.99. Uh, £24.99 pence for 50. 50. Do you remember we used to do little packs? And I was saying this on the launch. We used to do packs of, what, 40, didn't we? Or 30, I think it was originally. Yeah. And they were like £14 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Here we are now bringing you 50 in five different designs for £24.99. And they've got a lot more interest and detail. Yeah. They? And the price, I mean, from somebody that's literally dealing with this firsthand, the price of precious metal... Oh, it's still right up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's probably not going to go down. <laughs> no, I mean, it, did you see that turn as well when the um, when the pandemic hit? I remember reading an article. It was in the I Guardian. Did. I felt it. You felt it. Straight <laughs> it. Yeah, I bet. I read an article in the Guardian. I don't get the Guardian, but for anybody that's. <laughs> I, I don't understand most of it, but there was one article about that was talking about the imminent expected rise of precious metal, yeah. and that's exactly what's happened. Yeah. And yet here we are doing. Yeah, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Now, I do have some beautiful class to show you. I'm going to show you a dragonfly oh, one. Oh, oh. stunning! Some lovely sterling silver to go alongside your kits. Um, and also alongside uh, the amazing hour that you've got coming up. Look how beautiful. Oh, those are stunning. So you've got a dragonfly I would actually those. just make that a pendant. Yes. No, just attached chain. Yeah. yeah. You can have, you can have um, beads or chain, yeah, drop on the bottom, like, like Ben said. So like that? Yeah. Or you can have a tassel coming off the bottom or a cascade of beads. Nice. Well, you're not going to be paying 19 99 Use those for cufflinks if you want to. Yeah. Six ninety nine. Yes. It is nine two five sterling silver, and it's not a small amount either. Toggles are, are more of an investment of precious metal. Yes, and they add they add something to a piece because they're actually a feature. They're not just yeah. a function. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. Easier to put on as well. Many people actually prefer a toggle um, above, say, like your uh, your lobster claws yeah. or your yeah. or your bolt ring because they are that little bit less fiddly. Six pounds and ninety nine pence, um, and we've seen a huge, huge uh, uh, surge, if you like, in popularity of all flora and fauna. Yeah, you think about um, Alex Munro and yeah. Lily Rose. They're all Gucci. Gucci at the mm. moment. It's all about yeah. the bees and the dragonflies, isn't it? Um, which you can imagine the price tag that they actually carry. Um, so for a beautiful dragonfly, stroke bee, or butterfly, actually, I think they could be all of them. Yes. Bug. Or a moth, yes. Butcher. Moths are beautiful. Are. I, do you know what I used to call them as a kid? Dusty butterflies. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are dusty, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> dusty butterflies. Um, but all of the above, um, you could actually sort of use... Yeah, you might be able to visualise that. Over a gram, well over a gram of sterling silver in these. Should we do another one? Should we do another one? Ooh, uh, I'm going to go for this one. I like it. Very bamboo-esque. Take a look at this. Again, if you look at uh, the bamboo collection on Gucci, mm. I can see where we've got the inspiration from here. Here it is. Do you see where I'm coming Those from? They're stunning. They're beautiful, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Ultra high end. Um, yeah, you've got that bamboo-like detail. Gucci, it's been one of their longest standing collections, actually, I do believe. They've got it in their handbags. They have it within uh, um, certainly their jewellery designs. And they incorporate it into things like their sunglasses. And it is basically little sections um, of, uh, as you would visualise, bamboo itself. Love this one. I think this is one of my favourites. Nine ninety nine for all of that sterling silver. I like it. It is a toggle class. Tiff, uh, Tiffany's and Co actually do it. It yes, it's functional and yes, they are easier to uh, to put on and off. But they are very much 
part of the appeal of the absolutely. design of the, of the yeah, piece. Yeah, absolutely. Do you get many people actually requesting toggles over the... Yes. Yeah, because because especially on bracelets, if you're mm. trying to put on a bracelet yourself, oh, it's infuriating. It's it is. It, you just you end up not wearing it. Yeah. So totally. toggles are used more. Yeah, because not everybody has uh, has has as an extra pair of hands to actually put that on. You end up doing what I call the bracelet dance. You know, it's yeah. throwing it towards you. There, there oh. is a nifty trick with a um, paper clip. That, yes, yeah. I've seen that yeah. hack. That is a topic. But you won't need any of that with your toggle class. No. Um, so lovely, Haley. Thank you so That's much. That's all right. Kits. Can I leave my junk here? Can you leave your Good. Not junk. <laughs> You do it's not junk, it's necessities, <laughs> essentials. But you're coming back, aren't you? Coming back, yes. Lovely yes. Hayley. Don't go anywhere, though, jewellery makers, because I told you it was going to be an absolutely unbelievable Tuesday. We are launching a brand new variety stone. Um, oh, gosh, you're going to see the most unbelievable spoils in the next uh, forthcoming hour. So don't go anywhere. Dave Troth is joining me in the studio after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Oh, 
uh, it's become very, oh, very, very quickly one of my favourite parts to my job, and that is introducing wonderful Dave Trost to the studio. Because, Dave, I know what you're going to offer us yeah. are so beautiful. The, well, we are talking about one of my favourite gemstones, uh, Garnet. It's something that has been on almost like a meteoric rise since 2016 uh, when the, the purple garnets were found in Mozambique. People started realising that, you know, to find a natural gemstone with saturated colour and with each mine offering something different. So, you know, in, in Tanzania, you're getting those wonderful Merulani mints. Mm. In Kenya, you get the Savarites. In Malawi, you get those pinks. In Mozambique, you get the purples. And uh, in India, in a select group of mines, you get this beautiful kind of red wine yeah. colour that is completely natural uh, and with incredible clarity. Um, so this has always been something that we've been able to get for an incredible price because of our business. Our headquarters is based mm -hmm. in Jaipur, in the heart of India. So we, we are situated not too far from these incredible mines. The problem is these have been mined for 20 years now and we are coming towards the end of the mine. And every time we, we hear from our team in Jaipur, they're telling us how the price is going up. Mm -hmm. And that's in part due to, once again, the depletion of the mines, of the several mines that bring us this color. And on top of that, if any of you witnessed the Altani collection, which is uh, the second highest total ever paid for a private collection of jewelry that was sold in 2019, I believe, uh, which is just behind that of Elizabeth Taylor. Wow. It is the, the jewels of the Marahajas mm -hmm. and the Mughals of India, something that has been in their treasury for hundreds of years. And in that, there were Golconda diamonds, there were incredible Colombian emeralds that had been brought across in voyages. There was uh, some of the most incredible Tajikistan spinels, and there was also garnets. And it was these garnets that we're talking about, you know, that wonderful, incredible, tumbled style, you know, not sharp facets, not modern lapidary. And that's what we are honoring with this collection. This is almost like our own Altani offering, except wow. we're going to do rock bottom deals. Uh, and the reason we're doing that is if any of you have ever tuned in on Gemporia, we used to be able to bring you the incredible uh, Indian garnets. Um, now, when you see you know, carat weights that we bring you today, when you see color and clarity like we bring you today, it is in 18 karat gold. You know, gone are the days of the 50, 30 star buys. And, and today we bring ones, twos, or possibly fives when we're dealing with this material. So we want you to own it. We want you to get it in your collection. Now, the other factor, aside from the Altani collection and the depletion of the mines that has raised the price astronomically on this material, is an article that the GIA did. And the GIA did uh, an article all about the garnets of India. And the reason these are called Barat garnets is that's the old name for, for India. The kingdom of India was Barat, mm -hmm. when you had the, the Mughals and the Marahajas, you know, even before the days of the Golconda mine that produced the diamonds. Uh, and what, what they wrote about was a, a time in history known as the Garnet Millennium. And it was when these garnets from uh, southern India were valued more than any other precious gemstone in the world. And it was called the Lost Treasure of the Roman Empire. And it's a fascinating read by the GIA. And what they realized was that when um, excavations were done in the southern part of India, they started finding Roman coins. And no one had known that the Romans had got that far. And it was proof of this uh, maritime trade route that existed between India and the Romans. Now, in uh, museums around the world, you will find these incredible carvings of garnets that no one knew where they were from. They were, they were incredible, incredible color like you're seeing today, incredible clarity. They were owned by some of the, 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 the most famous dignitaries uh, and emperors in Rome. Um, and people, people never knew where these mines were. They knew they weren't in Italy. They, knew, they, they thought they might have been in, in Bohemia, but they weren't. And it was only when they did chemical uh, analysis testing and then the find in southern India that they realized that the garnets that we bring you today from India are indeed the lost treasure of the Roman Empire. And in fact, in southern India now, where some of these mines are, where some of these garnet mines are, it's become uh, an archaeological dig. Wow. It's not even a mine anymore. And what they used to do was they used to go on this incredible voyage um, with these, you know, obviously you can imagine what the voyage would have been like, from the Mediterranean all the way down to round Sri Lanka and into the southern India. And this was before the Silk Road uh, was, was born, uh, where you went across land. Mm. So they used to go on this maritime voyage, and the Indians would go on this maritime voyage, and they would trade for these incredible garnets. They would go up through the Nile. They'd go past the lighthouse of Alexandria. Remember, you had like so many incredible empires at one time in history in that area. You had the Egyptians. You had the Romans. You also had the Greeks. Uh, and they were essentially trading these incredible garnets into the Roman Empire. And they were you know, used as seals. They were used as um, signet rings. And they were used as kind of cameo carvings. 
And, and like I said, for the best part of 1,000, 2,000 years, no one knew where they came from. No one knew where this mine was. No one knew where these garnets came from because you couldn't find this color. They exist in museums in Malibu, um, around the world uh, as well. And now we're offering you the chance to acquire your own incredible Barat garnets, which is sensational. Like I said, now, um, th well, these garnets were bought many years ago. They've been in our, in our vault in Jaipur. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, an incredible vault with many different gemstones that have been acquired over the 18 years we've been in business. And once we read that article, once we saw the explosion in price, and myself and Jake have witnessed that time and time again, every time we go to, to the gem shows, particularly Tucson, we've seen the price climbing for garnets. And we've tried to do as many deals as we can. We work with Mark Saul on the Malawi material. Mm -hmm. We know the Mozambique mine is now mined out. And this material is right up there as one of the most expensive natural colored gemstones in the world. And, and they're saying that it's having its spinel moment. You know, for years, spinel was a gemstone that people could go to, you know, Vietnam. They could go to uh, Burma. They could go to these places like Tanzania and pick up for, you know, small prices for big stones. And now we're talking about it being one of the most expensive gemstones in the world. And we're witnessing that same uh, uh, moment for these incredible stones. Remember, there are very few natural gemstones in the world today that are completely untouched and look like this. And when you consider the historical significance of the stones we're about to bring you and the carat weight and the colors, I think you're gonna be blown away. I would encourage you to read the GIA article. I would encourage you to once again look at the Altani collection. And, and, and then again, just tune in because what myself and Al and the team are about to do are the lowest prices you will have ever seen on carrot weights like this. Do you know, and you said about it, it's having its moment. Yep. Diver, uh, you know, deservedly so, Dave. Absolutely. I, I mean, think Garnet, like you, is one of my absolute favorites. Sh it should be championed. You know, yeah. you think about the, the different uh, varieties, you know, such a wide ranging family. Mm. You've got the, the Mandarin Garnets from Namibia. Like I said, you've got the Savorites, you've got the Demantoids, yeah. you've got the Rhodolites, you've got the Malayas, the Pyrospites. You've got this wonderful array. And, you know, a lot of these mines are disappearing. You know, the yeah. oral demantoid deposit is gone. Namibian, Nigerian, and Tanzanian and mandarin garnets are mined out. You know, we know the Mozambique violets, the purples are gone. Mm. We don't understand 100% what's happening in Malawi. But what we do understand is these mines, because this is where we are based. Yes. And we used to almost have, uh, you know, unbelievable access to these stones. We could, I'm not gonna lie, we could buy as much of it as we could at one time. You know, yeah. these incredible big stones. But that was also true of Pareba many years ago, not yeah. for us. But I've, I've talked about this story many times. A gemologist, a jeweler, went to Brazil in the early 90s, the late 80s, looking for alexandrite, bumped into these guys that had found this new, incredible blue tourmaline on a mountain in, in the state of Pareba, and he bought an oil drum. You know, you could buy as much as he wanted. He bought an oil drum of that material for $100,000 in the early 90s, which is a lot of money then. That same oil drum today would be worth tens, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. Huge stones, clean stones that could be fasted into, you know, Windex blue, natural Pareto tourmaline. It's again a mine that has disappeared. So th this is what happens throughout the course of history. You know, these stones are born, they come onto the market, you know, they start off at a very low price point in many cases. So they gain an introduction into the market and then they disappear and the price climbs. And that's what we are witnessing for this material. And even though we're witnessing it, and we probably, well, we should adjust our prices to reflect the, the market value of these stones. We're not gonna. We're gonna give you the prices, the kind of deals that we were able to get these for, you know, in 2012, mm -hmm. in 2011, which is when we acquired many of these stones. And all I will say to you right now is, it's gonna be a very busy, very fast showcases. Yes. There are a selection of incredible strands all in that, what, what I like to call the kind of native cut, that tumbled, beautiful uh, uh, curved stone that we're looking at. And they're gonna fly out. And replacing these, bringing these back is something we probably won't entertain. I know we don't have any in Jaipur. Uh, Wayne, who's your sales manager, and Scott, who's your managing director here, have just come back from India. Yeah. And I uh, spoke with the team, we spoke about many different gemstones, and, and the garnets just don't exist anymore. That's why we're doing this show today. There's a hundred of each of these, and I can yep. tell you, uh, do you know what, Dave? I'd go as far as saying, you know, on, on strands, these are some of the best I've seen. I agree. I mean... Colours are amazing. Well, uh, like I said, I, I do work primarily over at Gemporia, where we work with finished jewellery. And, for instance, that strand that you're holding, which one is it? I've got the coins. What okay, so the coins, the Ross. Give me the carrot weight of the coins a second. 40. Okay, so I don't know if we've ever done... I mean, you've got purples and pinks. They are clean stones, eye clean and you've got 40 carats. On, on Gems TV, if we were to do that in a bracelet, 
it would have an 18 karat gold clasp and I believe it would be four figures, a 40 yes. karat incredible natural garnet bracelet. They're absolutely beautiful. And, and, and I've said this before, we're actually looking at it at its worst right now. Oh yeah. Because garnet's a gemstone that loves natural light. Absolutely, and, and here we've got the, probably the worst lighting, like you said, El, to, to showcase a natural yeah. gem like this. You can see there, I mean, we're talking about floodlights. Yeah. We're talking about floodlights. You never walk into a jeweler's, whether it be, let's talk about high-end jewelers. You never walk into Tiffany mm -hmm. or Van Cleef or, or, or Fabergé and they've got floodlights. They've got day simulation LED lights yes. that make the, the jewelry sparkle. This is absolutely outrageous what we're about to do. And I'm here because I, I do a lot of garnet shows next door, I have done previously, and I've never offered our collectors 40 carats. Now, I'll be honest, we've probably bought 40 carats of chips, mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the tiny chips as part of the Gems of Distinction range, yeah. which would still be three figures. But to have this carat way of clean stones like we're dealing with now, it would be in nine or 18 carat gold clasp, and it yeah. would be four figures. It would be over a thousand pounds, I believe. It's a 40 yeah. carat garnet opportunity. Look at those, they're absolutely stunning. It is that balance between, it's, it, it's a mixture of both red and purple. Yeah. Um, and what you're saying is uh, our Indian team, they do glow. Um, our Indian team can't get hold of this right now. It's I mean, like I said, whatever is in the market is, is a, a very Fair. different price to what we oh. have previously paid for it. Okay. You know, we are dealing with a gemstone that has exploded like spinel. You know, we, we can't go and get 40 carats of spinel like this now. No, true. Uh, that's and true. That, that's the same way that we're looking at for garnets. And that's what I want you to understand. We bought these maybe 10 years ago. Um, our team have worked with them. And, and we, sh we never reflect our prices to, to showcase the, the market value. We just look at what we paid for it. We take a tiny margin and we bring it to you guys. You're not going to believe the prices that we're going to do today. It's going to be extremely fast. We have a couple of auctions coming up at the end because I know these are going to sell out very fast. Whatever price you've got in your mind for this material, we're going lower. And you can see how close we are there. Look at that. Yeah, I love these. We describe them as coins, Dave. Mm -hmm. Um, beautiful, non-faceted coins. Look at that, the way it pulls the light. Yeah. Love it. Always incredibly popular. Absolutely. And like I said, a lot of uh, you know, publications, a lot of headlines um, ha have showcased this material. Like I said, the GIA with the, uh, the lost treasure of the Roman Empire, as they referred to it. Mm -hmm. And then we also saw uh, the Altani collection. Straight away, I'm going to just go to an outrageous price for every single one of you. Uh, let's go to 39.99 for 40 carats. Of this material, thirty nine ninety nine. That's a pound a carat. So we're not. Uh, wow. Ross has just said to me, none of these are actually going to be going on split pay because they're already amazing prices. Oh yeah. You, you, like I said, so every single one of them, only a hundred of these is a hundred of each incredible strand. We're making it so you can get all of them today. You can get all of them. Is this the lowest price we've uh, we, that, that we've ever ever brought? Yeah, hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. That I know of. I don't know what you guys have done here before, but. For me, uh, we, don't, we would never entertain the idea of having 40 carats no. parcel of garnets in a bracelet or a necklace of this material. Like I said, maybe chips in the gems of distinction, but nothing like this. Wow. Well, um, start dialing through. Again, the glow that you get from this beautiful garnet. And okay, uh, Ben, I'm going to ask for a minute clock, if that's okay. I'm going to ask for a minute process. clock because yes. we're not done here. Like you said, this oh. is our highest first crash. And then once you see this final price, it's going to sell out. Then we're going to bring the next one and the next one. What about this uh, with the jade that we've got coming up? Oh, amazing. Oh. Well, with this, with any gemstone, imagine it with emeralds. Yeah. Imagine it with anything like a contrasting colour. But you're right, with the white jade. With that pure white jade. With that, this colour. Oh, separate them. Yeah. Literally just alternate between the two. You've got half a minute to be part of this incredible auction. And yeah. then um, are the rest on pre-order? Uh, he's going to put them on. Uh, put them all on pre-order at, at the end of this because we are going to do these kind of prices for all of the garnet strands. Really? Yeah, we are. Well, this and is what we're doing. And there's some cuts coming up that you've I got the heart seen. cuts. You've got the elongated, beautiful Fruit haircuts. Drops yeah. That would all work together. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness me! The quality of this garnet is absolutely. It, it literally is almost. It is almost purple. Isn't Five it? seconds. Yeah, you got, it's almost like a colour shift. It goes from that deep, beautiful red and into those we're purples. Not with the no, nope, not, not with the garnet. No, no? we are just Do looking at that wonderful play of colour that you're seeing. All right, fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, this is the reason we're not doing split pay. You, you know, four split payments of fourteen ninety nine shouldn't get you material like this. Five, ten split payments of it. The 10 no. split payments of this price would be, what, £150? It should be way at, higher. Look at that. And you, you, you've said... There's only 100, though. 
are limited in the quantity. This next door... Um, it would be four figures. And any of you that... Um, and I know there's a lot, I can see the names on the screen. Loads of you that watch next door uh, like to flick between the channels, jewelry maker, create your own jewelry and finish jewelry at Gemporia. Have you ever seen garnet showcases? Message in. Have you seen 40 carats? And if you have, what would the price be? Wow. You wouldn't get 40 carats of natural garnet for £14.99. No, uh, 40 99 There was a hundred of these opportunities. The quality is just impeccable. Yeah. Um, again, alongside, I feel like I should at least... Oh my with it God. right now. Yeah. Imagine those. Can I add something else? Oh, God. I've never seen anything like that before. I think that works perfectly. I think you're absolutely right, Al. Wait a minute. Look at that. Look okay, at that. minute clock, Ben, please. Sorry. I'm going to do a minute clock. I want these all gone today. That's why we're going to Crazy Love Price. I'm going again on the price. Susan, you've multi bought. Cheshire, Marie, Maker, Dawn, uh, Maker in Cambridgeshire in the West Midlands, Kath. Pat, Denise, Alan, uh, Irina, Cynthia, Kevin, Karen, Irene, Regina, Donna, Susan, Claire, Anonymous Makers. You've got 40 seconds. Once this final price comes in, you're probably going to miss out, but we do have, I think, four other opportunities or three other opportunities coming up. Claire, you've just multi-bought as well. Well done. I would recommend multi-buying. Yeah. But £14.99, if you were multi-buying this and we ended at this price, it's £30. I'm going again. Wow. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. These are your little circular, uh, circular coins. Yeah. Just one as a solitaire. A pair of earrings, so pair beautiful. of earrings, you know, a, a pendant, whatever. Or, or keep it together, make a strand, alternate it with the white jadeite that we're bringing up that is Taipei, of course. Cynthia, you've multi-bought. Eva, you've multi-bought. There is only 100, there's not 500 nope. or 1,000. You've got five seconds, and then we're bringing you all the other strands. We're going to crazy low deals today. It's one of those special moments. £10, £9.99 is what we're really? doing on this. Yeah. Told you to multi-buy, told you to get involved. Uh, we are just bringing you uh, some of the legendary deals we've done in our vault before. Some of the biggest savings we're going to make today. Denise, you've just multi-bought. Well done. And I was saying, Dave, that literally when uh, you've spoken about it on air, both yourself and, uh, and Jake and um, when Steve, or in this case, it was when uh, sort of Wayne and Scott went over to India. People, you know, Gemstone traders literally queue up. To oh, for 100%. Them. And, and, you know, we turn down, you know, 99 out of 100 parcels. You know, yeah. we're very discerning. We want to bring you something different, want to bring you something special. Uh, a lot of them will bring the same gemstones. Yeah. One thing we're not getting through the door is people bringing us these garnets. Right. That's one of the things. So, Susan, you've got three now. Oh, uh, Suja's got two. Denise has got two. Uh, Merseyside, you've got two. Cheshire, you've now got two. It seems everyone is now doubling up, which means only, you know, there was only 50 opportunities in reality there. Yeah, true. Well, yeah, we are down to the... We're literally in, 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 in teens now, so make sure... Uh, you don't leave it in those baskets. Pointless exercise. Um, good luck. Ten pounds for this level it's of ridiculous. quality. It's it is. I, 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 I don't know what else we can do today. I mean, it is extremely busy. Of course, we know why. We're practically giving away jewellery. Nicolette, you've just got two of those. Well, Everything now, Ross. We're going to put on pre-order. Everything's on pre-order. Okay. So just the, letting uh, you know. You're not doing them all at these kind of price points. Oh yeah. Are you? Oh yeah. I, I said at the very start, I want you to get all of these. So, you know, we're talking about mixing it with the white jade. Imagine mixing oh. the different, but imagine mixing just the different cuts of the same garnet. Yeah. You know, and, and you can see them here. They are on pre-order. All on pre-order. Forget those prices. Even those prices. Again, if you've ever tuned into our shows um, next door, you wouldn't get this material. You know, 45 carats, 32 carats, 45 no. carats for anywhere less than, than four figures. Well, there's well 10 done. left of the first one. When you say yeah. drops, is it the through drops or this one or this one? I get to choose? Yeah. Okay. The ones that you loved. Oh, these ones. These ones are, yeah, they're my favourite. I hope they're the right ones, Ross. These are the ones I that I love. I hope these are the ones that Ross is referring to. These? Mm. I love these. Do you know why we love these so much at Durham Maker and we rarely ever see through drill, what we call through drill drops? Yeah. It's because I suppose if you're taking fine quality like this, Yeah. And then you're going to ask a, a gemstone trader to drill a whopping great hole through the centre. Yeah. Susan, they're gonna you've got two straight away. They're going to be resistant of that, aren't they? Oh, for sure. Look at that. Um, can I have a minute favorites. clock? I'm going to our final low deal. Going straight to it? I'm going straight to it. What's the point of messing about? 56 seconds. A lot of you on the phone lines. Now, remember, this is a bigger carrot weight. A bigger carat weight. And also, you had a consistent size in the coins. Yeah. What we have here is graduation. You can yeah. see that, right? Those huge, beautiful drops in the center. 
uh, Maker in Sussex, you've got three. Uh, we've only got 70 of these, just letting you know. It's massive carat weight, smaller quantity, bigger physical individual stones in, yep. in many cases. Um, half of them are already gone. So that's just the way that it is. Well, they know what you're about to do, I think, because yeah. yeah, it, is, it is, is bonkers on the price point. Again, would be lovely with the jade out that's coming I, I would. Uh, it's a match made in heaven. Ah. Oh. It really is. Um, it would be absolutely amazing. It, I mean, it is that pure, the oh, purest my. white. But why have we never done that? I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to ask our team if we can get hold of any more white jade or we have any left in our inventory here to just create that. That as a piece that, of jewelry. That, that. Uh, however our do team can do it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Uh, all right. Ten quid. £9.99. Bigger carrot way. It is ludicrous today. It is ludicrous. Um, we've got these four or five strands. You've seen the carrot weights we're dealing with. If I can't do this next door, then I'm going to do it here. Okay? And you I guys, love it. You guys can put the that's nine carrot class on. That's why you like coming here. Oh, my God, yeah. It? I can be bad here, you know? <laughs> uh, that's what I, I kind of get, you know? So I love to come over here. Also love to hear from you guys. I think I always feel like we get a lot more dialogue here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Feels more conversational. I'm talking with our audience as well, with the collectors yeah. at home. Mm -hmm. And I'm still yet to see, and I really want to see, um, the designs that you create with the jewellery you bring here. I really want oh. to see that. Um, you used to have a wall of fame. Wall of fame, open. we do. You still have it? Yeah, we do, yeah. Oh, can we have, uh, can we f figure out at some point a wall of fame with some you of the auctions that I've done? Yeah, of course. Because I want to see the, 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 the gemstones and the deals idea. that we've brought to you. We'll keep all those pieces. We'll photographs. just get the, get the codes and everything and, yeah. and figure it out and then send an email out to everyone who's got that. And then Eve, you're jewellery makers, so you make jewellery. We've had some lovely pieces on and the we'll, wall. And I'll tell you what we do, we do a competition, right? Where we, yes. give, we give something away. We give a parcel of jade away oh. to the person. And we'll do it monthly. Can I play? Yeah, absolutely. But I, that's what I want to see. I want to see. This is the whole point. When, when the they said to me. Dave. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. But <laughs> when, when they asked me to start working with you guys at Jewelry Maker, they said it's amazing because you get to see from the very beginning. That's why I love my job anyway. Yeah. You know, I get to buy loose gemstones at Tucson or at the mines when I go to Burma. And then I get to see what our team do with it. I know. And I want to see what we'll you guys do, do with it. We're going to make that happen. Okay, let's do it. That sounds like an amazing And we'll idea. make a huge competition out of it now there's only a, a single figures of those the i love this rondelle strand this rondelle strand's beautiful yeah. uh, uh, ross um you got the internet in there can you type in altani collection it's a l uh thank you mate a l and then space t h oh wow a n i i want you to see the color Christie's maybe, type Christie's afterwards, it was a Christie's auction. And then you'll see the, the kind of jewellery we're talking about uh, when you get the images up. Yeah, it's the Marahajas and Mughals magnificent auction that took place and they were using spinels, they were, and it was these kind of cuts. And this is one of the reasons why, um, this is the collection Golconda diamonds, 87 million. And you'll see the kind of carvings. Well, look at and that the with the Cartier bracelet yeah, you, there. Yeah, exactly, but if you keep going, going down, down. Thanks, Rob. Uh, uh, so quite a few of the big designers are working well, Cartier, with huge Cartier Rondelle. worked with the, the Patiala. Yeah. Um, yeah they're, they're, a lot of they're, their jewellery is inspired directly by the team. You can keep going down, I think. Or, um, I don't know, was there something on there? So the intricate world of Indian miniatures, arms and armoury. You can see the, the different kind of gemstones that were worked with. But at some point, you're going to see a, a lot of the, the, the spinels and, and the, uh, the garnets that they worked with in this. Here you go. Here we go. You see those kind of beautiful, one of my favourite pieces. And this is spinel, of course. Yeah. But you can see that tumbled shape. It's not yeah. sharp facets. And it was North India, you know, dated 1607 to 1744. Persian inscriptions of Mughal rulers, names and dates of reign. This is the kind of stuff that we wanted to recreate with this. And uh, again, there they put it with pearls. We're suggesting you put it with white jade. <laughs> in, the, in exactly almost that you could create a very similar kind of design. You could literally just sort of, uh, 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 yeah, basically use that same pattern. Inspiration, you? yeah. I mean, we're offering you the stones. Okay, a minute clock, please, uh, Ben. Uh, a lot of you are multi -buying. A lot of the same names coming through, which is great, because you yeah. get a, a multitude of opportunities. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love this strand. That is, it, that is like Morello cherry colour, isn't yes. it? It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Such a rich, rich colour, completely natural. And then, of course, all that refraction that garnets are blessed with. Loving yeah. this. You've only Absolutely. got a, a small selection of this beautiful quality. Yeah. 
Um, you've got I'll, half a minute, guys. Lindy, you've got two. Susan, you've got two. Collector's got three. Eva, Cynthia, Cambridgeshire, Anne, Claire, Regine, e uh, Lane, uh, or Helene in Cumbria has got two. A lot of you in a queue now on the phone lines. Uh, 18 seconds. You know what we're doing. Yeah, I was about to say, you've made that promise, Dave, haven't you? Yeah. You've, you, you've made that promise that these are going to... Uh, uh, these Ridiculous are... prices. And, oh, we're, we're, you know, it's not even uh, up for debate. Look at the deals that we're doing right now. I mean, what's the carrot here? 45, 45 carrots, carrots again. And when we actually do come to... £10, £9.99. Wow. It's just a, one of those showcases. You're going to have to be on the phone lines early. That, you know, we, uh, the, when we're doing prices like this, I wish we had 500 yeah, totally. But we only have 100 in some cases, a lot less than that in some of these incredible strands. Absolutely. Bear with for a second. But, you know... You can really see the combination working there. Yeah. I'm literally twisting it. I mean, you would obviously do this far better than I am oh, right wow. now. But you kind of get the general gist. Imagine that running through your white jacket. Can you make jewellery like that? Yeah. Where it stays like that? Yeah. Well, why? Then why are we not doing it? Yeah. We use why are we not doing wire? that? To sort of twist it round and wrap it round. Our viewers are probably. Oh, I'll keep it there, keep it there. I'm going to take a picture of it. Okay. So I want to show our design team. I absolutely in love with it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make that happen. It's beautiful. What, isn't what it? an incredible design. Never seen it. It's very like serpentine. Yeah. Very beautiful. Good. There we go. That's better. Yeah. A little bit tighter together. Absolutely. And our viewers could probably tell you how to do it far better than I could. $9.99. It's that perfect contrast, isn't it, to, yeah. the, to the white jade? Absolutely. That's coming up. And I've shown a piece, I think it was on the jewellery editor, also by Cartier, that's working with your smooth uh, rondelles. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, and it's lovely to see. It's joyous to see these big names. Yeah. Like you said, not working with the, with, with the wild calibrations. And, um... Yeah, and there's a place for that. It's beautiful. But I, I, there is something really, uh, you know, antique about this. It's like yeah. antiquity. It's timeless. These are the stones. Both of those stones have been valued uh, for, for thousands of years. The garnets of Rome and then the white jade, which we know has that illustrious history in um, the Far East. They're on the close, uh, on the verge of selling well out. Very, very, very limited. Now we have three more to bring you. Oh, look, I've done that now. Half. Hang on a second. Let's come back to that one. I guess that answers the question. Can, would it stay there? Yes, yes, it would. It's stuck there. <laughs> that needs to stay there right yeah. now. Oh my word! L look at that colour. Um, um. Oh wow! And these are big stones. These are, these are big stones. You can see that. They're solitaires individually, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they should be. They absolutely should be. I mean... 45 carats. Marilyn, you're in. London, you're in. Greater London, you're in. County Antrim, you're in. Greater Manchester, you're in. Essex, you've got two. Cambridgeshire, you're in. I think you know what we're going to do on this. I, think I've got, I, I reckon gonna... I can guess as well. Go on then, Al, you guess. Oh, no. Go on, go for it. Are you going to go 9.99? We are now. So L has decided that we're going to go £9.99 on this 45 carats, huge, huge stones, <laughs> solitaire stones. I'd love to see those as a pair of earrings, framing the face, catching the light. You know, again, you could create some decorative, wonderful piece mm. for the neckline, like a bib design, yeah, a uh, bracelet very easily, rings very easily, uh, almost like signet rings. They're absolutely amazing. And they sit kind of flush to the hand because they're a shallower depth. Yep. Yeah. And that's the beauty. When you've got material this good, you haven't got to rely on modern lapidary. You know, nope. modern lapidary is there to, to bring about the full potential of the stone. Yeah. Right? To, to either capture the colour, remove any flaws, yep. you know, create a better play with the light. But when, you, when you're blessed with material like this, as, as you saw in the Maharajas and Mughals collection, you know, these native cuts work. That's a, really, that's a really good point, because yeah. facets can do so much, can't yeah. they? Th that's they, what they're designed to do, aren't they? Yeah. That's what they're designed to do. They're designed to improve a gemstone. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's its own kind of art. But when you're blessed with something this pure, this perfect in its raw form in many ways. There's no you know, The Golconda places. diamonds, years ago, they didn't have the round, brilliant cut. No. You don't understand, the Tavernet blue that was brought over to Europe by Jean-Baptiste Tavernier was this, this beautiful kind of freeform rock. Yeah. That was it. It later became, you know, the, the, the Hope Diamond. You know, yeah. This is the, the kind of reality we're talking about. Many There's of these no hiding ancients, places, are well, there? The Black Prince Ruby is a spinel that yep. they think is from Tajikistan, and it's this cut, essentially. But, yeah. This cabochon that's in the, the crown jewels, is in the royal crown, front and centre. This is how, you know, the finest stones on the planet are, well, are, are cut. 
Well, this is on the verge of selling out again. Um, again, good luck, guys. A lot of multi buyers, um, a lot of a lot of big multi buyers. So well done. We've got two more strands. Yeah. Now these are very very special. Ah, uh, these. We're going to do are... incredible deals on these, but they are ridiculous. They, this look literally looks like you've pooled light in the bottom of them. Yeah. yeah. I love these. Yeah, they're gorgeous. We do tassels a lot here at Jewelry Maker. Lots yes. of tassels. So imagine. Imagine these cascading. How many of these do we have, Ross? Silver. 110. Okay. Um, ben, please have a minute clock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd be on the phone lines quick for these. This is going to be an outrageous deal. An outrageous deal. Those. That surface luster, it's, yeah. it's silky. And they're purple, they? essentially. And I love how almost organic and asymmetrical the shapes are. They're not like matched to perfection. Yeah, each yeah. stone is, 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 is cut in its own unique way. Mm. I love it. Big layers of these. I'm thinking about sort of roots. Half a really minute. beautiful layers. 30 seconds. I think you know what Dave's going to do. I don't think you do. Oh. I don't think you do. You don't like to be predictable. Oh, uh, I just think, look, these are the last two incredible auctions. We're going to do something really special for every single one of you. You've got 15 seconds to decide if you want to be on the phone lines before there is a queue. And again, just because, uh, just in case people have just tuned in, yeah. we, we can get hold of it, but the prices are going up. Yeah, uh, um, a lot. And I'm not talking that's a recent thing. You know, this is, we, we bought a lot of these, a lot of these stones from these mines about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's been climbing ever since. And we've just been using our old inventory. Yeah. On this one, Ross, we're going to do £7.99. Oh dear. 38 awesome. carats. Oh, oh dear. Sorry guys, look, we, we oh. did say it's going to be wild today. Oh, look at that. Yes. That recording is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I told you, you're going to want to own one at least of everything. I love that, look at that. I know, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah. You could literally just, well, redesign that. As is, that as is, yeah. And put maybe some of your, uh, some of your one, jade eye in yeah. between. Yeah. Dotted in between. Or pearls. Pearls. As we've seen, works so well. Yeah. Well, garnet and pearls is just the, the, the a marriage it's, made in. I heaven, think isn't so. It? Yeah. Uh, those two together. Seven go. pound ninety nine. That's well, frankly, ludicrous for a genuine gemstone yep. that is this beautiful. Uh, do you know one of the best things that I think the GIA did in in the garnet genre was do away with the with, with the terminology that we that seemed to creep in. No garnet is semi-precious. Oh, no, it's ridiculous. It I completely ridiculous. agree. I completely agree. Um, we, we are talking about, uh, you know, one of the, the rarest and finest stones out there. A yeah. natural garnet. No heat treatment, no irradiation, no coating. It comes out of the ground looking like this. And we are doing a 38-carat parcel of these wonderful, elegant drops for £7.99. Well, how many gemstones can say that? I can come out of the ground looking that beautiful. Not many. Because, yeah, uh, diamonds uh, yeah. can't. Maybe 1% of rubies. Pearls, maybe. Yeah, 1% of sapphires. Yeah. Uh, no tanzanite. No. Nope. You know, emeralds are oiled. Yeah. All emeralds are oiled. To have a no oil emerald is like the, the ultimate. Yeah. There isn't many stones. But spinel is the only other one, really. Yeah, spinel and garnets. Yeah, spinel and garnets. And here we are. And, and it's no, it's no uh, you know, it's a no-brainer why both of those have gone through the roof in terms of the pricing. Yeah. You know, people are more aware of treatments these days and people want natural gemstones. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Now, if you're asking about that white jade, it is coming yeah. up. Don't worry, it's going to be included. Lots of people are messaging. Uh, no, it's not on pre-order as of yet. Um, we have also an amazing uh, master carving to bring you as well. Oh, yeah, I that love... is outrageous. Oh, so special. Never done details. anything like this. Uh, in in on the other channel ever we've it's never so done it detail. yeah do you ever show like our lovely friends on the sister on our sister i did channel? once and it wasn't good for me <laughs> uh, the, the first time we ever launched the master carving i, I was in here That's, it was with me yeah there you go you i remember when i went next door and we we told you guys to switch channels yeah and she was like blown away and she hasn't let me live it down <laughs> she hasn't honestly in Not fact, she said, honest. you've promised you'll bring me one, and she's even gone and sourced the boxes for it. That's true. And we haven't got the jade. So she's got these empty boxes in our warehouse. Uh-oh. Uh, and I, have, I will keep the promise at some point, but you guys yeah, are getting access to this to, material. Don't you? Yeah, I think so. Um, um, the finale. Last one, last one. It's the heart. 
the biggest quantity. Now these have been on pre-order. There's two. There were 200 of these, but a lot of you guys have been on the phone lines. You want to own these? They are outrageous. Are they gorgeous? Mm -hmm. This is how the hearts are when you're talking about precious gemstones. Yes. When you're talking about special rare gemstones, they never put the cleave in the heart. Okay. Because it's too dangerous. Yeah, you don't want to... It's far too dangerous. Risk, risk fracturing it, basically. Look okay. at those. Right, this is the biggest quantity. And I'm going to guarantee it right now for every single one of you at home. I'm going to guarantee it as the lowest price of the showcase. Really? Biggest quantity. You've done seven ninety nine though. I'm telling you, I promise you, this is going to be the lowest price of the showcase, the heart. Okay. Biggest quantity, lowest price point. Um, these, again, these are purple. Yeah. Purple, You've beautiful, got... clean. Well done to everyone on the phone lines already. This has been on pre-order uh, for, you know, maybe half an hour now. Because these are sort of quite shallow in, mm -hmm. in the natural shape of the actual yes. stone, that, is that what's illuminating almost that, that, that wonderful colour? Yeah, I mean, the, the deeper you go, the darker the gem will go. Yeah. Um, and people are quick to do that to, to conserve the carat weight, mm -hmm. because as we know, gemstones are sold by their carat weight. But here, it's all about maintaining the beauty of these stones. And our team cut these, and that's what they've been trained to do. Do away with that kind of industry standard, mm. you know, cut the biggest carrot weight you can get. Mm. Here we're like, right, I just want the most beautiful stones. If you have to shave a carrot off that, if you have to shave half a carrot, uh, a few we'll points, do. 10 carrots, whatever, we want the most beautiful stones. The lowest okay. price point. Okay, 200 of these, and you watch how they're going to disappear. They shouldn't be the lowest price, but we're going to have a minute clock now. Did you say 200? There, there was 200. I don't know how many there are now. Ah. Okay, so over 50 have gone. Eva, you've got two. Gabrielle, you've got two. Claire, you've got two. You're, you're going to be in a queue. It is a free phone number, which is fine. Um, just be quick. Oh, again, imagine just cascades of these. Yeah. And you can, at the price I'm about to do, like at the price I'm about to do, you could buy four or five of these. Ah. And you wouldn't be alone in doing that. No, I'm just thinking about an all-out indulgence. What we call about like waterfalls, yeah, uh, pairs of earrings absolutely. would be amazing. Would just maybe a little splash of some gorgeous pure white jade. Oh my god! Ah, twenty seconds, nineteen seconds. And you can be sparing with the jade, and then that strand can last you lots of designs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The romance of your heart cut, the romance of garnet. I always say garnet's a very passionate. Gesture. Oh, I think you're right, especially the, the road lights. Yeah, you know, with these colours. It's got that passion. Okay, uh, I said the lowest price. Let's just do it. £6.99, which is, I don't think that's a price I've ever called in ever. 10 years on your screen. I don't think I've ever said £6.99 for anything. No, 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 so definitely you not. And you shouldn't be doing it for 32 carats of heart cut natural garnets from India. Just, isn't it? Six pounds and ninety nine pence, uh, and for a, these are. This is the thing. At one point, I was like, "Oh, I don't like calling them a strand." I know that's where they are, but this is a parcel. Yeah, it is a parcel. We it's should sell parcel. this in an envelope. Yeah. We should open up an envelope live on your TV screens, and, and reveal these beautiful, glittering, natural garnets, and then weigh them and say, "Oh, okay, you've got over thirty carat parcel mm -hmm. of premium, beautiful, natural Indian garnets here." But instead, we thread it on this plastic stuff and we say, hey, guys, here's this heart strand, which is great because it shows you how usable it is, yeah. shows you how functional it is. You get to kind of envisage what you could create. But I'm with you, Elle. Like when we go to the gem shows, as you saw in Tucson. You don't, they don't go you see, strand. Yeah, no one's doing that. You know, <laughs> no one's doing this and putting it on a bust. They're literally there in, in paper envelopes and they're yeah. opening them up. They're weighing them individually. You're using tweezers and a loop. We're studying parcels like this. Here we go, thread 32 carats on a strand, put these little plastic or rubber dividers between them, which is great because like I said, it allows your imagination to run wild. We look at it, we go, okay, we'll make a beautiful necklace. We can allow the light to get through it. But to you guys right now, as else witnessed herself at Tucson, you know, no one's buying 30 plus carats of garnet for seven quid. And make no doubt about it, that process has been through before it goes on the strand. So okay, here's, here's one for you, Al. Here, here's one for you, Al. You and I, we were in Tucson this year, not yeah. too long ago. I'm about to fly out to uh, JCK in Las mm -hmm. Vegas with Jake. You know, we're going to hopefully do some deals there. Mm. If you were with me, yeah. which you were, and we stumbled upon one of the vendors and they had a booth and they had natural 
Indian garnets. And you were looking at them and you said, like, Dave, look at this, it's purple. This is purple. Oh, these are heart cut, amazing. And we said, hey guys, um, what's the kind of price here? And they go, how much do you want? And we, we separated some, you know, we hand cherry picked these and they put them on the scales and they said, okay, well that's 32 carats. There is no way I should be able to look in my pocket and go, I've got five pound, I've got, um, I've got, you know, I've got seven pounds, would that do it? And literally putting down seven pounds like that. It shouldn't happen, should it? But it's happening right now, it's what we do. It shouldn't happen. Can you imagine if I'd have done that? Yeah, but really, what we have to actually do is, is transfer the money via a wire transfer, have the material shipped to, to Jaipur, we have to sign papers. Then, you know, it's a big deal getting yeah. garnets like this, getting any gemstone deal like this in the marketplace. Yeah. And here we are, you know, literally having a rummage in my pocket and whipping out seven pounds and saying, go on, then we'll take it. Yeah, go on then. Ridiculous. As it's you. It's yeah. not going to happen. You can't get it? fish and chips for that. No, that's really true. I, I know it's... It, a crass statement to make, it's crude when we're talking about you know, wonderful natural gemstones, but we have to give some context. It's yeah. crazy. It is. Well done to you guys, congratulations. Um, it's on the verge of selling out. Yeah. There's literally about 20 of those left and we're hugely over allocated. Now, um, something that I have been teasing our lovely viewers mm -hmm. with, and you've clocked it, is our next opportunity. Yeah, are these on pre-order, Ross? Put them on no. pre-order, please, the, okay. if that's okay. The master carving and the wonderful strand very, very limited, extremely limited. In fact, we only have 50 of the strand, I believe, the white jade strand. Okay. Uh, do we have a little clip of film to refresh the phone lines? Um, and then we'll come back and we'll offer both these. They're on pre-order now, by the way, so you know the deals we're doing oh, today. You know how crazy it is. You know what kind of day it is. Sometimes, you know, you just wake up in one of those moods and you're like, right, we're, we're going to get loads of collectors owning some of the most impressive gemstones. Here's a little clip of film when we come back you're going to have the chance to acquire this material. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price and there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. This is it. You've teased everyone now for 50 minutes, best part of an hour. Uh, we are, of course, bringing you Type A, which means completely natural white. Jade, which is really, really important gemstone to talk about. Bring you a huge strand. Take, yeah, that was amazing, Adam. What you just had there. Look how pure that is. Look at is. this pure, incredible material. Now, this is not mutton fat because this is not nephrite. Okay, this is okay. not. This is Burmese jade. It's Myanmar jade from Kachin State, Taipei, coming from those boulders. And you know, there's one thing to remember when it comes to jade. Uh, Secrets of the Gem Trade is an incredible book um, that we always reference here. And they say, he says, Richard W. Y. says, in modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade cabochon, a singular jadeite jade cabochon of pure white hue with a fine texture and a moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. That's what they yeah. say. And, and you've got a strand of them. So totally. not just one. You've got moderate translucency, I would say. You've got uh, a pure white hue. Again, I would say that um, for the majority of this strand. And then that, that's always been the case, by the way. You know, that, that, that was, book was written and published in 2008. But if you go back to Wang Xiao in 1388, again, it's always been the, 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 the statement on examining jades, one should regard those white in colour as the best. And you know, if, if you go back before jade was even discovered, okay, if you go back to the original jade and you go back to Kotan mm. and you go back to the nephrite, which is the mutton fat material, that's the material that is the original jade. That's the material that they made, you know, jade tile frocks out of. That's the material they slept on, literally had white jade pillows. 
And, and then they found jadeite, which is considered to be a finer type of jade, essentially. It's a different gemstone, but they're both referred to as jade, and this is the finest of its type, as Richard W. Wise says. And then we, we have to factor in what's been happening over the last, well, forever, but the last 10 years in particular. Mm. Forbes, the soaring price of jade. And they say the, the New York Times had an intriguing story on the skyrocketing price of jade in China. So according to the article, the demand for jade among China's newly rich appears to have reached a frenzy in the past year or two. The price of the finest jade has increased tenfold over the past decade to $3,000 an ounce, making it far more valuable than gold. I'm glad someone is reporting on this trend, this gentleman says, who's the journalist, which I started noticing last year at my son's baptism in December. A friend of mine came from the US, because this, this journalist is based in China, to serve as the godfather. He says, on his last day here in Beijing, we took him to our local department store, not to the, the equivalent of Harrods, you know, not to the equivalent of like a, a Hatton Garden, just a local department store to pick out a gift for his wife. When he looked at the jade pieces on display, we were astonished at the prices. Several, and this is his words, not mine, I wasn't there, modest looking bracelets were going for over $100,000 a piece, wow. while only a few of the smaller items cost less than $1,000. And the journalist goes on to say, keep in mind, this is a mid-range neighborhood retail outlet, not a high-end establishment. And, and this is the reality, right? So he, this gentleman, uh, who's based in the USA, went to China for a baptism, was acting as godfather, and was like, okay, while I'm here, like I did when I was in Burma, let me get something for my wife, let me get me something for a yeah, loved one, because I'm, I'm kind of at the source, I'm at the, you know, we don't get this material really in the West. Okay, so this is where I get the deal. And he was surprised, $100,000 for a bracelet. You've got a necklace, essentially. Call it a strand, call it what you will, but let's be honest, we're talking about a white jade, which gemologists agree is the finest of its type. It's type A, no treatment, no dye, no polymer. Okay, and it's pure white, and it's a huge caraway. There's no getting away from that. That's a new Forbes article. Um, then, then we see articles like this. So Ilya is a leading the revolution in jade eye jewelry. This is last year, 5th of Jan. Founder Stanley Chu is determined to change people's mind about jadeite through contemporary design and education. Uh, you know, the family's been in the business for more than 60 years. And he says, unfortunately, despite its rarity, top quality jadeite is still grossly undervalued. That was last year. So we're talking about this tenfold increase. We're talking about $100,000 in a Beijing mid-range department store for a bracelet. And even these people out there are saying, yeah, it's still not just, we still think it's got some grossly Undervalued. undervalued. So what does yeah. that mean? Well, where's it going? Where's this material going? And then we see CNA Luxury. Collectors are paying millions for jade out. Why is it becoming more valuable? And then I want to make the comparison to a gemstone that we do understand here. So, we, you know, it's hard to understand jade. And I always say this, I'm not a jade out expert. I, re I rely on, on, on experts. I rely on the likes of Bernard and Sally who have dealt with jade out for many, many years. Mm -hmm. We also re rely on laboratory testing. I'm no way qualified to grade jade, but I speak to those that are. But well, one thing we are qualified to kind of talk about is diamonds, because we understand it in the West. We grow up around it. It's our, it's our gemstone, right? Our Argyle Pink Diamond's about to shoot up in value, and they talk about how the zero supply looms, what's next for the luxury jewelry market. And they talk about, you know, the, the Argyle mine closing, what would the prices increase tenfold? Well, that's already happened with jade. And they say investors, investors buy pink or red diamonds with a view to resale. They have been amply rewarded with higher returns than equity markets. This translates to a yield of 10% each year or 500% over the last 20 years. 500% over the last 20 years for Argyle pink diamonds. We understand pink diamonds, right? Yep. We read about them and we don't sell them, but we talk yep. about them. We understand it. I mean, 500% increase no. in 20 years is outrageous, incredible. You can see why investors are getting involved. But the value did an article during the pandemic on jade, uh, gem of the Orient, Sotheby's jewelry expert on the appreciation of imperial green jadeite. And he says this year, despite the turmoil of the market across the board, Sotheby's imperial green jadeite prices fetched a total of 31.3 million US dollars. That's a 727 increase in a year. Wow. 700, it, during the COVID pandemic, yeah. a 700% increase in a year. Of course, he's talking about imperial green, which is not what we're bringing you. We're bringing you a strand of type A white jade, which gemologists say should be considered the finest of its type. Should be the, I mean, this is crazy what's happening. Then they talk about the, the quest for that luxurious tonality and luminosity also explains why on average less than 10 pieces of jade jewelry go into the hammer in Sotheby's every year. 
One could be mistaken by the massive size of rough boulder. Though after all the carving and polishing works are done, jadeites that are able to reach their jewelry, jewelry quality are indeed quite rare, says you. And then we take into account what's happening again. This is last year again, 22nd of April, 2021. In Kachin State, which is where these mines are, the world's largest and most lucrative jade mines. There, there are more soldiers, so we know what's happening. Uh, the, the sites have become more difficult and local markets have stopped operating. There, there is no jade market really as of last year. And this is why you see you know, white jade like this at, the, at the, the, the jewelry houses. Estimate on that was 15 to 25,000 pounds. It sold for nearly 50,000 pounds. Or this, a white jade lotus leaf, again, 18th century. Or this material from the Yin dynasty. You know, US dollars estimate six to 8,000 sold for 17,500. And by the way, that, that was probably most likely nephrite because we're talking about years ago. You know, and this is only white jade, jade eye, has only really an 800 year history. But Christie's talks about a collecting guide for Chinese jades. They say Chinese works of art uh, uh, offers tips on how to start a collection, illustrative works offered at Christie's, including lots of, in the important Chinese ceramics and works of art. And they say at the, at the height of the Chinese market in 2011, prices were high for both white jades and spinach green jades. But now clients are searching for white 18th century translucent jades with perfect stone rather than examples in other colors. This presents an opportunity for new collectors. And the, Christie's are literally saying, if you're a new collector and you know the market is really strong for white jade, you might want to try a different area and collect spinach green instead. Or Ming jades. The prices will be a little bit more affordable. They are literally advising new collectors who want to start a collection to avoid white jade because the prices are so high. Okay. I want to open the graphics for this straight away. We, we oh. only have 50 of these. I cannot wait to provide you with this deal. There is no denying how white. Yeah. It's pure. Yeah, I mean, look, this is... Uh, a, a private auction from 2018. Uh, fine Chinese jade carvings from private collections. There's a white jade on the front. And then, Adam, just showcase our strand. Uh, Type wow. A white jadeite. It is the whitest I've seen as well. Yeah, uh, carrot weight's 190 carats. It's insane. I can't, I'm looking at you holding it up to your neckline now and it blows me away. Yeah. That, that, that how pure it is, pure. Look at that. It, it is, I've never seen any gemstone actually have such a white. No, nope. right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for a minute clock. Um, for, uh, in fact, first of all, let's come in at a thousand pounds, which is, I think, an incredible deal, yes. personally. For 190 carats of type A white jade eye. The possibly moderate translucency has like a glow. So come in at a thousand pounds. I think you've seen the deals I'm doing today, right? You've seen what we're about. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the minute clock now, Adam. Thank you. Um, this is, this is going to be an incredible deal. Um, Helene, congratulations. County Durham, congratulations. Big Q. Um, that. This is your moment. Only 50, not 100. You saw how fast the garnets went. Not 200. You saw how fast the heart garnets went. Yeah, I mean, wow. The purity of this. Mm -hmm. I'm, gen I'm genuinely quite speechless. I mean, this was launched with yourself and Carol. Yes, that's right. I'm genuinely That's why we speechless. only have the last 50 of Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm not surprised. You've got 30 seconds to make this a reality. Oh. When we talk about white, it's not whitish. Yeah, of course. Susie. Susie's on the phone lines. Who was with you on that show, right? Yeah, Susie was with me on the show. Susie is... is, is you guys know Susie. Um, Incredible. What would you call Susie here? Guest designer? Guest designer, yeah. yeah. Susie is a guest designer. I've seen her work. It's incredible. Um, and a bit of a jade expert. As absolutely. Well. Jade expert. Um, you know, we're talking about someone who has, um, you know, she, she is half Chinese. She yep. talks about her mother going back uh, to Malaysia to buy jade and the prices. And Susie's on the phone lines. She's got it. All right. Half the price, please. And then we're going to do a minute clock. And then I'm going to give you a final deal. It's always good to see Susie on the phone lines. Uh, it's, it's, it's even better to have Susie in the studio because I love her enthusiasm, so her passion, and her knowledge yeah. for Jade as well. It's, yeah, it's, absolutely. Uh, contagious, and, and you know, I find her a fountain of knowledge. I love just listening to her sometimes when she talks about Jade. And, and you know, she has something we don't have. She has that kind of cultural uh, yeah. uh, history with Jade, you know, where you know, she's been brought up around it. She understands it. Uh, and, and I just see the rarity. I see the value. 
she sees all, all the other things that go into it as well. Well, yeah, the sentiment and uh, uh, and the fact that, that the memories, I suppose, that yeah. have uh, that she's actually uh, um, conjured up over the years. We're at 499 yeah, It's about to get a lot better for every single one of you. I'll tell you who's in the queue right now. Alison, Kath, Maker, Maker in Sussex, Linda, Pam, Claire. A lot of you in a queue. It's, it's about to get a lot, lot better for every single one of you. Um, and a lot of multiples in baskets already. I, I, I've never seen anything so pure. No. Nope. So pure. Yeah, uh, and, and again, the glow as well. Yes, because even sometimes, even sometimes when you get you you look at sort of a white jade. I mean, so we saw with your carvings just then. There's yeah. just like a hint of orange yeah, yeah. running through. Absolutely, it's very it's difficult to get this color. 150 pounds, final deal. This is for every single one of you. Wow, I was good just... look. I thought you might do two nine nine. Uh, well, this is we're matching the introductory launch price, even for the last remaining uh, handful. Oh my goodness me! Thirty-seven pounds forty-nine. Thirty-seven pounds and forty-nine pence on split pay. It's going to be first come, first serve. Uh, that that I, I keep saying purity. That's all I can go beyond. Yeah, it's yeah. literally pure natural colour. The phone lines have absolutely lit, uh, are lit up. We've got people um, getting involved and obviously multi buying on this. I've never seen that whiter jade. Susie's just got another one. Of course. So Susie now has nearly four hundred carats. Of, of type A white jade. I, Claire, you've got one. Gloucestershire, you've got one. David, you've got one. Helene, you've got one. Sussex, you've got one. Lindy, you've got one. Sharon, you've got one. Gabrielle, you've got one. Um, me, uh, absolutely unbelievable. Just amazing, amazing. Uh, and, and I was showing this literally up against the skin. That's when it really, it really pops, doesn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely. being worn. Yeah, 100%. You, you've, you, you've got the opportunity of a lifetime, I believe, right now to get hold of this. In the queue, we've got Patricia, Alison, Pamela, Jax, Jill, Sarah, Erica, J Julie, Gloria, uh, Kath, Maker. Then it goes off my screen, and but this is only going to be available for the next few moments. Uh, make 21 the most of left. It. 21 left, so half the, well, more than half the stock's gone. Yeah, out of the 50, that's literally 50 that you, you had at the beginning, and that's it. Yeah. So I'm going to ask probably a ridiculous question here, Dave. What's yeah. the likelihood of getting some uh, more white jade like this? I, I, I never say never, but I mean, I don't know if we'll ever get a carrot weight like this again. Yeah. Or the matching that's gone into this again. Look at that. It's absolutely, it's angelic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 it is. I mean, I'd take white jade out with patches of colour. I'd take white jade yeah. out that's opaque. I'd take, well, in fact, but to have said, this. You've said that in the past, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. The fact well, you that saw the know. bangle that I picked up in Burma that I would yeah. have been happy to pay a lot more than this price for. And it, was, mm. it ended up being $15,000, so I couldn't afford it. But, you know, it's a lot lower grade than what you're seeing on your screens. And that was right at the source in Myanmar, in Kachin State, where those legendary mines exist. Um, 56 of you have this in your baskets for the final 16 opportunities and make no doubt about it some 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 people will multi-buy yeah, well, and once they go or our guest designers multi-buying you know just showcases the, the rarity of this opportunity I, I I assume 299 because this is a strand that 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 that, that, that I mean, not even this pure or white colour that I have seen at like those kind of prices. Oh, 100%. But, you know, if we can do a deal, we'll do a deal. And, and today's all been about bringing you the best deals. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Hello to you, Hayley. This would be beautiful. Oh, yeah, the it would. The white onyx. It would, you're right. Oh, yes. The white onyx was sensational. That, Beautiful, uh, glowing translucency. Oh, Very yeah. jade-like in its aesthetic, actually. It is, yeah, yeah the totally. Branca onyx. What about with a bit of, with a bit of black jade as well? Oh, beautiful. I mean, we, I love the idea of it with the contrasting colours. We saw it with the garnets earlier, which I think is divine. Mm. Amazing. Definitely with the white onyx, though. I think that's a really gorgeous Combination. Um, idea. So, as if, right, okay, hello. Uh, hello, Mr. Mr. Sotheby or, or yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Christie. I'd very much like to buy your Taipei natural white jade eye you know the one that's really pure in its color but can i only pass you 37 pounds 50. yeah today and i'll today. come back every month and give it to you <laughs> uh sarah and greta Manchester says jm studios oh my god i can't believe i've just bought this thank you thank you thank you jm oh, thank you sarah thank you for tuning in thank you for taking the time to message in like i said i always love the kind of conversations you have here the dialogue it's so good um, 11 of you will be able to get it because that's all we have Oh, Jill left. in Greater Manchester said, I bought these white jade out rounds. They're awesome on screen, but in your hand, they just glow. Absolutely mm. love them. It's amazing to hear people that got these home that have seen them firsthand. Yeah. They say, this is the worst way to experience it. On your screen, 
in this studio. So Jill, thank you for giving us the testament, testimony on that. It's, uh, it's great to hear that you're happy with your acquisition. Uh, announcement, we are now into single figures. And yeah, absolutely. You know what? It's all very well and good, Dave, you and I uh, sort of literally uh, gushing over how beautiful these stones yeah. are. But when a customer feels physically compelled to text it. Uh, yeah, and, and you know, not just to say, yeah, it looks like it does, to say it looks yeah, better. It's better. So, yeah, it looks great on the screen, but in your hand it just glows. Love it. Amazing. Six, five, five of them left out of 50. Yeah. Um, so all I can say is good luck, Gloria. Good luck. Oh, no, you've just got yours, I think, Gloria. Well done. Congratulations. Um, good luck, new customer. Good luck to you. Uh, sorry. Good luck to you, Cass. If you want those two, Cass, and we've literally got four. Um, good luck to you, anonymous maker who wants another four. Pam wants two. Claire wants three. You can see. Do the maths. Yeah, there, well, there's three left. So, Claire, you might be able to do it if you're quick, but uh, to the collector who wants four, no chance. Yeah. There's not the quantity there, um, and it's not, you know, we can get hold of certain gemstones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get hold yeah. of your quartzes, your amethysts, your yeah. citrines. Um, this is, we're talking about one of the most inaccessible gemstones yes, that exists. Yes, 100%. Capitalise on these opportunities whilst you can. Wow, wow, amazing. Two of those left, we'll leave it with you. Now our final auction. Our final auction, this incredible white jade master carving, done in, in China by people who are unbelievably talented take a look at this look I, at this beautiful carving i've never seen the intricacy as as this i'm gonna do a crazy deal on this because we've got over a hundred available i'm gonna do something remarkable when you think of the carrot weight of a sing of the single jade now in a single jade the carrot weight that is going to be on your screens in this master carving that's one of the most intricate carvings I've oh seen. my gosh yeah it is literally... Oh, it'd be hard enough trying to paint that, let alone carve it into yeah, jade. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. If I just tilt All it done by hand. All done by hand. Beautiful that is. Yeah. Just textured, three-dimensional, the classic shape. Um, now, this has been under lock and key within our vault. Yeah, it's a master carving of jade. Now, this is going to be harder to get than anything else. Let me, let me tell you that right now. We've got over 100 of these, so I'm going to do a ridiculous price. What's the carrot weight of this, Ross? There are 60. Carrots. 60 carrots, yeah. yeah. So it's a 60 carrots. Sorry, single, yeah, 60 yeah, carrots. 60 carrots, single stone. And how many have we got available? 142. Wow. That's absolutely incredible. We've brought you some absolutely incredible master carvings, but I have to say, Dave, this is probably one of my favourites. Yeah, so it's that kind of pie disc, but of course it's, it's more, more reflective of a higher Yeah. in terms of that hole has to be central. It has to be one-fifth the diameter of the entire circumference. Yeah. You, you have to, and then to have a master carving on top of that, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just going to say right now, this is going to be the be one of the best deals, if not the best deal I've ever done on any jade act. And it's jade that we have. We brought white jade eye next door. Yeah, have we brought black jade eye next door? Yes, uh, green jade eye, mm -hmm. mutton fat. We, we've done it all across both channels. One thing that they have not had access to is a master carving. Have they not? No, not one, not one. I can get. We've I done. We've done donuts. Pressuring you. Yeah, we've done though. donuts. We've done the hayagus. Beautiful, but never a master carving. And the reason is we can't get the kind of quantity we would need. Oh. These are all done by hand. This is amazing that we've got 142 of these. I also get why every time I, I sort of step back into the production office and if, they've, if, our, if our lovely teams that have been prepping behind the scenes see something like this, you can almost see it in their eyes. Yeah, I think I preferred, I preferred it when the TV of the jewellery maker output wasn't on the wall. Yeah. And they had no idea. It was like, you know, uh, <laughs> ignorance is bliss. But now they see the kind of treasure that you guys are getting to own. Um, That's a sometimes you get a frosty reception, uh, but which is fine. I'm going to do a crazy deal. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to bring in the graphics for this right now. And just to show you, you've got that really beautiful, yeah, smooth, polished, on the reverse. Yeah, I love this. Carrots. There's the there's your lotus flower, of course, a symbol of uh, rebirth. Very positive. Lotus flower grows in the in the muddiest and murkiest of waters. Tell you right now, an incredible deal on this. Honestly, like a, a, a master carving, like something like this. A, a, a Tucson, I think, would have been into the five figures. I mean, well, you've shown this, haven't uh, you? We've shown, you have we've shown, shown just, carving. yeah, and you see them at, at wholesale. Because of the skill involved, it would be uh, five figures at Tucson. 
Today, I'm going to go into triple figures and I'm going to say, okay, let's, let's come in at 799 pounds. Wow. That's an incredible deal. Snap my hand off, take it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Because like, that's 40 millimeters and I'm thinking back to your pillar and stone. Let's go to pillar and stone. Let's, in fact, if we can, Adam, there's a, the pillar and stone booth. Yeah. Uh, which is incredible. And they have some intricate, beautiful carvings, wholesale, um, of different ones. types of jade, yeah. Well, and and, and pears, yeah. And each time it's four or five figures. Yeah, there's two little donuts. This is a booth at Tucson. We're twelve hundred dollars, right? Yeah, that's right. Two. Uh, uh, but but then when you look at the um... yeah, well, uh, thank you, Radom. You found it. So this is Roland Schlussel of Pillar and Stone, and he wrote that article, Jade the Fifth. And here you go. So forget these. These are beautiful uh, cabochons. Those two there, they're eleven thousand dollars. Then you got intricate carvings like this. All of that jade is Taipei. So is mine. Um, and in a moment, we see this box. There you go. Those are intricate carvings, aren't they? Yeah, amazing. In a moment, Adam, would you be able to pause it when we see? Yeah. So 14 grand, 2,400, 2, uh, 11,000, 3,600, 2,800, 4,960, 2,400, 3,200. These are the prices that we're talking about. For and these. that's wholesale? That's wholesale, yeah, 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 that's wholesale. We can keep playing it, Adam, actually, now. Uh, these, these are the ones I talked about. They've got Brazilian amethyst in the centre, but just for the jade alone, it's 12,000. Sorry, I was wrong. 12,000. That's without the master carving. That's just a big carat weight. Yeah. Just then, the green, and then you have to pay for your amethyst on top of it. Yeah, which is $60 a carat. We'll keep ah. playing this. Thank you, Adam. Um, these intricate carvings of the lavenders, they are 3,960, nowhere near the size we're bringing you. No. Nowhere near the size we're bringing you. We're at 799 right now. Yeah. The, 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 those green ones there, you see, they're intricate carvings, um, much thinner. So here's are just two small little donuts. They're $1,200. They're the ones you referenced there. Yeah. That's 10,600. This one is 11,600. 11,600. I'd, so I'd be so worried picking that up because it yep. looks like it could literally, literally like, like a brandy snap. And, and then again, literally. beautiful, beautiful kind of filigree work and hollowed out. Two, yeah, two white ones there. They are 1,700 wholesale. No master carving though. No beautiful depiction. Right. A minute clock, please. We've got 142 of these to shift. As if we're saying that about type A. Yeah, type A. Type A. Beautiful white, white jade. Um, it literally looks like it's been laid on top, the carving. It is that detailed. I'm going to go, I want one of these. I want one of these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Right, trust me, guys. This is your chance at being able to afford and own these. Oh, we've got split pay. Yeah. We've got split that. pay. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something right now. You're not going to need split pay with the deal I do on this. You're actually not going to... I didn't even know we had split pay. It's the reason I said I was going to do this deal. That changes everything. I'm still going to do the final deal, but you wouldn't need it at the price I'm going to give you. You would not need it. One of, one of the proudest carvings that we have presented. Oh, my God, yeah. Can you see the little bird? Just at the top. Yeah. There it is. Wow. That's so beautiful. The reason I keep rocking it back is it literally looks like it, it's three-dimensional. Okay. We, went, we went into triple figures. Let's go into double figures. £99, 99 pence. Okay, which is incredible. Three split payments as well, I think, which is just crazy. I said I didn't even know we had that on this piece. 99 99 Sorry, yeah. it's just sunk in. I know. You See, did uh, say I've never done 99.99 on a 60-carat piece of jade, ever. No. On a single piece, 60 carats. Okay, and I'm taking another minute clock, please. Oh, so this is it now. 142, 142 of these are going. 99 99 It's £33.33 on split pay. And I'm going again, and I'm going in a big way. I'm going in a way that you don't need split pay. £33. Yeah. Pence. Yes. And I said, I, I, like I said, I did not know we had split pay available on this piece. It probably would have changed my decision-making process. But we do have it. Um, I've already you know, prepared myself for the deal that I'm about to do, and you're going to get it. But you don't need split pay. Just be as quick as you can. Because 142, you're right, it is a big quantity. It's not when you see the price I'm about to do. You've got half a minute to be on the phone lines, to be on the app, to be on the web, to do whatever you can. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's yeah. a work of art. It I mean, is a work of art. And that's I mean, all done by hand. There's no machine. No. Each one of these will have moments of difference that only the human hand can produce. This is not a print. This is a masterpiece. And that's what it is. say that you've got that quantity of, yeah. uh, of something that uh, has been um, hand-carved. Yeah. 
unbelievable. Yeah, and, and, and that's... So really, technically, Ellis might be going... Yes, she will. She definitely will. Okay, for every single one of you, especially the Maker and Gloucester Show is multi-bought. Linda, you've multi-bought half the price. Half the price. Yeah, we're going to do it. This is my final auction with you. We're going to half the price. I want you to get this master carving in your collection. It's a masterpiece. It's not a reproduction. It's not a copy. Each one will be minutely different because they are done by the human hand of master carvers working with this canvas of 60 carats of type A jadeite. Can I be particularly yeah. unprofessional right now? Please do. Susie, please, can you get me one and I'll give you, you the money on Sunday? <laughs> it's the only chance. Yes, he did. Half the price. Oh, sorry, yeah, forty nine ninety nine. Uh, if you if you're watching right now, Wayne's just stormed in. Oh, Wayne! He just oh, you stop you stomping, Wayne. There he is. Stop you stomping. Um, Linda, well done. You've got three. Pam, County Adam, you've got two. Patricia, you've got three. Maker in Gloucestershire, you've got two. Massive queue. I did say to you, one hundred forty two seems like a big quantity. Not when we're doing 66. deals like this. Sixteen pound sixty six. You did that. It's a work of art. Yeah, I know. It is, it is actually a work of art. It's where art and rarity meet. Oh, I hope Susie's still watching. I hope she is. We had 142 of these available, but they are absolutely flying out the door. The, the, the intricacy of this, and it's, the, it's literally every detail. How, how to draw flowers is one thing, but to be able to naturally... Like I said, to, to paint that yeah. is, 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 is difficult enough. But you need to be a skilled artist to be able to create a depiction like that. But to do it with jade, yeah. to work with jadeite without cracking it, without chipping it, creating this in that circular form. It's, 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 it's a stunning work of art. It really is. And it, it's type A white jadeite. It truly is. Um, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Fiona, beginning... you've got two. Angela, you've got two. Jane, you've got two. At the beginning of the, uh, in, um, this opportunity, when we were actually showing all the different carvings, you know, some of which are, of course, hugely historic, etc., and you look, you, you appreciate, of course, the intricacy. I don't think for one second you've got any less intricacy within this piece. In fact, it's much smaller. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. So probably far more, uh, more challenging. To oh, just certainly, it yeah, would be more expensive to be able to produce that. Look at that. Six. And we didn't know we had split pay, and that's why I decided to do this price. Well. That's, it's, wow. Uh, is that one of the lowest prices that you've ever done on yes, Master Carving? Yes, it is the lowest. Forty nine ninety nine on a 60 carat Type A Jedi Master Carving. It's insane. Um, what time are we on right now? I'm just thinking, oh, phew, yeah, it's okay. Alice is on air. She's on air, yeah, She's on air, so she would And, and we've, we've, we've boarded up this wall. <laughs> uh, it used to be like windows into the other studio, but after the looks that Ellis was giving out, we said, no, no, board it up. I'm joking. I quite like Ellis. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> obviously, um, you know. I'd like it to be friends. You are friends. <laughs> it, it, is, it is one of those deals that, of course, you know, everyone wants to have on their show. Uh, of course we are doing we it do. here. We're doing it here to, to, you know, bring the price down. Because had we have set this, we have got to put it in gold. And then the price. Left. There's only 20 left. There's only 20 left. Is our way now? Back from India. Oh, I have indeed. Oh, oh don't fall over. Oh, oh my God. What you? is this? What do you think? Incredible. Type A. A meter. Last chance saloon. Type A jade? Yep. Ombre Play colours. Play it now. And then okay. it's gone. gone okay. Forever. We're, we're going to offer you this one incredible. Nine. A meter Nine. of Type A jade out there. Wayne has just ushered in to this incredible show. An ombre of beautiful colours. Oh, oh one of the things that I've just learned in my ear that uh, apparently, Wayne, you didn't say anything that doesn't... What, of this or of this? Of your strand? Anything, any of those that don't sell? I have. I go to gems, yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. These are going to sell, though. How many do we have? We have 94. Oh, my God, they're going. Wouldn't they be... Wouldn't that, literally, a rope towards this? Oh, I'm going to hand it over to you now, uh, just because you've got to see it. A metre of type A oh. jade. Oh, my goodness me. Wayne, I'm doing crazy prices today, though, mate. I hope you know that. Does he know that? He's going to find out. Let's bring the graphics in. Look at that. Imagine that. That's beautiful. That belongs in Christie's. It does, doesn't it? Is there any way to get that overhead shot? Probably yes. not. Oh, there is. Because, sorry, guys. It's just I can tell how beautiful that's going to look. Here we go. Oh, I love this. It's like, it's like there's a drone in the studio. It is, isn't it? It's amazing. 
Look at that. Imagine this red with oh, red silk. Wow. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. And red is uh, such significance as yeah. Susie would here should tell you. Right. I'm, I'm going to start off at a grand on that, Jade. Okay, which is no one can touch me on that. It's gradients of green. Yeah. Type A jade eye. Going to come in at a £1,000. And then, Wayne, I don't know if he's still in the gallery or not. I'm going to take a minute clock and I'm just going to give you a crazy deal. My final auction for you. Final auction and also final opportunity for our viewers to get hold of this metre long length. Yeah. Because it will be. Do you know what you should do? And I've actually spoken to Andy, uh, who's one of the buyers. On, yes, Andy. And did. saying, look, and I mentioned uh, lovely Susie's name as well. You need to be doing these kind of malas and everything 100%. over on Gems. They would 100%. be so... I mean, it's easier said than done, yeah. Possibly. Easier said than done. Uh, we'd love to do it, but to get hold of this material. Yeah, yeah. So the quantity is, that, is the difference here. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, like you said, at Christie's or at Sotheby's, mm -hmm. you can imagine the price point, can't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Look, we've got hundreds of you watching, thousands of you watching. Yep. The, the, the 50 of the, the white jadeite strands sold out, 142 of the master carvings are still going through. There's a, a smaller quantity of this gradient screen. Yeah, go on, Al, put it in there with it. Oh, yeah. You just get the idea, don't you? If you mixed them up then. Oh my God, we should be talking thousands and thousands and thousands. 10 seconds. You get the idea, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. But do you think you could afford that if we saw it? No. Okay, no Ross, never. half the price, and then give me another minute clock. Then I'll give you my final deal, and then I'm out of here. That's amazing. This is it. Wayne brought it in. He said, last chance saloon. Linda, you're trusting me. You've got two. Tracy, Cynthia, Leslie, Linda, Helene, Wendy, North oh. Yorkshire, West Midlands, Gloucestershire, Hampshire, Middlesex. Good luck to every single one of you. You've got a minute to decide if you want to own a meter. Oh, Linda's got three now, of gradients of green. I'm being Jada. asked to remind you of something, yeah. that it is a meter. I know. And it's, it, I know it doesn't say on our graphics, but it's 560 yeah. carats. Yeah. It's probably the biggest carat weight we've ever brought to Yes, today. in a strand for sure. Obviously these are separate, the white and obviously the, yeah. uh, 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 that, that beautiful that master carving. That is stunning what you've done there, Al. Literally just alternate it. I'm going again. You've got 25 seconds. You can remind me of everything all you want, Wayne. You brought it in. And um, uh, you, you, sh you should have seen what we were doing today. Yeah, you should have known, Wayne. You should have seen. You what? You were in, he was in a meeting, he said. He's been in trade meeting. Oh, right. Um, you've, what, what, how's that an excuse? Yeah. How's that? Look, look at that. Yeah, five seconds. Last chance that you're going to see this meter long length. Again, that's what you're dialing through for at the moment. Right. But perfect design that would be. Um, let's go to 199. Get them gone. Last chance saloon, Wayne said. So 199. What was it? 560 carats? Yes. A meter of jadeite with the gradients of green. You've had in excellent opportunities all day today. And it, 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 this is the, the culmination, the final, the last chance saloon. Uh, a lot of you on the phone lines, we are doing it. £66.33 on split pay. And you get some beautiful white moments in there. You get the greens going from the spinach green through the apple green, maybe kingfisher green. Then if you've got the master carving, you can see how well this would pair up. It's a special, special auction. Wait a minute, so I can make that yes. for £250? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. £250? Yep. You can, that, that is, you know, imagine seeing that in a jewellery store. Yeah. A metre of jade. Uh, 560 carats. Uh, I mean, I'll take a minute clock. Well, you did, what? Last chance on JM. Uh, we've got, how many did we have? 90 something. There's not 90 people on the phone lines. I'm going again. I have no information, don't have an earpiece. We are going again. It's going so to be good look. quiet in the gallery. I'll just point that one out. They've got oh, a little bit quiet. It is. it is what it is. So we're currently saying you can make this piece of jewellery, if there are any of those carvings left, that is. Um, for £250 and we're going to take it even lower. Yeah. It is, it is stunning. I'm going to drape it across the back of my hand so you can actually see um, just that. Beautiful. Radiance of green. I, I love the uh, moments. You use the description moments yeah. that you get within jadeite. And it is all about those wonderful textures. That's part of the grading process, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The textures that you get the, within. The stone, the water content. Look you can see here, the purity of colours. They're absolutely stunning. A metre. Ten seconds. Um, what size are these? Because, again, I can see it's not on the graphics. Eight millimetres, 
540 carats for a metre long length. Uh, 179. My final deal. My final deal. 179. I want them all gone. There's a lot of you joining us now. A lot of you multi-buying. Some of you are getting threes, some twos. Whatever it is that you can do, a metre of jade eye. Pretty confident in saying you're never going to see that again. No. Especially in these gradients of green that we've managed to achieve in this look. Do you know what? Uh, literally, so many 66. of us could not these. Yeah, yeah, you guys could, 100%. Yeah, we could knot it. And literally whatever's left is going on gems then. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'd love to bring this on, on Gem Poirier. I want to give you first refusal, giving you the last chance saloon, as we call it, offering you this opportunity. £59.66 and 66 pence only to get hold of this. The per Isabel, Angela, it's that carrier, London. isn't it? Yeah. It's a perfect carrier to your beautiful, beautiful Mastercard. I think thing. so. And do you know the way that you put the, the white jade with it as well? Oh, yeah. If there's a way Should to, we do to create that look. I just love it. Can we do a little tally up? Can we do a tally of all yeah. the... Uh, of, so the white jade, the gradients of green, and also your master carving. And listen, OK, it, yes, it's, a, it, it's an investment, but not comparative, Dave. But look, I said, we never look at the market value for this material. Uh, we get great deals. We pass them on to you guys. A lot of you have some of these esteemed, incredible collections now uh, featuring jade, featuring some of the wonderful gemstones we bring you. That's what makes us happy. Look at that. Imagine that as a piece of jewellery. Yeah, I mean, that's sensational. Absolutely. That looks like a piece of art in itself. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, and again, I'm feeling like the red silk uh, literally... I think that would just finish it off. Oh, wow. Yeah, publications, it would be on Christie's. It would be at Sotheby's. Mm -hmm. Um, again, because of the intricacy uh, of the carving, but also the quality of those stones. Um, all type A grade. Yes. Um, everybody, bar literally a couple of you, have, uh, um, have, have checked out. This is a closeout deal. Won't be on our screens um, moving forward. From here on in, it's the remaining quantity, and that is a big if, by the way, uh, will be going to our sister channel. Hello, Elizabeth. Wow. That's awesome. Crazy price. And that's from lovely Liz in the Tynan Way. Um, um, Liz it is, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, something's just dawned on me. Again, think back to the Pillar and Rose um, carvings that Dave actually showed you a few moments ago. Can you imagine? Because we had the other day Mandar yeah, Mandarin Garnet popped in the centre. Wouldn't that be unbelievable? Or can you imagine a, um, a Zavarite or, or a, a purple garnet as we've just, just dropped in the centre of that carpet? Don't mention the purple garnets because uh, Wayne wasn't here. He was in a meeting okay. when we did those prices. So um, okay. thank you to you guys. Look, just before I go, I've got uh, something special that I want to show to you. I'm going to need the, the close-up camera, if that's okay. For, I've got a parcel in my pocket that I'm going to leave for you to do out. Okay. You guys do whatever price you want to do. But I've got a bit of quantity of these. These are incredible... Tanzanian Mandarin Garnets, okay? Oh my goodness. The first collection I ever created for Gemporia was a collection we called Imperfect. Um, and in Imperfect is a gemstone, is a concept that, that, that I, I wanted to embrace. And what we're talking about is, if you zoom right in, you, and sorry, I've moved, I think. If you zoom as close in as you can get, oh, you can't, no worries. The, that just shows how beautiful these stones are, but there are minute inclusions within them, okay? minute inclusions and, and many people call them imp imperfections right and yeah. they they mark down the price or whatever a lot of that's changed recently a lot of big jewelry houses are utilizing this because it shows how natural it is uh, and i started looking at them and i was like these are beautiful we should be bringing people these incredible gemstones because you know when you talk about a gemstone that's treated these are natural by the way or you know you're removing these these moments these flaws which are kind of like the time capsule they're kind of like the story of the gem, how it's spent millions of years mm. forming. I think it's outrageous to remove them from the market. Uh, and when you break up the word imperfect, it literally says I'm perfect, doesn't oh, it? I love but, but it does, doesn't it? And when you look at it, you, you look at these gemstones and it embraces its imperfections, embraces its flaw. It says I'm perfect just the way that I am. And we, we're seeing it in a big way with diamonds, salt and pepper diamonds, yeah. diamonds with these incredible moments. I've seen it a lot in a big way. I was offered uh, over 100 carats of Tajikistan spinel, mm. and they called it frosted spinel, and it had these kind of stress fractures within it. It was beautiful, it was like spider webs within the stone, beautiful polish, nothing that went right to the surface of the stone. And the price of it was astronomical, as you can imagine, 100 carat Tajikistan natural spinel. And this is why we wanted to bring this collection uh, to you guys. The imperfect collection is, is, is something about these gemstones that have tiny, minute 
flaws, these imperfections, which I think add character to the stone. Yeah. Because when you, you know, if you bring a mandarin garnet, um, one of the beautiful things about emeralds, for instance, is if, you, if you know your emerald, and it's got these jardins, and why do they get away with it? You know, why do emeralds get away with it? We embrace I know, them. Yeah. Jardins, it's a French a word for garden. And then in something else, they go, that's an imperfection. I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I think the beautiful thing about it's emeralds true. is every single one is unique. You know, there are people that own big engagement ring emeralds and they say, I know my emerald. I can trace every moment of my emerald. And that's the, the, the thing that these gemstones now, I mean, I just started this collection five years ago. The reason this has been accepted and embraced in the industry now, and actually a lot of people pay premiums for these stones, is because there's a lot more synthetic gemstones out there. It's a lot yeah. more lab grown. This is that moment of separation that says, I'm natural. You know, I wasn't born in a lab in, in a matter of weeks. I've spent millions, in some cases billions of years forming mm. under intense stress and pressure and heat. And, and this is, yeah, this is my story within each incredible stone. Yeah. And so we are bringing you these epic, incredible, unique gemstones as part of the Imperfect Collection. And in this moment, you get this incredible parcel of Tanzanian Mandarin natural garnet. And this is what I'm going to leave you with now. Oh, to bring please. to every one of our collectors. Yes, please. Uh, so I'm going to hand over this incredible parcel of mandarin garnets to to Elle. And thank. Oh wow. Ross, I've set the uh, I've set the scene in terms of price. You know what we're about today about these incredible deals, and I uh, I know he's going to continue that. Two point nine carats. These incredible pear cuts. They're Your opportunity. How many of them do you have, Ross? We have fifty of these available. Okay. Do you want to see them disappear? Do you want to see 2.9 carats of natural mandarin Tanzanian garnets? We talked about mandarin earlier when we were talking about garnets. None in Tanzania anymore, none in Nigeria, none in Namibia. And these are the, the brightest, most beautiful you've ever seen. I'm going to take a minute clock. 50 of these are gone, trust me. And the beautiful uh, thing about Tanzanian material is, just so you know, mandarin garnets were discovered in Namibia, okay? They're called Fanta orange. It was this kind of color, but they were very hazy because of the manganese, they're very sleepy stones, but they were beautiful. Then they were mined out, then they discovered some in Nigeria, it's all West Africa, and they discovered some in Nigeria, and they were supremely bright, but they didn't go full orange. They were either red or yellow, so you didn't get the color. Okay. So it used to be, they the, the used to say, you had to compromise. If you wanted orange, thank you, uh, Adam, that's a beautiful recording. Um, if you oh, wanted wow. orange, you would need to go Namibian, but you would sacrifice the clarity. If you wanted bright stones, you'd have to go to Nigeria. Then they discovered this deposit, this incredible, deposit in Tanzania that blended the best of both. Orange and bright, incredible stones. And you've got a parcel here that I'm gonna do for an incredible deal. I'll just do it as my final deal and I'll leave you. Oh my goodness me, these are so beautiful. I love Mandarin Garnet. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's, it, it, actually having those imperfection is, it doesn't have to it, Ready? Uh, I agree, it should be a positive. £7.99. Pardon? £7.99. We don't have hundreds like the other garnets, there's just 50 opportunities. Incredible carrot weight, nearly three carrots in this little pot. Look at that. It's epic. It's like a pad paracha. It is. Look at that quality. And you're saying there's uh, little flaws. I don't Tiny, see any. Tiny, minute flaws, but I, I, I just love those moments within the stone. I, d I don't see any. Yeah. I don't see the half the stone. But you expect gone. it in, 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 especially in Mandarin garnets. You like should I said, in Namibia. All gemstones, right? It, yeah, absolutely. But in Namibia, they were very sleepy had those moments in them. In Nigeria, they were really bright, but they never really got this saturation going. £7.99. Um, some might even say there's no such thing as a completely flawless stone. No. Nah. Particularly in the colour gemstone. Yeah, world. absolutely. No such thing. Um, but, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the cutting. There is nothing wrong with the gemstones. Oh, no, for sure. But quite the opposite. Oh, goodness me. And, yeah, I, I, I think that's perfection. Sheer perfection. They're flying out the door. I'm not of surprised. Of course they are. We've just done it for £7.99. Acres <laughs> in Essex has got four. Wiltshire, you've got two. Greater London, you've got two. County Andrum, you've got two. West Midlands, you've got two. Uh, Greater London, you've got three. Make the most out of it. Oh, they're on the verge of selling out. Absolutely amazing. And don't forget, think back to that Harry Winston piece that I was showing just yeah, yesterday. Absolutely. Um, which uh, uh, obviously talks about Mandarin Garnet in the centre. Dave, as per usual, I've loved it. Thank uh, you so, so much. I, I have too. So thank you, Al. Uh, thank you to you guys and the team. What an incredible showcase to be a part of. Uh, and I'm, I'm thrilled with any of you that have got those incredible deals. And we're going to set up the Wall of Fame for some of these auctions so I can see your designs. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we'll look into that. I'll speak to, I'll have a chat to the, uh, the, the management team to get that. So you, okay. you should be seeing these pieces. Yeah, I want okay. to, I want to. I love, you know, I don't want it just to be, uh, it's gone and that's it. I want to see 
if it's a month later, six months later, a year later, I want to see what you created with some of the deals that we've bought to you. Oh, fabulous. Dave Trough, Thank everybody. Um, loved it. And massive, massive congratulations to every single one of you. Now, do not go anywhere because we still have so much to bring. You've got wonderful Hayley Kruger stepping back into the studio in a few moments' time. Um, more unbelievable deals. We've got what, sorry? Rounds. And then a wonderful masterclass coming up with Hayley. We'll be back after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost to over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that, I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension.
<laughs> literally Ross is like there. You just look, you, if, you'd have cut, if we'd have cut live literally seconds earlier, you'd have seen the back of Ross's head. <laughs> um, Hayley's back! Hey. Mm. <laughs> and I've just been showing Hayley some of the goodies that we've got between yes. now and the masterclass. Proper sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah. Um, it's tourmaline. Got beautiful tourmaline rounds to bring you. We have the... Um, it will, all, I think, go down in history as the Zircon. That's what we called it during the auction. Um, huh? Okay. okay. Oh, okay. I'll show you that in a second. Sorry. The most amazing tourmaline. Brand new premiere. We've got a bit of a round showcase coming up. This is going to be the big star buy. I'll come back to what I was talking about. Um, but the beautiful, the wonderful spectrum of colours that you get from uh, tourmaline as a gemstone. Oh, my goodness. That's an indicolite just there. Look at that, you're no denying you've got that really beautiful teal colour within. Um, all completely and utterly natural. We're going to take this to an, a bonkers star by price. On pre-order... I it's crazy. It's been a bit, bit nuts, yeah. It has been a bit nuts. Yeah. Brand new, premiere. We've got 100. You can pre-order and you can secure yours right now. Um, yeah, just, give you a little, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, it is going lower than you could possibly imagine, basically. Um, then I'm going to show you the Zircon. We launched it. It launched the birthday, actually, as a birthday banger. That's what they called those, uh, the first auction of the birthday, a birthday banger. <laughs> <laughs> every birthday should start with a bang, though, after all, shouldn't it? Why not? <laughs> um, <laughs> we had 500 of these. Um, do you want to know how many we've got left? Ten. It will go down in history as the Zircon in my eyes. Because th is there anything more beautiful? Oh, my goodness, we had selenite yesterday. Can you imagine that with selenite? Wow. That would look amazing. Just the two. Just that those would two. Con it's contrast and, and support and each other. Yeah. Imagine that just dotted in between yeah. your selenite rounds. Amazing. There's only ten now. I mean, I, when you said look at that, I couldn't believe the length of that strand. Yeah. 35 centimetres. Really? I mean, look at it from here, the way it is Do absolutely it? Oh, dazzling. Oh, I'm so... Hayley, we had 500 and that wasn't enough. Oh, wow. For whatever reason, I genuinely do not know why. I, I'm baffled by why 10 came back into stock. Baffled. Because look at it. It's absolutely impeccable. It's, it's, it's stunning. Stunning. 19.99. I've never seen zircon that good in no. a strand. No, never. No, it, it, it's it. No. I've never seen zircon as good as what's on your screen. We had ten. Veronica, Pam, Janice, Sean, Tracy, Gabrielle. I think it's gone, isn't it? Has it sold out? Yeah. Well done. Sorry. We have already asked for more. Oh, I hope so. Should we do some Sleeping Beauty turquoise now? Oh yes. Oh. Oh my goodness, Even I love that. that with the oh, that would be amazing, mm. wouldn't it? Look at the quality. When we imagine Sleeping Beauty, and we think, okay, yeah, that 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 um, robin egg blue, the fact that you know it's a it's a location which is known and celebrated for minimal, not saying zero, but minimal matrix. We all conjure up something like this, don't yes, we? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The fact that these are in rounds, and I remember having quite a lengthy conversation with uh, uh, your gem investor, Jake Thompson, who actually said the reason why you don't see turquoise often in rounds, and it's more your heshies um, and your ovals or your cabochons, is because how it forms naturally, it's really wasteful. So we pay a premium for rounds. We've got how many? Ten. Okay. Ten of these available. 30 carats of beautiful robin egg blue. It's what we all imagine when we think of this location. Goodness me, $39.99. Um, I don't forget, I've just come back. Well, it's not just, but at the beginning of the year. Um, I've just come back from Arizona where I saw a lot of turquoise. And I remember discussing, um, there was a really lovely German vendor who specialised in Sleeping Beauty oh, turquoise. Really? His entire stand, yeah? Can you see the yes. turquoise with the zircon? Of course you can. Four requests for that. You, your suggestion there, Hayley? Oh, yeah. Um, I, and I met a lovely Ger uh, a German vendor, and his whole stand was Sleeping Beauty <gasps> turquoise. Um, he had 
security guards. <laughs> really? He had security guards. And I remember wow. looking at this tray and they were literally round. Some were all different sizes. And I picked one up and I was like, it was about, it was about this big. I don't know, about maybe about 20 millimeters in its round. I said, how much is this one? It was gorgeous. And it did have some patterns in there. And he was like thousand. It, told, it was literally four figures. Really? And that's goodness. one stone. So never underestimate how amazing our deals are. It yeah. looks beautiful alongside the Zircon, if you were lucky enough to get that. Not just now. What about, back, you know, back at our birthday celebrations at the beginning of the month? Maybe you've got it and you haven't yet broken into that strand. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the verge of selling out. Good luck, good luck at £19.99. pence. Um, this tourmaline is launching today as well. Let me just give you... Oh, they look lovely together. Quite unconventional pairing. Yeah, it is, but it really works. Is it the rounds that make it work? Probably. Yeah. Probably. It's coming up a brand new premiere. Before I do that, and I have to, have to, bring that zircon back. This is why. This is why I said... <laughs> no, this is why I said you need this zircon because it's going to go with everything. It's it's the perfect. It's an um, it is the most. It's the zircon, isn't it? Has Wayne reordered some of these? I hope so as well. But wait, how about the most incredible chrome tourmaline? What about oh, those together? Look at that! Oh, now that that is that is red carpet. Uh huh. There's some good news and there's some bad news. We've got more available quantity of the green tourmaline than we have to uh, have of the zircon. But there's still only 20. Gosh. Again, look at that clarity. That, look at that. Yeah. We launched this. It was on the back of this, wasn't it? Weren't the two together? They were separate days. It was still, still part of the birthday. Look at the clarity of these tourmalines. It was a birth, another birthday bang. <laughs> That was a good birthday. <laughs> it was a great birthday. <laughs> every morning. Every, <laughs> every morning we'd wake up, birthday banger. <laughs> every single morning. <laughs> um, did you hear that then? Really dirty laugh that I just yeah. had there. Natural <gasps> tourmaline. Oh, Hayley, look at that. That is stunning. Look at those together. Oh, yes. Look at those. They are the perfect pair, aren't they? They are. And actually, I don't know that I've seen a fully green tourmaline strand like that before. No, because sometimes they've actually got quite a mixture mix, of your colours. Yes. Chrome tourmaline, make no doubt about it, is rare. Um, it's it's quite often actually part of our uh, our sister channel's Larit collection for sure. Um, um, and when it is, they're not they're not small prices, because actually tourmaline. Most people think that it, okay, so it's like a like a dark forest green. But you know, you can get literally um, sort of a cro a bottle green colour. Yes, you can. Look That's at those. That's the beauty of tourmaline. Is that is actually such a varied gem. They look amazing together, don't they? They do, yeah. Amazing. There's only 20 of these opportunities. Again, what part of our uh, birthday celebrations and so many of you uh, getting involved, I agree. It looks lovely with the chrome tom, uh, with the chrome tourmaline, likewise alongside the zircon. Um, but you can mix it up with all sorts of things, couldn't you? Everyone checking out those baskets. Good, uh, good afternoon. Good morning. Here we go. Good morning to you, Stella, Pam. Hello to you, West Midlands, Michael, Gabrielle. Um, and again, come and say hello. Anne in London, nice to see you as well. I hope you're enjoying the show as much as we are lots of inspiration coming up with lovely Hayley <laughs> I'm excited about your masterclass yeah so am I actually there's there's actually so much we can't fit it all in as per usual but this we were really pushing the boundaries with love it technique and skill and yeah love it love it love it right well should we stick with the tourmalines yeah oh bringing it back yes it has to doesn't it yeah Gosh, oh, that is so pretty. Again, red carpet stuff, isn't it? Mm. I agree. Again, you know, we never, we should never look at these as just sort of beads. No. They're incredible gem No, quality. we get, we take stuff for granted because we see it all the time. Yeah, we actually, do. Actually, we do. We get really complacent. It's yeah. a bit like what Dave was just saying a few moments ago. 
um, little tiny inclusions within uh, within gemstones. Surely that's why we buy gemstones. Yeah. Otherwise, we buy you buy you glass buy or glass yeah. or plastic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. You know, gemstones, they're like, they're like us. They have flaws, don't they? Mm. Um, anyway, back to beautiful blush pinks. Natural Madagascan tourmaline. 15 carats that you're getting. I'm sorry, I've, I must take that zircon away just because I know <laughs> that it's, it's confusing. It's, <laughs> it's just so tempting to put yes. it with absolutely everything, isn't it? Uh, 15 carats, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful pink coming through. Um, in a 60 second clock, we're not even stopping at 19.99. We've got, oh, massive price crash. Uh, price, price crash? Price, <laughs> well, it is price a bit crash, crash, to be honest. <laughs> price crash coming your way. Things like your looming, your right hand angle weave. Yes, absolutely. Um, all sorts of things. E even, they're, um, they're actually micro, so you can put them on and those slider bracelets and yeah. then make oh, a slider the bracelet jewelry, out yeah. of that um cascading pieces of jewelry use them as little decorative spaces if you want yes. to if you, yes. uh, uh, um oh with those spaces that we had earlier on nice What's that in almost those are spaces to those yeah that would be lovely yeah that'd be lovely and, and we all, i always talk about the fact that astley clark do a whole collection i think it's called the biography collection i think it is okay. um which is all about sort of your three four millimeter faceted rounds and it's literally what you've just said it's it, you know it's it's gemstone um precious metal gemstone precious metal and they're like 130 140 pounds wow. for one of the little stack of styles 9.99 for tourmaline all the complexities that goes into this gemstone you've got to remember never underestimate the fact that there has to be in excess of 50 different chemicals present at that one specific minute location on Maybe. this vast planet to form this gemstone yeah at the perfect temperatures and heats and pressures that we should never overlook that that's why it can and it does fetch literally hundreds um, of dollars uh, per carat lots of you there it's it's lovely i think pink tourmaline has got a really different color saturation to that that you see with maybe your pink sapphire yes it does it's a little bit more purpley um the other day i was showing a a, a jewelry designer that i follow on instagram Catherine james you've probably mm. heard of her she did she she uh sells i think a lot of pre-owned and pre-loved pieces of jewelry and i was showing that pink tourmaline ring that i said if ever if i stumbled into some money that might be my, <laughs> my treat um yeah it was it's just really classic almost like uh the halo of diamonds all the way around and it's this gorgeous pink that draw, which draws me in 10 pounds only hello to you all wendy london diana hello to you Pam, West Midlands, Caroline, Devon, Joan, Gabrielle, uh, Lincolnshire, you've got yours as well. If you check out your baskets, Diana in Berkshire, Tracy, good morning, everyone. Any questions that you have for our gorgeous Hayley, feel free to text in because your masterclass is all about. We've got stone setting, we've got flush setting, we're going to, I'm going, we've got some amazing new tools, gravers. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to demo a little Engravers, bit. Engravers, did you say? Well, they, they're called gravers. Right, okay. And they use for engraving and for um, refining some stone setting. But they, they're, a, they're an advanced tool, but they're an advanced tool that you can, once you start practicing, the earlier you start practicing with them, the better you get at using them because they're, they're interesting and different and take a bit of practice. Well, they're all going on pre-order from 12 o'clock as well. So, uh, and any questions that you have, again, do text in. Now, um, this is the penultimate with the uh, with the rounds in this hour, and then we're going to dive into that brand new premiere of your tourmaline. Um, look at the grading. Triple A grade natural lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli is a gemstone that quite, off, quite often, um, and I haven't got a problem with this at all, will be submerged in a dye um, to bring out those really beautiful, deep, uh, sort of like Arabian sky um, blues. Of course, you've got the perfect dusting of your pyrite um, across the surface. Nine ninety nine to get hold of natural, natural uh, lapis lazuli from the Sarisang mine, um, and you can really see it's electrifying, isn't it? It is electrifying. And to say that that's natural, I would have thought that was dyed. Me too. It's that good. It's that good. Yeah. It's incredible. It is incredible. And often you can identify that quite easily. Isn't it funny because sometimes a gemstone can look so beautiful yeah, yeah. that the, the sceptical sides of us yes. go, no, that's yeah, been treated. Yeah. But no, not the case. Certified, natural, AAA stunning. grade. Absolutely stunning. 
We're not even stopping there, Hayley. Wow. Again, lovely little micro. Don't be frightened of two or three millimetre stones. You can achieve so much from them. And they jump. They do jump onto your beading threads, don't they? Yeah, they do. Not literally. Yeah. No, but, but they, they, you can fish with them and they'll, they'll bite. That's a good expression. <laughs> yeah, good expression. Six ninety nine. Ah, oh, do you know that I'm thinking back to a Rose Quartz showcase that I did years ago, probably. It's probably about two years ago. Um, and on that Rose Quartz showcase, we showed a really beautiful ladder weave cuff. Ross, I don't know if you can find that picture. Imagine now doing a lapis lazuli -Laz version of that. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing? And you could do it at a, a super affordable price tag. Um, we don't have the time to actually search for it right now, but um, I can always upload the photograph. It's still part of our PowerPoint. In fact, you know what? Somebody asked me for that months ago, and I was like, I can't find the picture, and I did try. I don't know why. I could have just downloaded my PowerPoint. So if you are watching the person that asked me for that photograph, I can soon get it, because it's just dawned on me. I've had a little light bulb moment. Um, OK, what did you say? We're going to go dive straight in. Brand new premiere. It is a star buy, but time is ticking. So, and I don't want to eat into the masterclass. Um, already 10% of the stock has gone on this. Um, love it. I absolutely adore tourmaline. And again, it's, such a, it's a gemstone witch, much like your diamonds and your sapphires and your rubies and your tanzanites. You know, it commands a high price point. There's no denying it. Pray for tourmaline. Commands a high price tag. Rubelite. Chrome tourmaline, all of the beautiful colours that you can get within this wonderful gemstone. I adore these palettes. Yes, yeah. Because actually, when you accompany them with other things, it really pulls out. Like that olive green that's in there. If yeah. you put that, even with that, um, the green tourmaline. Yeah, lovely. That would really pull out that green. I quite often do that, Hayley. I actually colour. Yes. Right, I actually separate the colours. Yes. Because I actually think they work better as their own individual colour. Yeah, it depends on what you need them for or want them for, but yeah, the, there's so much um, op opportunity with this. You can separate them out. I mean, look at that individual green one. Yeah. That on its own, on a thread, on a little yep. bracelet or on a, um, a necklace for a, a, a gentleman. That would look fantastic. Father's Day. Yeah. Let's not forget, Father's Day is coming up in the month of June, of course. Got a lovely selection of colour on here, whether you choose to keep them together or mix them up. Um, six millimetre rounds, always incredibly popular and totally and utterly natural as well. Brand new premiere opportunities. We lead our way towards uh, the amazing masterclass. You've got a multitude of uh, learning skills within the next uh, next hour. And brand new tools, 19.99. I mean, again, you use this. This is the kind of calibre of gemstone that I, could abs I would absolutely use without hesitation with jadeite, with... Um, oh, alongside the selenite that we had yesterday. Yes, yeah. I went. I was a bit slow then. It took a little bit while <laughs> for the cogs to start turning in the top of my head. Um, what do you mean, my ready? We're not stopping there. Okay. Brand new strand. Lovely varieties of colour. It's, it's like an artist palette, isn't it? How many do we have? A hundred precisely. Or rather, we had twelve ninety nine. You've wow. got bi colours in here. <laughs> you have got bi colour tourmalines in this strand. There's almost too so much going on with these strands that it's difficult to single out uh, and look at how individually beautiful yes. they all are. Do you agree with me there? I totally agree. If you looked at one of those pinky beads, it looks almost like a raspberry ripple or a strawberry. Um, the, yeah, look at that. Look at this by my Purple hand. Purple ones are stunning. Sorry, Adam. But look at those. Those raspberry ripple light colours. Okay, listen. It's 12 o'clock. 60 seconds. We're going to take it under £10. We're going to take it under £10, and again, don't forget, you've got brand new tools coming up with lovely Hayley, um, all your masterclass demonstrations, and of course, some gorgeous kits. It's going under £10. It's gorgeous, natural Brazilian tourmaline. You've even got... Some of those blues almost look Tanzanite-esque. Yes, they do. Don't they? Yes. When, do we ever, when have we ever said that about a tourmaline stone? Yeah. Like rose petals in water, says our, uh, our producer, Ross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was that what you were going for, Russ? 
That reaction. Oh, <laughs> it does though. Oh, bless him. How romantic. Uh, not 12.99. Gabrielle, Lincolnshire, West Midlands. Hello to you, Deb and Caroline, Angela. <laughs> Berkshire, Deb and you're there as well. Whether you choose to use this alongside your jadeite, pearls look lovely with your tourmaline. Yeah. Um, or whether you're thinking about just simple stretchy bracelets, rosemary link and all mm. of the above. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's the joys of six mils, isn't it? And it's also the joy of creativity and, and yeah. people exploring and playing with them it's just you could really just see what happens 9.99 9.99 there are single stones in in this strand that i don't think should be 9.99 uh, again i'm thinking about your nine o'clock kits as well yes i agree they'd be lovely with those yeah yeah because there's a slight sort of casual sense yeah. about this now, everything in the 12 o'clock masterclass hour is going on pre-order. So take the time during the break to have a little shop ahead, if you wish. Um, do ignore the prices that you're seeing on the website because they will be going lower. So including what? Oh, e including the amazing pearls. So that's the Royal Pearl, uh, which was launched with Dave in Mark in, in commemoration, of course, of the uh, Platinum Jubilee. So we only, we only commissioned a very limited quantity of these. That is, sorry, um, that is a natural spherical pearl. Um, and you get the entire thing. It comes literally presented like so. Likewise with your uh, uh, other pearls as well. They're available on pre-order. Don't go anywhere. We're back after this. to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that, I am very much uh, 
engaged into the idea, getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. I'm just a bit gobsmacked by what we've just seen. Yeah. Her Majesty, carve, a carved hum Her Majesty. How amazing is that? That is amazing. Now we've got a little announcement. Because do you want to see again? Just in case you missed it. So uh, the greatest German uh, contribution to British royal art since uh, Holbein and Henry VIII 500 years ago. Just in case you watch, you missed it. Watch this. I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous per portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And, uh, for that, I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. I've seen it. That's absolutely yeah. amazing. The delicacy of it. Yeah. It's incredible. Coming up Friday, uh, Friday at 11 o'clock. I would set an alarm for that opportunity. Now, I've got a little announcement because we, we're just giving luxury away today. Um, so we have some competitions that have been run throughout the course of the week or so. Um, during, uh, as, uh, during the actual birthday, I'm going to show you this one first, which is um, this beautiful, beautiful natural cultured pearl on the necklace so you get everything that you see right now the winner of that competition and i have seen her name shopping with us today maya evans and i believe you're from powers maya if you are Ooh. watching right now congratulations this Amazing. this is on its way yeah. to you well done you're our first competition winner how beautiful i'm very jealous what a wonderful thing to um win. yeah isn't that lovely isn't that lovely now our second winner um receiving this beautiful natural natural pearl necklace receiving it and you don't need to do anything we will get in touch with you and get it sent over is glenda ball congratulations glenda yeah. well done two lovely well winners done. there's competitions that were run during um our birthday celebrations i don't remember exactly what they were but you were winners that's all you need to know um, I don't. I don't know who won the basket, but there was. I was chucking loads in there. <laughs> <laughs> loads. There was thousands of pounds worth in oh, that basket. Yeah, yeah it was so good. Um, okay, now Haley, uh, all of your kits um, are available on pre-order, and also, well, everything is available on pre-order. Yes. Brand new tools. Look at. Oh, look at this. So this covers quite a bit, doesn't it? This masterclass. Yes. So, um, so some of the kits. Well, obviously the kits have different gemstones in them, but we've got, you've got these uh, blank signet rings, mm -hmm. which on their own are pretty cool. I mean, I just wear them as they are. Yep. But what we can, what we're going to demonstrate, or I'm going to demonstrate, is setting a stone, a flush setting. Oh yeah. Um, and then we've also got some more tools coming up in that hour, um, which are some graver tools. So I'm going to show you how to put some pattern in there. And then on um, on that sample there, you can see we've got a bit of polish and we've also got a bit of texture. And that tool that comes in the kit, with the kit, it's almost like a free bonus, that's going to give you that texture. That's awesome. So you get a tool, um, or some of the kits you get, 
two of the three kits, you'll get that tool. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to guess it wouldn't hurt to actually get, even if you're looking at the one without the tool, well, you only need one of those, don't you? So yeah. you can actually add that on top. We're going to start with um, the kit which uh, Hayley was just showing, uh, and it has that really beautiful, look at that, a huge amount of 925 sterling silver. Yes. Um, 925, there we go, in that square signet ring. Now, you can see if I hold it sort of sideways on, the investment of your precious metal that's gone into this, and then fully extended, so then obviously you would shape it and customise it to the size. Um, um, in terms of the actual stones that you can then go on to set within, um, you have a selection of your multicolored tourmaline. So these are three millimeters in there and it's completely natural. Yeah. So beautiful, those, really those awesome. colors. Look at those. They're almost sphene like those, aren't they? Um, beautiful. Three millimeters and uh, just under half a carat. So in total, you're looking at uh, 45 points, which is guaranteed to you. What, this tool that's coming up in the other kits, what does it do? So it's, it's got a little um, diamond tip on it. And what that does, for those who are scared, you were talking about being scared of I'm your Dremel. I am scared of it. I am scared of it. So this is a motorized um, attachment. It's all as one. And if you, actually, I'll give you mine because it, it's battery operated. So if you pop that on there. Okay. It does, um, it's going to give you texture because you've got that little attachment in it without the scariness of having to use a, a motorized tool like a Dremel or a pendant motor. So you can, it's, it's really easy to use. It takes a couple of um, AA batteries. Okay. And yeah, you touch it, honestly. It's really. It's, it is literally. It's pressure. like an electric, it's even less uh, aggressive than an electric toothbrush. Absolutely. It's super easy to use. So they com that's coming up within the other kits. Yeah. Um, so you can actually use this, if you like, as a little add-on to the other kits. Yes. Um, uh, if you like. And in terms of setting your stones, you can do it by hand, of course. Hayley's uh, you know, at your disposal yes. um, for any questions that you might have in terms of setting those tourmalines within your signet ring. Um, all of these kits have got a slightly different design of signet. So you've got the square here, which is the largest. Ca uh, gram weight probably yes i would think so then you've got a hexagon and there's an oval at the front yes. yeah so so the oval is that one that one there. yeah beautiful yeah yeah so they're all they all have uh basically a, a, just a different shape i don't know there's something really nostalgic about a signet ring yes there is and they're very very much back in fashion are they yes everybody wants signet rings so um so, and considering that these are such a heavy gram weight in silver um, it gives you a lot of scope to to do things with them, so set stones into them. And, and what kind of sizes can you actually create with these? Do they go up to larger well, sizes? Well, I'll show you the one that I'm going to demonstrate on. So actually, in, in terms of uh, making a size, I think, because this one I've actually already soldered. So, um, because there's so much to do, you've uh, I don't want to do it all in the... Yeah. So they come with, in fact, if we put this alongside it, so like that. It comes as a long strip on the side. And when I soldered that, you, it overlapped quite substantially. And then I cut through the middle and then soldered it. So that's precious metal that you can keep for another yeah, day, of course. but to be honest, you will probably be able to take it up to about a size, uh, I'm just trying to do the letters in my mind, R, S, T. Wow. Oh, yes, OK. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. So right the way upwards. Yes. And we're at 24 pounds and 99 pence. It's a huge amount of sterling silver. I'll give you the exact gram weight in a few moments' time. We are taking it low. 19.99. That's Ooh, that's really? that's really low, isn't it? That is low for you know, tourmaline. I've, yeah, I've, yeah, yeah, for the gemstones. You're right, um, and also for the signet ring. But I'm also thinking Father's Day. My dad always used to wear a, um, yes. a signet ring. Yeah, that's four and a half grams of sterling yeah. silver. But they're not just for men. But no, women are wearing them now as well. Yeah, and actually, I'd wear that. You might see. Um, uh, people doing really funky things with them. So a bit like that little oval one that I've done there, there are people putting sunflowers on them, yeah, cool. little smiley faces. Yeah. So they become a little bit quirky. Oh, Willow was asking for a signet ring. Oh, was she? Yeah, she was actually oh. asking for one with her initials on there, which absolutely, I can, yeah. it, it is, it's all ages, isn't it? Yes. 
19, and I tell you, I'd, pay, I'd have to pay more than that if you were to look at somewhere like Argos even. Yeah, you would, yeah. You would, wouldn't you? And it would probably be substantially lighter. Substantially, indeed. <laughs> than what we're looking at right now. £19.99. pence. Again, you can shop ahead on um, the other kits, which include that handy little tool. Um, but you've also got the... Uh, Gravers. Gravers. Yes. Got that totally wrong, didn't I? Yeah. So, well, they, no, they came, they come separately as a multi-pack. Yeah. 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 Um, hello to you, uh, Maya. I nearly fell off my chair when I heard my name. Aww. Thank you so much. I look sort of amazing. Look, there we go, Maya. It's on its way to you, my lovely. How exciting. It's beautiful, too. Yes, yeah, it's it is. really beautiful. Yeah. That's on its way to you, my darling. Um, Amazing, amazing. I knew you were watching and I knew you were from <laughs> Powers. That's where I grew up, Powers, you see. Right, let's do the hexagon one right now. I'm a Powers girl too. Um, love this. It's a really gorgeous shape. Again, you can really feel the yes. investment of sterling silver. You really can. Now, I would say because they are solid, you're going to need to anneal them before you form them into a ring shape. Okay. So anneal them, particularly spend a bit of time heating up the, the bigger bits of silver, and then when you bend them round your mandrel, you might use a mallet to, to get them further out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is that like a raw hide mallet? Yes, or, yeah. yes. Look at those stones. A mixture of your blue stones. Well, I'm looking there, I've got aquamarine, tanzanites, and definitely, definitely sapphires. Definitely, definitely. Are they gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. We're still not done, though, because you also get this amazing new tool uh, that Hayley was describing that creates what texture to your precious metal? I would say it's a sta sandstone or a uh, sandblaster texture. Cool. So you have, what, sapphire, tanzanite, iolite, aquamarine, and also a topaz, all your blues then all really, the blues. aren't they? Well, not quite all, but most of them, all of your big blues, the big blue. Um, oh, this is called the hive. Sorry, me quoting uh, Finding Nemo again there. 24 <laughs> pounds and 90, that for the stones is amazing. Yes. Or for the tool, surely. Or for the silver, most definitely. Yeah. I, th I think that the box of gems, considering the, qual the type of gems you've got in there. Yeah. That's a really good. Yeah, sapphire. Iolite, tanzanite, aquamarine and topaz. Yeah. I mean, that's five pound per stone. Yeah. And then everything else for free. Yes. Um, I love it because Ross has just said in the background, it's just an all round good price, isn't it? It's all round an amazing price. And he goes, you know what? It is, it is an amazing price. He says he's crunched some numbers. He's dot, dotted the I's and crossed the T's. And if he can do a better deal, he absolutely will. Yeah, go on, do it. With the tool. Ross just wants to skirt over this. Okay. So it's just, this comes with the tool. And he says, that at any point, I'll throw, uh, pass the baton over to our lovely Hayley for the demo. If these don't sell out, I'd be flabbergasted. Absolutely flabbergasted. A third of the stock has gone. Well done. Well done. And of course, you can educate us yes, on, on, on all the handy tools. Super easy to use. Over to you, lovely Hayley. All right. Have we? Uh, are we going to throw these in? In them? Okay. They're on pre-order. Okay. Cool. So I'll talk about them as I use them. Mm -hmm. All right. Okie doke. Thank you, Ross. So um, I'm going to bring this in here. So I've taken that uh, that signet ring. As I said, I've soldered it. I've annealed it. I formed it. I soldered it pickled it and I put it into my ball vise mm -hmm. and I've actually already drilled a hole in there um, and that was just purely so that we could because there's so much to get through in in all of these kits so what I've got is obviously I've got a selection of stones and you have to think about the depth of your stone as to where on the piece you're going to set it um, obviously it's a little bit thicker if I hold this one up like that there we go so you yeah. see it's thicker on the edges so I I set these stones on the edges because they were deeper so measure the depth of your stone and the depth of the metal that's really important in this case I'm setting it in the middle um, and so I'm going to use one of the slightly less deep stones um, so really that's important to know now so I've drilled through because with any kind of faceted stone that's got a pointy 
bottom. Um, so a, um, a, a coulee is the, te the technical term. Um, you need a drill hole to accommodate that pointiness. Otherwise, it will bash into the bottom of it. Um, you could and use it's a, uncomfortable if it sticks into the back of your hand. Exactly, mm. yeah. Um, you could use, um, well, we will use a burr to help, uh, to help shape that uh, setting, um, but drill hole first. So I've used a one mil drill bit, and then I'm going to use different size burrs to start to make that hole a little bit deeper. So um, I'm going to be using my um, lubricant, so it's the um, cut lube, but you can use beeswax, you can use oil, whatever works best for you. And just make sure that these are your your tool is set really, really tight. So I'm really tightening it up um, because it can actually, um, the burr can slip down in the tool as happened earlier on. So I'm using a small ball burr, so it's probably about a one mil. And I'm going to just open up that hole a little bit more. Now don't worry too much if you slide down. There we go, okay. Okay, so now what I've done is I've made a hole, but I want to make that hole wider to accommodate the stones. It's better to progress up little bit by little bit than go really large because actually you create more friction in the tool. Okay. And you burn out your, the motor and you can, um, this can get really hot. So uh, I'm moving up to a ball burr. Now these stones are generally around about three mil wide. So this is a three mil round ball shaped burr. But if you've got something smaller, you can use it smaller and, and just uh, move your hand a little bit in, uh, in a larger circular fashion. But just keep on testing your stone first. So I've got a little bit of uh, lubricant on there again. Popping my tool on. And now, because you don't want that the hole to go too large, I'm going to go upright and really watch with my eye that I'm not that. moving side by side too much unless I need to. Now, you can see there actually that that burr was slipping in a bit. So that means I need to tighten this tool uh, a bit more. If you, um, in your kit, you actually get a little spanner and that is very useful. Hopefully I have mine with me. Um, and that's useful for tightening up these. Aha, there we go. So here, the spanner is there. And on the, um, the multi-chuck, you've actually got a flat section there where the spanner can go onto it and you can tighten that up a bit more. Useful to know. Right, let me test out my stone. So I'm probably going to set the garnet Nice. There we go. Oh, lovely. It's getting there, but I need to do a little bit more work. So I'll pop that to one side. Um, and you can use beeswax to pick up your stone. Oh, that's a good idea. It is a good idea. It um, just means you can use other things like blue tack, but actually what that does, it, it's a bit too tacky. So beeswax works really well. So back to setting on my tool. Now I'm going to go slightly wider and I'm going to increase the speed on that as well. And then, then test the stone. It's really important to keep on testing because if you make the hole too big, yeah. it's difficult to push the metal over the stone when it's too well, high. Well, you can't put it back in, can you? Yes. Now... That looks pretty good to me, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Optivisor on. Yeah. Now, whilst, whilst Hayley's getting her Optimizer on, op <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to bring you the other kit. You know the price tag. Look, it comes with this little tool. Um, and this is for the oval design. Um, lots of gemstones within this kit. So technically, Ross, what you're saying is you shouldn't be doing this price, but you are. He says I shouldn't have been doing anything today, to be I honest. I would agree with that. Pack of seven, three millimetres. Is that a ruby in the centre there? I think it might. 
Francis, don't stop drawing attention to this Is it a garnet? No, the one in the middle is definitely a ruby. <gasps> Ru yeah, ruby. Hessonite garnet, citrine, peridot, sky blue topaz, amethyst, and another garnet. $19.99 for all of this. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Frankly ridiculous. We're not angry, Ross, but we are a little bit disappointed. No, not really. Not at all. I mean, look at that. There's seven stones. Seven stones. Plus, you get the little tool. So <laughs> Stood up proud as punch right there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You know what to do. Check out your baskets. It's worth and these kind of prices, though, Hayley, you know... Nineteen ninety nine for the stones is great, but for that gram weight of, of signet ring, plus that little tool, yeah. which if you have any questions for, then again, just uh, um, do feel free to, to dial through for. Um, have we got quantity of that kit? A hundred again. Okay, back to you. Okay, doke. So uh, the, the stone is sitting neatly within the, the hole that I've made. So just to let you know what you're looking for is when the stone is in the hole, let's say that's your stone, you want to see a little bit of silver or metal, just enough that you can rub over onto the stone. If it's too high, you've burned too deep, you might want to think about swapping your stones around. Obviously, if that's the only stone you've got, you'll have well, to just... Could you maybe do a round in there? If you've, dug, if, you've dug, if, if you've burned too deep, could you possibly glue around? As I'm using glue it again. <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to say... Good idea, but no gluing. <laughs> so you could put a little, oh. you could put a little tiny little jump ring in there to create a seat. So is, is that what you meant to create a? No, little... it wasn't. But yeah, let's say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's say yes. So yeah, anyway, totally. it led yeah. on to something good. So no glue, but uh, yes, you can create a seat by adding a little bit more salt. Amazing. Uh, See, salt that's totally what I meant. <laughs> Back to you. Okay, so we've got our um, uh, setting ready, but we, we're going to put a bit of patterning on. So there we go. So this is the, the sort of pattern that we're going for. Um, because we've got these amazing graver tools, and I'm going to mark out where I'm going to uh, make the pattern. Now, I would say we are um, engraving with these tools, but I would say that engraving is a very advanced technique. Um, you get specialist engravers. Sorry, somebody's just asked a question. Yeah. Yes, you get the tool with the hexagonal one. Yes, you do. It's only the square one, the first kit, that you don't. Yes. Sorry, Hayley. No, no, that's a good question. And that's because you've got the tourmalines in that, and that was a little bit... Well, they, all, they were all... I mean, they all went to the okay. same price, which okay. is silly, but... Okay. That's Ross. That's Ross. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I'm going to mark out my um my pattern okay so i'm just scribing some lines and because we've got these lovely hexagon this hexagon shape that's actually it's um perfect for this design so what are you using there like a sharp pointy thing yeah it's called a scribe so exactly that a sharp pointy thing you could um <laughs> you could actually just um well, apparently we've got a scribe. oh brilliant okay <laughs> There's 200 of these. Oh, well, I've let's get them seen, on. I've never seen it before. You get them in different shapes. Um, and what is good, what is good about them is, um, you know, you could draw a line on, but sometimes where you've drawn the line, it, it rubs away. Oh, yes, I've got one of those. They are brilliant, those scribes. Oh, it's like a pen. Yes, I don't know why I didn't bring that one. It's actually so good, that, because it's, it's got a... It's, it's brand new, unless you've... Comes with yes. a little nib. It's, it's, ba it's basically quite weighted. Yeah. Do you want and, to go and, with it? Yes, please. Here and we it's, go. Um, because of that, it really um, works better in your hand. It just feels more substantial and it's nice and sharp as well. Just so you know, when your scribes. Oh, yeah. Um, blunt a little bit, you can resharpen them with a grinding tool. So either a grinder. Um, that you've, you know, a big sort of big one. Or with the attachments that you get with your Dremel, um, you can grind them down with, I'll show you, that sort of, you know, the, everybody wonders what you do with those things. You can use them as grinding to sharpen your tools. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I've also heard that with your Dremel, you can sharpen things like your uh, lawn mower blade. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Mm. They, they're really useful. Uh, Dremels are amazing tools. Mm. Um, right, so what that scribe has done is it's given me a guide as to where I'm going to mark out my graver designs. Now, gravers, okay. So um, these gravers, this pack that we're going to be um, bringing to air is a multi-pack of five tools. Yeah. Um, they're all different. It looks like I'm Edward Scissorhands there. <laughs> <laughs> They are on pre-order. We'll be bringing them to uh, the graphics on your screens. Um, uh, 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 well, there's lots of you getting your subscribers, so we'll just let that to sort of catch up with itself, and then we'll, we'll bring the graphics on there for this. Okay. But carry on. Do carry on. Okay. Now. So what these are for? They're for engraving. Now I would say it's if unless you are have got a secret talent, you're not likely to be able to do the most amazing engraving straight away. Mm -hmm. People go and study for additional years, years to become grave, engravers. Okay. It's a specialist skill, but they do use these tools um, and you, you can still do some kind of engraving. So line work, yeah. pattern making, and you will be able to do some lettering, but it might be a little bit uh, less refined than you've envisioned in your mind. Okay. They are dangerous tools. They're very sharp. Okay. So I'm going to give you some tips about how to use them safely. And the other thing is they, um, they need a bit of preparation. So often you will buy them and they're actually, they come without a handle and you've got to attach the handle yourself. What's great about this set, and it's a set, very rarely do you get them in a set, is they come with the handle attached. Okay, that's good. Because it take, it's quite hard work to attach the handles. Um, you've also got different different types. So I've written on, um, on the handle. So we've got f three flat gravers. So what we mean by flat is, if I turn it up, uh -huh. you can see there's a flat section there. Yeah. Okay. And there's three different size flats. So that's your thinnest flat, which is flat number six. We've got six, eight, and 10. Obviously, for creating different size cuts. Okay. Okay. And then I'll bring these ones in. So I'll just keep one of the flats there. And then we've got these ones. So this one is a round, which means where that is flat underneath, that's got a rounded section underneath. Okay. Okay. And then this one is an onglet. Onglet size zero which means it's got a slight curve and it's pointed at the bottom. So it's curved on the outside like that. That's your onglet. Okay. So um, I'll start with the flats. Well, I'll mostly use the flats, but you can use them. They're for different things, different types of cutting. Um, you need to sharpen your tool. So this is called an India stone. Um, it's something that you can buy from many supplies. However, you can actually use sandpaper as well. So if you use, um, so this is a, it's a sanding block that sharpens tools and it's got a coarse section and a polishing section. Um, but if you use sandpaper, for example, um, 400, 800 and about 1,000, uh, 1,200 to 2,000, you can do the same thing. A little bit of oil on your tool so I'm using three in one oil, but you can use olive oil or you can use even use baby oil. And what that does, again, it's just a, it helps um, with the steel, it lubricates the steel and it conditions it as well. So when you are polishing this or sharpening it, what you don't want to do is to do that because you will lose that really flat, sharp edge. And equally, you don't want to tilt forward and back. Yeah. So you actually are rubbing it or scraping it completely flat. Get your eye line down to make sure that you are not tilting it because otherwise, if you do that, you're losing it. The most important bit is that bit there. So even then, it's quite tricky to keep. There's only a hundred available of this set of tools. Um, set, set of five. five. Yeah. Brand new, never done them before. So this is, uh, this is a first time opportunity. Oh, four, oh, there we go. Yeah, 40% of the stock's already I'm not gone. surprised because it's very unusual to get them in the set and individually they're quite pricey. So, 
We're going to bring the graphics onto your screens. People have been shopping ahead on these. I'm not surprised. Graphics are live. 60 of them le are left. 60 of them. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing as well, this is not just going to be on signet rings. This will work on things like your silver sheet. Oh, absolutely. Wire. Silver sheet, stone setting. So when you push your metal over a collet setting, sometimes it's a bit lumpy and bumpy. You can refine that lumpy bumpiness by running your grave around just to give it a bit of a glint. Wow, incredible. Yeah. We're going to do this in one price crash because there are so many of you there. Um, we want to make it, uh, yeah, make it fair for everybody. I don't want you to miss out. We're going to go straight down to it. 45 seconds and we'll do that. Any questions that you have as well, um, then again, message in because because uh, uh, Hayley is literally here for you and can talk you through with her wonderful experience. Um, but I would recommend checking out nice and early because that quantity is looking like it is going to be an on-screen sellout. Um, yeah, we haven't done anything like this before. No. And, and, and it's exciting that we can now start bringing such professional tools. It is. We haven't done it because we've, we've been slowly progressing yeah. what we do. And this is really the next sort of progression. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Arthur, Patricia, Helen, Tricia, Tyne and Ware, Alwyn, Ka uh, Caroline, Deborah, Kent, Joan, London, Jenny, Vera, Deborah, Jackie. There's so many names. You've got get all five. All five of them. We were only able to get 100. £24.99. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that because, actually, if you go and buy them individually elsewhere, because bearing in mind you have the handle and the, the, the yeah. tool, you're probably paying not much for one similar price to that. Wow. So you're talking possibly like £100 or there or thereabouts. Wow, amazing. And it's all done for you as well. I'd be worried about putting that handle on because, again, it's quite sharp. And yes. It's intended to be there, sharp. There's a couple of ways of doing that. You'd have to put that in a vise and then hammer that on. But you would prepare this yeah. by heating it up or by grinding it down. So it's quite hard work, to be honest. Yeah, um, I and mean, we've taken all of that effort away for you. Uh, it's, it comes with the wooden handles, as you can see. Um, we had 100 one posted and packaging, everybody's paying that final low price tag. And again, so this is going to work with what? Your copper, your, sh your copper sheets, your silver sheets. Yes, copper, silver, gold, all the metals. All of the above. All the metals. All the metals. Yeah. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So here we go. We've got a price comparison that we can quickly show you. Okay, we'll come to it. We'll come to it in a second. This is just for an the, the, a set of engravers, but without the handles. Ross has just stumbled across these. Um, <laughs> he's keeping us waiting. We'll bring it up in a minute whilst you've made your confirmations. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, All right. You. So what I would uh, recommend is because it is advanced in in the tools are advanced and the technique is advanced is i've got some copper sheets these are really uh ones that i've been messing around with and, and some students of mine have done samples on uh -huh. and what it is it's practicing how to use the tools first so this copper sheet is it's quite old I've, i did a little bit of stone setting with a graver on there so you've got your little bead setting but oh, mine is really very um very unrefined it just shows you that it is an advanced technique but the more you do it the better you get at it um, so what i want to really emphasize is practicing with the tools now i keep on going on about them being dangerous so do not put your hand there and oh, work like no. that because believe me i've done it and it's not pleasant so make sure your hands are out the way it's quite physical so you you do need to hold on but it's all in um, a dig so you're digging in so I'm going to dig in first. And with the bigger one, this is the big flat, you do a little bit of a wiggle. Okay. There you go. And you can wow. see I'm lifting up a little bit of metal there and I've got a nice... <coughs> is that process easier on certain metals than it is on others? Well, sterling silver is your softest. It's nice and soft. So it's a pleasure to work in. Copper is a little harder, but it's cheaper. Yes. So. Well, uh, yeah. Pro yeah. Pros and cons. Yes, but if you can do it on the copper, you can certainly do it on the silver. So. Okay. Um, so just to show you the difference uh, in uh, s size of the tool. There we go. So that was the larger flat, which was the ten. This is the six. 
And in fact, because it's thinner, it actually slides a bit more easily, which is why having a scribe line is useful because you can actually um, use your scribe line as your guideline as well. Um, if you've got, let's say for example, where I've got my stone setting there, I can actually use this. Now you've really got to go slowly and gently, but you can use that to refine the edge. So it just defines that line a little bit more. You could even use the onglet one to do that too. So they have different functions and you just have to practice with them and see which one is right for the particular job that you're doing at the time. Uh, Ross is bringing to, uh, showing you now the prices that he's found elsewhere uh -huh. uh, for, uh, for, for, the, for the gravers, there we go, without the handle. Yeah, so so the brands there are the creme de la creme, but it just shows you what, and I've worked with these. They're the I've Ferraris. With, they're the Ferraris. Okay. There's not, these work really well and they compare extremely well. Amazing. Yeah. Well, and, and you know what, like I said, if you're just starting in this, then Absolutely. some people might be a bit more reluctant to spend, Yes. Um, invest in the best of the best. That's it. Initially. Yeah. Sorry, Hedy, about to Not you. at all. I also just want to talk, because so, um, a lot of people are very interested in this type of, what's called yeah, bead lovely. setting, right? So just, to, if I wanted to put a little bead on there, um, the way you would do it is, you dig in and you wiggle, but you don't want to go too far because if you go too far, you're, you're losing the metal that you're going to push over the stone. So you go, dig in, wiggle, and then you're lifting up some metal. And then what you do is you rock and roll it over. Now, I don't know if you can see there. Rock it over. There we go. Rock it over. And that little bit of metal can then be, believe it or not, will actually hold a stone in place and you can use a, um, a tiny little um, tool uh, called a um, cup burr to just refine that but it takes a lot of practice to do that so just push it over uh, sorry dig it in wiggle and then push it over like that okay so that's your bead setting or your grain setting. But I'm going to go back to the signet rings that we uh, have in the kits because we are going to use the graver just to r give us a bit more pattern detail in here. Okay. Uh, we've just put this kit on your screens as well if you want to get hold of the hexagon with the tool and also the stones. I'm just going to swap my glasses around for slightly stronger ones. Um, and we're not grain setting here, we're just using the tools to create a pattern. Um, and you can find which one works best for you. I'm going to use, this is the round one. Um, and I'm just going to drag it along. Rem my hand is out the way, okay, so it's down, it's not going to get stabbed. There we go, okay. And I can go from both directions. It does, it can hurt your hands. So if you want to, you can put uh, some green tape on your hands or on the tool. Well, I guess it's quite, you, put, you need pressure, don't you? You do need pressure. There we go. And you can see that lovely little slither it's lifting. It's very satisfying. It is very satisfying. What I would recommend is you actually look up on the internet in various places. Just watch engravers at work. Because A, you'll learn a lot, and B, it's just the most beautiful thing to see it done well. There we go. So that little bit that I've lifted there actually could become a grain, but I'm not doing that. But if I did, I could rock and roll it over, and that could be a grain. But the stone has to be in place first. There we go. I'm just going to refine this one a little bit more. There we go. Now... Um, because I pushed, uh, I mean, I could spend quite a lot of time doing more of this, um, but I do want to move on. I see the time is ticking by again. Um, I'm just going to, that's a, a flat one that I pushed at a, tilted at a side, just to dig it deeper and make it more faceted. Um, and just to show you different ways of using it. But um, I'm going to set the stone, and because there's that excess metal that's gone in there, 
I'm just going to make sure that that excess metal is out the way. And I'm going to put my stone in and I'm going to set that stone. Okay, now you, you can use... Um, a piece of wood to make sure the stone sits in a bit more. But I've just put the stone in and realized that it just needs a little bit more burring. So just rub your burr in there just to get rid of all that metal that's gone around it. Pop the stone back in. There we go. Don't worry about the wax at this point. You can get rid of that once you've set it. And then using either the back end of a paintbrush or what have you, just make sure that stone is in nice and deeply. And then you can use your burnishes to actually flush set it. And you do not glue it in. <laughs> As Adam is just... Uh, yes, put. hey, <laughs> you rein it in, Adam. <laughs> Absolutely no glue. Who would, ha who would even suggest that? Who thing? would? Okay, you could use all different types of setters. You, you can use a tiny um, a nail, uh, a burnished nail to set with that as well. Um, or you could use your burnisher. So you've got your flat burnisher or your curved burnisher and they will just rub the, um, the metal around the stone. And because we've actually created little segments, you've actually got little segments to focus on to push that metal over the stone and once you've got the stone in place you can test it by um, popping a needle or a pin at the back um, but if you I know you'll be reluctant to do that but rather you test it and it doesn't work um, whilst you're in the stage then you wear it and you lose the stone or you gift it or you sell it and then the stone is lost in that way so I'm going to presume that that is set and now what I can do is actually just play with the texture of this. So getting that tool from the kits and... It's cool that that's included in the kit. It really is. There we go. I'm going to do alternate segments. It creates almost like a sandy effect. Yeah, it is. There you go. And then if you want to refine more with your uh, gravers, you can do at this stage as well. Um, so I'm just going to find one that's sort of a little bit thinner. There you go. Push that through there. And that just defines it a bit more. You could, which I just forgot to do, before I did that little grinding detail, um, you can run your buff stick over the top of that just to get rid of any scratches that might have happened. But of course, we can then polish up after this as well. So once you've done your graver, you can uh, take your rubber burr and get a nice polish in between that. But there's so much potential with this and there is um, really endless opportunities and what have you. I'm trying to look for my little um, tool that's going to open this up. There you go. So take that out. And there you go, we've got a nice one-of-a-kind signet ring. Yes, it needs a bit of cleaning up and attention. Oh, and what I did forget to say is at the back, where you've got your drill hole and your burr through there, if you just run a burr on the back of that, so a round burr or, an, or the other shaped one, it will get rid of that little scratchy bit underneath. Amazing. Yeah, cool, isn't it? It's so good. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. As if we can get those kits, all that sterling silver, gemstones, um, 
We've actually been what we call ghost loading. So uh, on the ah. website, have a little look, all the W's at jurymaker.com, or alternatively, you can speak to our call centre, call in the same way. Um, they're all available on the website, so different shapes of signet rings. So you've got the heart. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and all those gemstones, we're matching the price for you as well at $19.99. I don't physically have them here in the studio. Um, and then you've got a what? An oval and a kite. Lovely. I think I want yes, that heart. Your... Yeah. Look at those. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, we're not going to get a chance to bring you the royal, uh, the royal pearl, but don't worry. We will recap that um, with, throughout the course of the week. Now, I'm going to go straight into an amazing pearl opportunity. Genuinely, these pearls are off the chart. Um, when they were, yeah, the pearls yesterday. I got them, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I kept going on about these pearls, honestly. They literally, I was obsessed, and I was telling my husband as soon as I got home. The quality of our pearls. Yes is just on another level um I, I wonder dan have you got time to quickly pass me your white bust is that okay now obviously comes within the luxury boxes we would fully expect of uh, um uh, of this quality of pills these are naturally colored so what that basically means is thank you lovely um what that basically means is most pearls and there's nothing wrong with it uh, will be bleached and then be dyed there's nothing wrong with that at all However, understand the celebration when you actually get um, when you actually get pills which are, are, are naturally coloured, and it's literally where the mollusk is actually almost offered its natural colour. Um, but these are incredibly rare, uh, you know. Well, quite frankly, an anomaly of nature, because your mollusk will be I don't know pro approximately dinner size plate to house yeah. these. Each mollusk will only house one. Um, and remember what I was saying only yesterday uh, that. A pearl will form within the actual muscle itself, within the, the, the flesh of the, uh, of the oyster in this case. Um, but occasionally those that, that, that pearl will roll out. When it rolls out, it will then sit along the, sort of the, the adjacent, the circumference of the oyster shell. That's where it has its, its natural colour and that's why you have oh. these beautiful purples. It's incredibly, incredibly rare. Now, we haven't described them as such, but some of these are Le Peregrina drops you know, esque almost, I should say. I mean, look at that, droplet shapes. This one here, uh, it's the sweetest name. You've got a little nipple pearl there. Yes. That's what they call them. They've got a little, <laughs> little nipple pearl, but they're all totally and utterly natural. It's a sweet terminology, I think. Um, naturally metallic again, from a harvest of 10,000 pearls. Remember this fact. A harvest of 10,000 cultured pearls individually, not strands, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. Wow. So put, to put that into perspective, two, four, six, eight, ten. That's 10,000 pearls. That's incredible. Would have been harvested to get those natural colours. We've got guest designers getting involved. Of course we have. Um, that's not your price, by the way. There are ten of these left. Susie, I bought some pearls yesterday, so I don't think I'd get away with getting them two days on the <laughs> I'm not sure. I, had to, I did run it past the, um, the, the hubby. It was a bit of an indulgence, but... Oh, you've got to do it, You've got you? to. Exactly. How many of these do we have? Well, how many do we have? How many? Ten. Oh. Are you tempted? I am tempted. Oh, you should do it because these are naturally coloured. Yeah. Um, I can't stress, we had a, I showed a photo yesterday. Bonhams found a natural purple pearl that was almost eaten, actually. Um, was found <laughs> within a clamshell. Um, and that single pearl was estimated, estimated to be valued between 15 and 20,000 pounds. One, wow. that's one. Wow. The, the real rarity here is the fact that these are naturally coloured. Now, the last auction of the day, I'm literally dropping these in. Um, they go to an incredible price point. They're an extender, but they're also a security chain, I think, which is yes. really important. Um, um, and of course, not just precious metal, you've got your little detail of, uh, of cultured pearl on the bottom there. Gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Because yeah. sometimes you might be wearing a higher neckline or a lower le neckline and be having that versatility, I suppose. Yes, it is. And also, if you're not sure what cu your customer is like, you can put that on and they can make the choice. Sure. Yeah. That's a really so. good point. These flew out when we first launched them. I'll just hold them up. There you go. Lots of you were messaging in at the time saying, oh, they're perfect earrings. 
Yeah, literally perfect little lovely little earrings. Attach them to your shepherd hook. Maybe actually load them up with further beautiful pearls or other gemstones. That's all four of them for nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Um, yeah, I launched these what last week was it? I think it was. Yeah, last week we've got the last remaining quantity of them available. Uh, Sixty out of the five hundred that were <laughs> first launched last week. Um, maybe they've landed on your doorstep and you've thought you've been thinking, oh, why didn't I buy more? I do that all the time, all the time. I'll leave it with you. Keep on dialing through. They are still available. Um, and yeah, if you want to, if you want to multi-buy, you can uh, absolutely do that. Hayley, I have loved being with you today. Oh, I love being with you. You I always are, do. You are such a super talent, my lovely. And, you know, learning so much. Yeah, well, that's, no the, that's why we love jewelry making, because they... Yeah. <laughs> No glue. <laughs> back naughty old, naughty old, naughty L. Oh, well, I know that you're back with us soon. Uh, next month. Mid next middle month. of next month. Middle of next month. Yes. Fingers crossed um, I get to see you then. Yes, that, that would be, be good. Uh, that would yeah. be lovely. But, um, yeah, any questions, then obviously our, our customers can get in, in touch with you as yeah. well, can't they, on, yes. your, um, on your Facebook page. Make sure you check out your baskets on all of those lovely kits. I, I, I think they're getting quite limited because your masterclass was quite the frenzy. Hayley Kruger, everybody. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Have a wonderful afternoon. Take care. Take care.